What's going on? Ocean View Coffee Shop. Thank you for liking the show yesterday. Oh, let me download Google Maps. So, so now we're going to give an update. Uh, I finally got a SIM card on my other phone, so I don't have to constantly pause to use the GPS. I just need to download Google Maps. Man, I really miss Lima. I, I miss shooting pool at the pool alley. At the pool hall, I mean. You know I miss doing that. I miss it. So, right now, I just got through eating some Mexican food with a good friend of mine. He was coming through town. Uh, man, my stomach is like fucked. Like that, and my f body has to readjust to this food. My stomach is fucked. Like, if you're in the chat, put a one in the chat. Internet seems like it might be a little slow. But as soon as we get this app downloaded, we're going to head over. So, uh, looking at Hinge, right? Hinge is pretty much the last hope for dating apps here in Dallas. If you're not using Hinge, you pretty much ain't doing nothing, right? Um, in my opinion, because these other apps, like, the chicks aren't even liking back. They're not matching. They're not, And if they are matching, they aren't responding. It's, it just seems to be a waste of time. So, if you guys can see, on Hinge, I got some matches, right? Now, the... There's some more. The rule of thumb is... Wait for them to respond to you first. My stomach is so fucked, I can't even focus right now. She look good. Got that ass on her too. But the thing is, most of the chicks that are like actually reaching out are either older or average. So you're not really winning, you know. <laughs> I mean, it's cool to smash, you know, but damn. You gotta remember what I was just dealing with. I could pretty much have wherever, I, whatever age bracket, you know, I wanted. Texas State Senator. Let's do this. State Office Administrative. Yes. Too much fried chicken, no. Head northeast toward West Whitlock Lane. Take a cougar on a date and live stream it. That's probably going to be our best option. Um. Is to do that. Yeah, drink some pa I need something to sit on my stomach because it's bumbling and tumbling. Should go. Just... go buy a plane ticket to anywhere don't waste your time with these 304s so yeah man it's uh the longer i stay here uh the more i'm getting used to it but there's not really nothing to get used to uh, i was just telling my homeboy i was just with this is a great place until you want to date like, it, it, I have no problem with being here. But as soon as I'm like, oh, you know what? I got a libido. Let me go see if I could, you know, hang out with somebody. Or even if I just want to go shoot pool. And then, and then I'm like, oh, that's the part I hate. Go left up here. I enjoy doing stuff like that. I enjoy going on pool dates, uh, bowling dates, even though I hate bowling. But I enjoy doing that stuff. That stuff is fun. Uh, 
She asking for a little too much. So there's a guy on Twitter, right? And he's a fucking know-it-all. He thinks he knows everything. He's always commenting on my shit. And he's like, let me just read what this motherfucker said. Cap, what you mean, Cap? People still say Cap. So... He says... Oh, I put it on my YouTube because I put up a post that said after being in Dallas for four hours, you know, basically I'm 100% with why we have tricks and simps. I can get it because I really do. He says, you're so helpless. I can see if nobody had good results, but that ain't true. Part of the issue got to be you. You know what? And I, I agree with him. The issue is me. The culture that we have here, I'm not fucking with it just like i don't fuck with bolivian culture like that i also don't live in bolivia i also don't live here so i am the issue right some people are born in the wrong place and i'm one of those people but uh i'd love to see what you're actually doing i said okay watch the live streams we're not just making this shit up this shit is on live video that's what that's again that's why i love that i'm a youtuber because when people all right jeff it's your fault Bitch, I'm on live video. I can already tell that my attitude is getting bad being back here. So he says for sure when I get time, basically meaning I know you can prove me wrong. So I'm just going to pretend like I'm too busy to watch your shit. And so I said, I've actually been updating the progress day by day, which feels like zero percent. Uh, It's also a reverse culture shock for women to have from going from women that have clarity to women that don't know what they want to do. Like these women don't know what they want to do or they just don't want to do shit or they just want like they they know what they want to do, which is just steal your attention and leave you high and dry. If they talk to you. And then he says, with American women, it is more gradual. Okay. Unless you're at a place that has a reputation for hooking up, in my opinion, it's as easy as ever right now. Yeah, usually dudes that don't fuck with women say that. You can't say that sex is easier to get now than ever. When I've been to Brazil... When I've been to all these uh, Nairobi places that are well known for that. So I can feel if there's a difference, I'm going to be able to feel it. I lived in Brazil and I lived in Nairobi. You know, it, I, I've become adjusted. We're not going to if if it was easier than ever, it has it easier than ever. And there's more dudes complaining than ever. You know, including myself. Because uh, I, I knew this was going to be some bullshit when I got back. Because uh, I could tell by, oh, hold on. I just went from Lima getting matches and likes to pretty much nothing. <laughs> so uh, I knew when I got back, okay, shit probably hasn't changed at all. But what I'm about to do is, you guys, uh, uh, we're going to just talk about this stuff. I don't know if I'm going to approach it like that on camera today. But we're just going to talk about that bullshit and I'm gonna go get my I'm while I complain about that, I'm actually headed to the state office to get my birth certificate to get an apostle on my birth certificate. Cause they need that to get my residency in the other in Paraguay and in Chile. So I'm gonna sit here and complain about this shit, but I'm not just gonna complain about this shit. I'm getting my shit to get the hell out of here permanently. So we're going to go get this uh, birth certificate, get an apostle put on it. 
he's in, he's in African pajamas. Hey, if it's holding me back, I'm gonna wear this shit three times. I'll wear this shit three days in a row. Uh, we gonna do that, and then I need to stop by my postal center. I'm gonna show you guys if you guys live abroad, because you if you if you live abroad, you need two things. You still I recommend you still need to keep your U.S. phone number, and then you still need to uh make sure i'm going the right way yeah you still need to keep your u.s phone number and you still need to keep an address in the united states but you don't want a house right because then you got to depend on somebody else you want a postal center and what a postal center does it, it works as a mailbox but there's somebody that's a middleman that can say hey do you need me to send this to chile you got this mail. I know you don't live here, so give me your address in Chile and I can send it from here to there. Because, for example, I have a Cash App card. I always recommend we have Cash App cards uh, using them abroad. But Cash App cards don't deliver outside of the United States. You have to get them directly delivered to a U.S. address. You get them delivered to your postal center and then he will send it to wherever you're at. Now, if you are getting something mailed through the mail, you need to use FedEx. I ordered a package to Paraguay five months ago. It still has not arrived. Five months. Still has not arrived. Uh, but I was told FedEx is the one that is going to make it there. But if you try to ship it directly through the post office, it's not going to work. But at a postal center, they have all of them. The po they ship you know, through USPS. They ship through uh, DHL. They ship through FedEx, UPS. Uh, but the thing is, somebody just said P.O. Box. I'm not, well, I'm not referring to a P.O. Box. Because the P.O. Box is basically the post office, and you just got a mailbox there. But I'm saying, there's like a small-owned business. It's a guy that just opens up his own, basically, P.O. Box center. But from my understanding, the P.O. Box won't do the middleman, the ship. They won't ship it to another spot for you and have all the carriers available. So, he said, stop watching the road. Don't worry, I'm well aware that I'm driving a car. So, we're going to do that. Um, we're going to get the birth certificate with the apostle, go to the uh, postal center, and then I need to... Um, <coughs> I told my uncle I would come visit him today. Uh, and then I still need to see my dad probably today or tomorrow. I don't know. Uh, but yeah, we got, so we got some stuff like that to do. He says this clown on his phone and driving. One hand on the steering wheel, one hand on the armrest. You tell me. The phone is not moving. But yeah, I can see maybe in a better place, I'll probably have an extreme attitude. Like, they'll probably have to run me out of the United States in a minute. That's why when people are like, oh, like, you should travel around Texas. I thought about that shit. I, co I considered that for a second. I started thinking about that shit. I said, okay, I got two options. I can make some money and go crazy. Or I can make less money and, and have my damn sanity. Which one? I think I'm going to go with my sanity. Unless if some miracle shit happens in between now and then, I'm going to choose my sanity. Or unless if I'm just making big, big bucks in between now and then. That's the only thing that's going to keep me sane. Control your moderators. I don't even. I don't control my chat or the moderators.
after all your exposure, I think it's extremely foolish for you to come back to the United States. Yeah, it is a foolish decision. I mean, again, you guys know the only reason I came back was to visit my mom. I had my mom going to Nicaragua, and they wouldn't let me in Nicaragua, so that's the only reason I came back. Otherwise, if she would have brought my birth certificate out there, I would have never, I probably would have, shit, I probably would have never came back. Ever. Ever. You can't pay me to live over here again. Anyway, uh, somebody, a woman in the comments just asked, it's almost time for my birthday season, Taurus. What are you doing for your birthday? I don't know, but I won't be in this motherfucker. We got a lot of these chicks to get a response. We got a lot. We about to go handle some documents today. I need to go ahead and do this stuff now. Because uh, the longer I wait, let's say some miracle happens and I start having fun. I don't want to miss the entire secondary reason of me coming back here. But I guess everything happens for a reason. Because had my mom brought my birth certificate, I would have still had to get this apostle. And I wouldn't have been, I can only do that here in the United States. So before you leave the United States, get that apostle on your uh, birth certificate. He said, my boy looking stressed in the States. Yeah, I got, I feel like my eyelids are getting heavy. That's some allergies around here. My eyelids are getting heavy. My eyebrows are about to touch each other. Uh, it is what it is, man. Do I miss anything besides family and friends? Hell no. What the hell for? But uh, for my birthday, I don't know. I just don't know. I, I just know I won't be around here. I'll most likely uh, be back in Latin America. I'd rather go to Chile where it's cold right now for my birthday than be here. It's going to be cheaper and it's going to be more fun. But I don't really care what I do on my birthday or not. I'm not a big birthday person. He said the, the states don't fit good to you, the hardships. So the thing is, yeah. Oh, I believe this is the right place. The thing is, it's a... It's just a culture. It's the culture. Because you got to remember, and this is why you know it's a culture issue. The last time I was here, everything that I didn't like about the culture, motherfuckers was trying to make it seem like I was crazy because I didn't conform to what they were saying uh the same way how in brazil they'll look at you crazy if you don't want to kiss a girl that's part of the culture for them to just kiss right away so if you if you're like oh i don't like that kissing i don't like that kissing well brazil is not the place you should be living at because that's what they do uh but the bullshit y'all do here i would say the same thing to myself this is not the place i should be living at because this is what y'all do here. Seems like you're not big on anything low key. I'm big on getting the hell out of here. That's why I'm making sure. That's why I'm making sure I'm handling these documents right now. So for any reason, I feel like I need to just eat. I'm about to go crazy. I need to leave at emergency. My paperwork will be done because this is what I this is the thing that I need to do the most here. If 
fucking rocks in my shoe. Yeah, you can get mono rather like the culture. Yeah, well, here's my thing. If you worry about mono, Brazil's not the place for you. The same reason why this Dallas shit ain't for me. I can't get with the bullshit, so it's not the place for me. So, is the state office in here? Oh, she ignored me. See, that's why I'm getting. The, that's why. That's that's why I'm going to get. Did y'all see that shit? Fuck Texas. Anyway, that's why I'm going. Hello. Is. This is the uh, state office. Yeah. Is this the state office? Uh, I need to get a bir- uh, pasta on a birth certificate. A what? A pasta. It's like a seal for a birth certificate. Oh. 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 I don't know where they might do that. You still ask for my glass and that office. Texas Department of Transit. Texas Service is part of the state. Okay. It's a uh, pasta. Okay. No, she looked right at me. Don't start troubleshooting and making excuses. She knew exactly what she did. Should you say, excuse me? I said, excuse me, go back and rewind the video. Quit making excuses for fools. I can't, I can't live here, bro. I can't do it. I can't do it. <clears throat> you ask somebody for the directions, that's a problem. Okay. 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 It's like a, a seal. It's almost like a lamination seal. This is for abuse and neglect. Yeah, see, it said the, they told me to come in here, but it said the state office, the Texas state office, is that here? This is for child abuse. And yeah, is that in this building though? Yeah, child abuse and neglect, but we don't laminate anything. Oh, okay. So let me show you what I'm talking about. Texas State Office of Administrative Hearings. That's the only this this the only place in this building. Okay, well this GPS is incorrect. I appreciate it. Thank you. Okay, all right. Don't get, forget to renew your driver's license. Oh yeah, we working on that. He said because you've never been ignored outside the states. Uh, I think we've been. I've been ignored in every country. There's always people that are gonna ignore you, but that's like the majority of the time here. Like motherfuckers are just rude more than fifty percent of the time here. Versus when I was in Uruguay, yeah, I get ignored like ten percent of the time. Motherfuckers is going to at least acknowledge the fact that you're speaking to them, even if they're not interested in what you're talking about. Here, I mean, aren't you American? Why am I explaining this shit to you? I did say, excuse me, I'm the one that said it. And if I didn't say it, she didn't deserve it anyway. I think Indians are loved here. No. Americans don't like immigrants. There's no way in hell that whole building was just a...
child support, whatever, whatever she said, uh, child abuse. She was, uh, she was attractive. I mean, so let's see. Let me look up another Texas state office. I can't do it. I, I can't do it here. It says that's where I'm at. Yeah. No, that's a yeah, shady, uh, shady, ready. Whenever, whenever I used to have people uh, moving, whenever I had people moving uh, from Chicago down to Texas, and they're like, the people are so much friendlier down here. I'm like, what the hell are you talking about? <laughs> These motherfuckers be ignoring people, be rude as hell, people be dying in road rage. What are you talking about? People are friendly here. They must be rude than a motherfucker in Chicago then. So there's another one in North Dallas. Let's just go to that one. I know where that's at too. Uh, why don't Americans like immigrants? I don't know. Not my problem either. I don't even live here. But yeah, uh, Yeah, I've only been to a few places in the world where people ignore. Like they like that girl just did me like where it's common for people to do that. It's common in Santa Cruz, Bolivia. Like if you ask somebody a question in Santa Cruz, Bolivia, the chances of you even getting them to acknowledge you are slim to none. Uh outside of that. Outside of that, has there have I really been anywhere else where they were like that? I don't think I've been anywhere else where they were like that, besides here and there. Definitely not Lima, because there's so many Americans in Lima. Like, I think that they've affected how friendly that culture is there now. I wish you could turn that ignorance into a short. You can. I just highlighted the last five minutes of the clip of the stream so if I can't get the apostle in person today I was looking on the website they said that I could uh, download a form online and mail it if that's the case we'll go do it at the postal center right now because I can mail it directly from there because I got to get this done that this this shit I can't do it oh lord I can't do it He said, you can only walk into the Austin office. We'll find out. I'd rather find out. The quickest I can get the fuck out of the United States is my best option. Shit. I can't deal with it. I've been around too much friendliness. He said, learn the hard way. What's going to happen to the damn, the, is the building going to blow up because I couldn't walk in? What's the hard, what's hard about that? Learn the hard way, like it's going to be some sort of damn consequence. I ain't got nothing, I don't, I ain't got nothing to do. So I don't mind driving over there. To, I'd rather find out. Who knows, we can, might get another rude ass person that, that's gonna ignore me. That'd be more content, more confirmation that I need to get the hell out of here. Yeah, all day long, I got all day long. No, I'm not going back to the hood. I'm not doing hood content.
forgot to hold the door up over her, buy her content, and uh, give her candy. Not buy her content, uh, give her your wallet. Yeah, we're going to have to shorten this trip, man. We're going to have to shorten this trip. Might not get to see all my friends. It's just that simple. Fucking toll tags. Got to pay for tolls. You don't have to. I mean, you don't have to ride the tollway. But it's so damn convenient you have to. No more, no more social experiments. Uh, we might start the social experiment. Honestly, that social experiment is just for content. Like, I don't really care what it takes to, to make things work here. I was just doing it for content you know, to start more controversy. your mindset before you came back no the culture had my mindset the culture changed the culture All this shit gonna be the same. I've been to Houston. I've dealt with a chick from Houston. That shit really wasn't that different. The postal center is right down the street from this place, so we'll just go down the street and mail it. And uh, we'll add some more characters to the show today. I need some more water. Whenever I eat food out here, it feels like it's draining a lot of the uh, water weight I have. Like, it's dehydrated me a bit. Like, I had to drink a bunch of water after it. has always been the spot. Good to know. Honestly, fuck this shit. I ain't doing none of that shit. I ain't going nowhere else. ruin your day. Man, I woke up like this. This ain't one bitch. This is five years of being around here. I've been complaining about this shit since 2020. 20, so four years.
said, where's your flashlight? Nah, I'll jack off before I do that. I think Kev is just a troll, man. If you guys are on the Patreon, I hope you watch the video I put up this morning. I was talking about the Colombian chick. Conversation we had yesterday. Kind of sealed the deal with that one, because, uh, which, that was her decision. She didn't have to want to cut things off. I told her I was fine with it, but I guess she was embarrassed, so. talk to the cougar no she messaged me remember she messaged me a day after we met and I was just you know she wasn't fine enough to be doing that you you're you're not you can't do that you can't wait 24 hours no you're not fine enough for that no ma'am No, you're being very fake, Kev. Let's see the message. No, she just said, oh, hello there. Like, I'm like... No. The culture I was just in, if you waited 24 hours, it was a wrap. Jason was talking about going on roller coasters and hanging out at bars, drinking with your homeboys. He wasn't talking about women. He said you can. That's what he meant by you can have a good time, like going on jet skis and shit like that. That's what he was talking about. Let me over right here. Fuck! I missed my exit. What right, the next one? Yeah, nothing's changed. I was just telling the guy I was with. I was saying this earlier, like, the United States, being over here in Dallas, it's, uh, it's, it's fun. You know, there's a lot of stuff to do, a uh, lot of nice rooftops, restaurants, clubs. Uh, it's one of the cheaper states in America that's still a big, you know, very populated, uh, decent weather. Everything is great until you want some ass. <laughs> then that's when you start getting ignored. Uh, that's when you start getting 24. No, that's the, yeah, no, that, that's the, the con. And that's an essential con. I got, thank you, professor. I got this shirt in uh, Kenya. The tailor I had in Kenya made this. He said, yeah, you can cold approach in Miami and have fun, but he, he also told you good luck. It's always fun cold approaching. Uh, even when we're getting rejected, it's fun just walking around you know, talking to random strangers, that don't mean that shit going nowhere. He 
He said, yeah, I see why so many dudes resort to riding motorcycles. Yeah. You, I, I would say that you have to have a hobby here in Texas. So I think when I was a barber here and I would cut hair all day, go to the gym, cut hair, it could have been easier on myself if I would have had the cigar hobby. And after I got through smoking a cigar, because that cigar lounge is not far from where my barbershop used to be at. So on breaks, because during the week, Monday to Thursday, it wouldn't be uncommon for me to have a 12, not a 12 hour, a four hour gap where I didn't have any clients because people would be at work and it was the middle of the week. It wouldn't have been a bad thing to have uh, a cigar lounge to go smoke a cigar at on break time it would have helped me get by but instead during those four hours i was just sitting around thinking like frustrated like damn like i got a break you know this would be cool to call a little chicken go on a lunch date for a break but i ain't got shit to do and then you turn on youtube and then you hear people well, you need to just work on your purpose bitch i'm at work already i ain't gonna nick i deserve a break at this like i <laughs> I have, I, I'm 21 and I have my own barbershop. I've, I've worked on my purpose enough to at least get somewhere. Now, where is some pussy at? Shit. They ain't finna just be working all the goddamn time. So, yeah. That's what that's why I'm so against that work on your purpose shit. Cause I remember seeing that shit, right? People telling me, oh, congratulations, you've got a barbershop so young. And then so on the outside looking in, oh, Austin been focused on his purpose. Then they said the women should just start falling out of the sky after you do that. Well, the motherfuckers not it's not raining women or pigs. So what what and you tell me how to keep working on my I need to do some more work? Damn. Give me some. Give me a, a bone. Give me a treat first. Shit. I can't do all work and no play, you asshole. So anyway, uh, let's go. Yeah, that's why I told people quit saying that. Focus on your purpose, shit. Because I was somebody that had already focused on. Hell, at that time, I think I had two barbershops at that time. When I, when I started having those four-hour gaps. <laughs> and then you talk, to the, you talk on the phone with one of your homeboys. This is what used to piss me off. I would complain about this the same way to my homeboy. He'd be like, well, you know, I, I, I'll come hang out with you. We can go... Uh, have a drink and uh, eat lunch together. Nigga, I don't want to eat lunch with you. I just said I wanted some pussy. I appreciate you being nice, but bruh. So, we almost at the spot now. I think I've been in this place before. He said most of these chicks have boyfriends. I don't believe that. Because according to them, it ain't enough good men going around. Yeah, like I said, when you fo as a man, when you say, okay, I'm going to focus on my purpose, that's all you're going to get is your purpose. You focusing on your purpose doesn't bring women. It just brings a better result from what you just focused on, which was your purpose. I focused on my barber business. I had two barber shops. That didn't, that didn't bring women. That just brought me two barber shops.
like I said, they need to tell people, focus on your purpose and practice the other shit. Balance your purpose and then go hang out with some friends and y'all go talk. If you want to improve your women, go hang out with your friends. Y'all go talk to women together. But just sitting around working all the time ain't going to make, that's not going to happen. Got a lot of toxic advice. Shit, that, that, that advice of how you going crazy. Hopefully they do think I'm African from this shirt. Get some more points. Got on the Kenya bracelet too. Yeah, I told him I was from Brazil. Y'all see that got me a, a few extra points. Whenever I told her I was from Brazil, she's like, oh, say something. Say something. Oh, I love you. Now she loved me. Still didn't hear back from her. So it got it got it got me a little more excitement. That's what it got, but it didn't get me nothing. You know what I ought to, I ought to do? There's a uh, Brazilian grocery store over here in Plano. Which I'm in Dallas right now, but there's one in Plano. I think I ought to go over there and get some acai. And cry while I eat the acai bowl. It's a lot of turns. approach on college campuses I think I'm throwing in a towel My G, love you, G. Thank you, uh, Kings and Dreams, for the one month membership. He said, Well, $7,500 lasts me four months in South America. No, you'll be homeless. If you're talking about rent only, you're probably going to spend it. You probably could max that out by spending by staying in a in a safe place. You would still spend like three grand a year, and that's staying at the lowest grade place you could stay at that's safe. So four years is not even feasible. He said, "Just manifest some pussy, it would come." Hopefully that works. Uh, so we're outside this Merritt Tower night. I told you, Dallas is a very beautiful city. Very well-developed, very beautiful city. Yeah, it's very, very well-built here. State Senator. So let's see if this is it. think I could look at how nice this building is I don't think I could record in here family us never them uh, now $7,500 a month can last in Thailand for a month apartment but it's gonna be a shithole How you doing? Uh, do you know where the uh, Texas State Senator? Yes. Uh, you'll take one of those four elevators and you just ride into the 10th floor. Okay, thank you. No problem. Oh boy, I gotta get out of here. <laughs> I gotta get out of here.
How does it feel driving again in the States? Uh, it feels, feels very convenient. Um, I appreciate somebody else driving me more than me driving. Thank you for the $2 super chat. Yeah, the guy at the front desk was friendly. It's somewhere here on the 10th floor, so we gotta keep looking. The Texas State Senator. He said, watch for the active shooters. Can I do that here? You need to get into what? Uh, an apostle, A P O S. Like I'm trying to get residency in another country. In another country, so you would have to do this through your Congress member's office or through one of the U.S. senators' office. So here we can handle state issues, state agency matters. Um, so that would be like SNAP, Medicaid, getting your driver's license, getting okay. employment benefits. But for this specifically, you would have to reach out to either your U.S. Congress member or U.S. senators. So Online. So you could do this online. I recommend giving them a call as well. And they're going to ask you to submit a authorization form that just says, you know, you have my approval to reach out to whatever agency you need to reach out to to get this done. So you will have to start that process online. And I can give you contact information for who your federal representatives are. That's what, you know, if you'd be interested in that. Okay, that works. Okay. All right. And what is your first and last name? Uh, Austin Holloman. Austin What's your last name? Holloman. H O L L E M A N. E M A N. Okay, Austin, what's your address? Uh, let's put 13101 mm -hmm. Preston Road. Preston Road. Um, box 110. Box 110. Dash 1031. Dash 1031. Zip code 75240. 75240. Yes. All right, let me look into who those people would be. And if they need to schedule a meeting with you or anything, they'll let you know that as well. Yes. Did you want to sit down over here? That's uh... fine. Um, and can I get you water or anything? Oh, no, that's fine. Thank you. Have you been trying to get this done for a while now? Um. No, I just started. I just got back to the country. Oh, wow. Mm. And where did you go? I went to 21 countries, but I'm trying to oh, stay in one of them. But I came from Peru, so. Oh, wow. Okay. And which one are you trying to go to? Paraguay. Paraguay. That's awesome. Tell me about the work that you do. YouTube. Really? Mm -hmm. Oh, my gosh. That's awesome. That's your full time. Mm -hmm. you do everything. Mm -hmm. That's amazing. Okay, so I'm just looking at your representatives here. So it looks like, and this is the website that we use, it's called Who Represents Me. Mm -hmm. And it has all of your updated, not just federal, but also your state representatives. So mm -hmm. Senator Johnson, he's a state senator, so he represents his constituents at the Texas legislature in Austin. Whereas your federal reps, like your congressperson and then Ted Cruz, John Cornyn, they represent the state and you um, in Washington, D.C. So those are the folks that you need to reach out to. So just based on the address you gave me, it looks like uh, District, U.S. Congressional District 32. Um, that would be Colin Allred. Um, and he's actually running for uh, Ted Cruz's position right now. So that's oh, really, really interesting. Yeah, so he would be your contact. He has a great staff. Um, I would recommend starting with him. So let's pull up that information. Okay. 
and I can either write this down for you or you're welcome to take a photo of it. Um, but here's his district office. So okay. he does have one in Richardson. Um, and then he has a Washington DC office as well. I recommend giving them both a call. Uh -huh. um, but then if you go to his ad, to his website, let me just show you here. So whenever you need help through a federal agency, if you need help with the US embassy, anything that requires federal international assistance, you would go to federal agency help. Mm -hmm. And then you can complete that authorization form here. He talks about the stuff that they can help with. Um, so I recommend doing that. And then Ted Cruz, John Cornyn, if you just go to their websites, Ted Cruz, they all have local offices. So like, and I recommend reaching out again to Colin Allred first because since Ted Cruz and John Cornyn represent all of Texas, you may have a harder time reaching them directly. Whereas your U.S. Congress member, Colin Allred, he represents a much smaller portion. Okay. Um, so yeah, if you go to Ted Cruz's website, it might take a little while to load because I'm sure a lot of people might be on there. Um, but he has, I know for a fact that he and John Cornyn both have a local Dallas office. So that would be where you need to go to. Okay, well, I'm done now. Yeah, so under contact, you can request a meeting. Again, if you need help with federal agency, but if you go to office locations, here are all the locations. So of course you want to look at the uh, North Texas one that was gonna be closest to you. So I hope this is helpful. Yes. Um, and then if you ever need help with a state agency, it does look like, looks like you're in Senator Tan Parker's district, at least with that address that you gave me. Um, so it's close to our district, but it actually falls into Senator Tan Parker. So he's your state senator. So I hope that information is helpful to you. Yes, yes, thank you. Okay, awesome. Yeah, well, feel free. You know, if you ever have help trying to navigate this stuff, okay. um, reach out to Tan Parker's office. If they're not helpful to you, you can always reach back out here. Okay, so thank let you. me give you my card. Here you go. Thank you. Of course. You have a good one. Have a wonderful day, and I hope you're able to get that result for you. Thank you. All right, you guys, so uh, people are like, oh, you're, you dox yourself. Uh, do me a favor. I don't live in the United States, number one. Number two, look up the address I just told her and tell me what you find. He said she was... Can you hear me now? Well, the thing is, I know I'm on live. I've told y'all, go ahead, go ahead. Okay. I've told y'all many times that I, I have, I mean, again, to start, I don't live in the United States. So any address I give anybody right now is not gonna be accurate. But that address I gave her, I've given y'all, actually, I've given y'all that address that I just gave her. I've said that address publicly. I think the first day I got back to my mom's crib, I showed that address on uh, the live stream. He said, did Austin drop the ball? Uh, that woman was not somebody I would even have thought about pressing. Like, she was not, she wasn't the most fit person, let's say that. Like, she's, like, if I was to sleep with her, I probably would feel bad about it afterwards.
Why did I choose Paraguay? Because I uh, got the easiest program. And so for my first time, that's where I'm going to start. No wonder she... Now, she was looking at me. Uh, like, she was looking at me as if I would have pressed her. She would have gave me her number. I might be frustrated, but I ain't that damn frustrated. Like, I'm complaining, but I ain't complaining that much. Do it for practice. Well, flirt with her and, and not get her number? Because I didn't even want it. I used to live right here when I lived here a few years ago. Make the best of it while being there. No, me sleeping with women that I'm not really attracted to just because they're easy is going to make it even worse. Because then it's going to feel like I backtracked. That's the situation in the United States, right? As friendly as she was and as easy as that would have been to slide on her, that would have been easy, right? But I'm not, it's not something I'm attracted to. But if I try to go get something I'm really attracted to, that shit would have not even sounded like that, let alone what it looked like. That would have not even sounded like that. The chicks that you that, that are in the gym that look like the type of chick like I'm in the gym. The chick that looks like the chick that I would date, that shit wouldn't even have sounded that friendly. Like they know they're in such high demand and they get hit on by so many guys. When a guy really does come around and he wants to talk to them, they are a complete bitch. I mean, it's like you were like, okay, yeah, I, I regret even coming to talk to her. Like, this shit is crazy how disrespectful she is. Was she big? Yeah. Sweet. Doesn't matter. <laughs> yeah, that's why I don't really approach chicks that look good like that well I mean I've only been back a couple days but when I was here I stopped doing that cause the shit was like shit you might as well approach the fat chicks and the, and the ugly chicks cause other than that yeah I'm just gonna have to be on monk mode cause I'm even thinking about what my hinge looks like and, like, I got a chick that sounds like she would agree to a date. She's, like, 35 and average. Like, out of those 100 girls we swiped on, that was a turnover, was one. Fucking one out of 100. That's That's crazy. Do you know if I swiped on a hundred girls in Chile, what my shit would have been like? <laughs> 
or let's say Bolivia. Like we, uh, I would have had at least seven dates minimum, and that's probably underdoing it. And people might think I'm making this up, but again, we did it on live video, and I got my other phone with me, which has data. I can show you. But we're going to stop over to this post center real quick. You got to have a friend circle game in Dallas. Well, the thing is, that's true. Man, I think I've had... I've been introduced to chicks and the shit went nowhere. Let me tell you a story about this one Mexican. There was this man, and she was beautiful, bro. She was beautiful as fuck. I was cutting this guy's hair. This is when I realized how bad it was, and I was starting to go into a shell because I couldn't figure shit out. This is like 2020, 2020, maybe 2021. And uh, I seen him at this really nice restaurant. I was out to eat. And uh, I spoke to him, hey, what's up? And then I didn't even speak to the. I was I was already jaded at this point. I didn't even speak to the bitches. I was like, oh, I just said, hey, and then uh, you know, I just I didn't ask them what they. I didn't give a damn. And uh, he texts me like, hey, my my homegirl's her friend said. I mean, uh, my girl, her homegirl wants you to come back talk to her. So I went back over there. Fuck. I went back over there, and she's like, she's showing all the interest. She's laughing and smiling, inviting me to go to the next spot with them. So I followed them. Bruh, all that energy. <laughs> we got to the next spot. And she sat at that table. And that was the quietest. Like, interaction, I think. Like, we sat at that table for like two hours. And didn't really speak to each other. I spent more time. Her, her homeboy was spending more time talking to me than she was. Like, she was just dry and boring. And so... I think he noticed that and he was trying to fill in the gap. So he would speak to try to just fill in the gap. And then that's when I was like, yeah, this shit. <laughs> and then it, it, it goes back to, we did all that for what? We did all that for what? Like we... Did all that laughing and come back and talk to me shit for what for you to sit down and be a damn church mouse he says she wants you to chase believe it or not i think that's what the hell be going through their head like they literally be saying like oh you gotta try a little harder bitch i ain't trying <laughs> what the fuck else do you want me to do I followed you to the other spot like you asked me to. I'm thinking we're going to sit down and get to know each other for a second. And you didn't put a zipper on your damn lips. This shit is crazy, bro. Let me, uh... Let me look up on my other phone exactly what I need. You've seen better to follow average chicks. Yeah, uh, average chicks and fat chicks are going to be your best bet. Uh, what am I looking for? He says some chicks you got to bring it out of them. You, you, you have fun putting on a circus for a bitch. Did you pay for a drink? Hell no. Shit, I should have got her. I should have got her twenty drinks so she could have said something. I, I should have got her a whole bottle and told her finish it, so you can open your damn mouth and talk. Yeah, it's some baddies in Dallas. Don't really matter.
I'm telling you, Austin, you can have them, man. We'll send them away. They're weird like that because even when you do try, they're considered, then you're considered thirsty. You can't win. Yeah. You can't, bro. It really ain't shit you could do right. Yeah, okay, if you have fun entertaining bitches that can't talk. My thing is this. If I'm on a date with a chick and it takes alcohol for us to even have... Alcohol should make the conversation better. It shouldn't be if we don't have this alcohol, we're going to be sitting over here looking like looking at each other like two parrots. You know, alcohol should make it better. At least that's what I notice when I take chicks out that I smash first date, they'll be cool. And then when the drinks get it, kick in, they get real cool. That's how it should be when you drink. It shouldn't be they're awkward and then now they're normal. No. That's not... You got two parrots. Yeah, you know how two parrots sit there and they just look at each other and they don't do nothing? They just look like this? That's basically what it feels like is two parrots. Uh... Send a check or cash. Okay. Include the name of the country where the document will be recorded. Man, this is, they, they really don't want you to leave the United States, man. They, I mean, it's... One, two, three... Oh, hold on. One, two, three forms. Damn. He said, I'm in Dallas and I've never had an issue at all. That's probably because you're raping them bitches. Let's name this one Aposto. That's all I could think he's doing. Anybody that's in Dallas talking about they not having a problem. Either they raping them or they paying for play. Like, Cause you ain't doing you ain't doing it the normal way. I tell you that. This is the payment form. <laughs> and then we're gonna do another one. You see how these American women in the problem? Like it's always my fault that y'all ain't shit. I'm telling y'all, while I'm here in Dallas, I'm about to be, I'm about to start going back on rants. I can feel it. Like, I can feel me talking major shit again. Stuck on what app? I just started using day naps. Yeah, he must be dating mud ducks or something. Raping him. Gotta be. Certificate number. The online certificate validation can be used to verify that the certificate has, in fact, been issued by the government filings of the Texas State. Uh, okay, certificate number at the bottom of the document. Guys, this is what you gotta do. This is what you gotta do. Do, I'm telling you guys, if you plan on living in another country, do this right now. 
Like, don't wait until, don't do what I did in, well, I didn't know I wanted to do, I had to do this, but don't wait until you get to, um, you know, don't wait until you leave the country. Like, have this stuff ready. So when you do find a country you need to get residency at, you could just do it. What bar? Oh, the, an Austin, the bartender started twerking on the counter. I could believe that. I think I got some action in Austin. I think, I, yeah, they're, they're a lot friendlier there. Austin is young with her older, so that's why you draw attention to older women. Well, the, uh, the thing is, that's here in Dallas. It seems like I could only get older women, but what the hell? But when I was abroad, I could I still attracted older women when I was abroad, but I, I could attract the younger ones, too, the girls I was my age. This certificate validation service applies only if it was issued on or after 1994. Okay, well, I put in my document number. It's not popping up. Let me try this number. Right now, I'm getting my birth certificate, and I'm getting a apostle, which is like an international verification, because the other countries that you go to are going to want to see that your documents are verified before they give you residency. You got to do that, and then I have to go like to the FBI to get fingerprints, but I can do that in Paraguay, but I might as well do it while I'm here, kill time, but uh, maybe this is not the right number. Does anybody know where on the birth certificate this number that they're talking about is at? The certificate number? Because there's one at the bottom left. I typed it in and some lady's name named Nancy popped up, which obviously that's not me. Yeah, I'm trying to get my apostle. You're right. Uh, you're right. The 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 crowd that's under 29 here is very immature. I mean, they might as well still be in high school. It's never about the quantity; it's about the quality, and that's where the problem you have in the states is the quality. Yeah. Thank you for the super chat, D Mac. The yeah, the quality of women is not the greatest here. He said they bought that birth certificate. <laughs> it's not popping up. Please contact this via email or you know, so I gotta call somebody because it's not working. Let me see registers file number. Let's see, maybe that's it. We're just gonna try everything at this point.
No, that's not it. Come on, bro. What the hell? <sighs> They're making this very difficult. Meeting women out the street is kind of old school. Okay. It's fine everywhere else in the world. Get your passports. But what's crazy is for that reason, because she feels that they're strange, if you approach her, they're not, she's not going to even entertain you just because it's a weird location to meet people. Who gives a fuck? Yeah, this ain't working, man. Thank you, DZ. Everybody likes your shirt today. I personally would not give a rent. Uh, once you get to 100,000 subs, haters will show their true colors. Yeah. Thank you. So this isn't working. SOS.state.texas I don't know what to do. I mean, I could try again. Well, somebody did say you use your social security card. Let's see. Marco Johnson sent a $20 super chat. Thank you very much. Yeah, that's the website I'm on right now, uh, Anonymous, the SOS.state. Damn, now this website isn't working. I had to go to the Secretary of State. That's where I was at, so now I'm on the website. Because uh, they, every building that says Secretary of State on Google, when I get there, it's not that anymore. What do you think we should do next?
Yeah, I'm gonna have to mail it. Shit is bullshit. Okay, I'm not really accomplishing anything by just sitting here in the car looking at the phone. So what I'm gonna do is um Yeah, yeah. To the state capital. That's what people were telling me it's in Austin that I had to go to because the lady just told me that too that she it says that online and she just told me that that I'd had to go to the spot in Austin. I'm going for dual citizenship. Absolutely. I'm trying to be more than a tourist so I can, because I'm still on tourist visas in these places. So I'm trying to be more than a tourist and I want to have the same access that locals would have. So we're going to go inside this building to, uh, Get out of the stuff mail. Dual citizenship does not mean renounce. Use the bathroom first real quick though. Dual citizenship means two citizenships. to turn over your U.S. passport to get a residency. How's it going? Mm. Paraguay, they told me I could do that background check, all that stuff from there. But I'll double check with them. Uh, I some regular water. too. Hello. Good to you. Um, can I pay to have some papers printed out and then uh, can I see what's in my mailbox? Yes. Yeah, it's an FBI level check I need. This is the place, so I told y'all, this is a postal center where if you live out of the country, you want to have a place like this. This is not a P.O. box. It's similar, but it's not. Yeah, Brianna gonna go to Jamaica and make them wait months. Yeah, 
Oh, <laughs> uh, oh, I need it. Let me send it to you. Where can I email it? Oh, yeah, you need to. There's an email address right on the top of this phone. Uh. So if you're in Dallas, the place I use is a Midtown Postal Center. Look how drama let's try eat the food there and I'm dehydrated. Okay, looks like it's ready for you. Try to tap it. Do y'all offer uh, res? Oh, this, uh, this better not be a troll comment. <laughs> uh, do y'all offer resident um, re registered agent services for corporations? Mm -hmm. Yes, <laughs> I think it's bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> Midtown Postal Should have went through that though Oh you said registered agents like people who connect your business mail for you If the place is over here off of the Preston Road. He's not going to. Oh, you guys, there goes my other Capital One card. I've been waiting on this for 18 months. Finally got it. Okay. So hopefully I'll be getting some points and miles like y'all be having. Open my mail and scan it. Yeah, they, they do open the mail and scan it here if you ask them to. I'm telling you, if you live in if you're an expert, this is the place that you would need. And you don't have to be here either. You could be anywhere.
Is the limit higher this time? No. They denied me for a security card too. Mm -hmm. Hey, somebody just stole my identity or something. Oh, that's always fun. Something. You sent it to Midtown Postal Center? Yes, yes ma'am. Not Midtown Postal. Let me make sure. I mean, we probably, Maybe I did send, I mean. No, my credit score is like What's your name? six something. Austin Hosman. Midtown Postal. Mm-hmm, I, I did. I've been, I've been denied in person too, trust me. Yes, ma'am. Um, so if I have a prepaid label for you, can you ask if I drop it off? Um, is it specific? Yes. Yeah. As long as if, if it's a label that we could, a barcode and not a QRC code. It's a barcode. If it's a barcode, you can drop it off. Okay. Thank you. I'll be right back. Yeah, just if it's that QR, whatever. I don't see nothing. That's not coming. And you have another email I could email too? Those are the two emails. Mid, well, I mean, we're not supposed to use the Midtown Postal one, but Midtown Postal Center at Gmail. You have Wi Fi? Maybe it's my internet. Well, I guess obviously you have Wi Fi. Uh, you have Wi Fi? Maybe it's my connection. Somebody just said that in my comments too. Yeah. Because um, I don't I don't see this one will pop up. Are you supposed to say it right here? The customer Wi Fi is supposed to let pop up right now. Let me step outside and try it. No, I'm by myself.
He said, got the taco meat out. It's still not working. I showed we got a lot of small shit that's going on to stop me from doing stuff. It's hot standing right here, yeah. Let's see if it went through that uh Yeah, that, that is gonna make more sense to just download it on their computer at this point. That's what we gotta do, cause this other phone is, let me see how much data is left in this other phone. It should be almost 100%. I just got the SIM card this morning. Yeah, it's this phone, man. Let me turn on my airdrop. Hold on. It's paper talk coming out now. Man, I really need the water. My favorite place, the bathroom. Bathrooms only. Now, the thing is, I would be shipping this stuff out and I would just tell them to overnight it, which is not necessary, but I would tell them to. But the, uh, the thing, the website is not working.
How's it going? Good to see you. This time I seen your face, you was overseas somewhere. I seen it on the Yeah, I'm in here trying to uh, mail my paperwork now. Do a resident. I filed taxes yesterday. Okay. Um, thank you. I'm back in town just to see my family for a few weeks. And then headed back out. How you been? Good. Good. I was printing now, okay. Yeah, it was a problem with my phone. to come back because oh. I got to get another paper. Yeah, use a sponge. By what people seem to be asking for these days. We, we're, we're, we're your mail agent. You get a 15 and 3 your mail come here and all that. So. I think my bank has a damn... Yeah. No, no, we're just uh, 8 to 7 during the week, 10 to 4 on Saturday. Yeah, too. That's because it's a new card. Okay, let me try one. Okay. Uh, no, ma'am. Thank you. You too. I had to use my cash app card, so I'm probably gonna walk into Capital One after this and have them uh, change my phone number because they're making it super hard to do this. Oh, so apparently, if you want to do residency. You gotta fill out this paperwork every single time because it just asked me what is the name of the uh, country that these documents will be presented. Meaning that if I wanna do this again for Chile, I'm gonna have to do this again. Total number of documents, $15 a document. Method of payment. Client account number check. <coughs> Self address.
Yeah, this is a lot to do, man. Is this considered a handwritten air bill? If I put this in there? No, because you don't have, you need a, they mean something to ship it back to you. We need to put a UPS label or something in there. Oh, okay, okay. So I do that whenever I get my other document. So when they come back. You can, just saying which ways you're going to have them send it back to you. So you can put a, a, a label in there, either post office. Oh, so we, we make the label. Yeah, we'll oh, make okay. the label. Okay. Yeah, that's what Next one is so that was the request for official certificate apostle. The next one is adoption request for. Okay, it's just another another thing, I guess. What? So it's right here it says uh, type of record, birth certificate. I could always ask the lawyer. Man, they make this hard. Then notarized documents, they're not notarized. Or I'm getting them to notarize. Name of the notary, I don't know, I'm, so I'm sending it to them.
What's going on, dearie poop? <laughs> you know what's going on. Another return. Another day. Oh, she's back at it. You. Can you do this one and yeah. send you this email? Yeah. Yes, ma'am. Just this little box. Okay. Oh, no, just this one is mine. The small one, not the big one. Thank you. Okay, I'm going to email it. Thank you so much. We have a late one with the QR code. I can't use the QR code. That has to go only to the UPS store, like the branded UPS store. I can, if you can get the label out of it, I can take it here. But we only gave it. Sometimes you can get a, give you the option to print the label. Well, I have this one right here. Yeah, I, I, this one. I can't do that one. But is that Amazon? Yeah. Now you can. I'm the option that says UPS drop off. You can like undo it and try to return again and see if that's a free option. Sometimes it's not free. The UPS store be the only free option. Feel that as much as we could. When you need the label to go to too far, you need it now? Uh, yeah, probably be best if we get it now. Um, it's going to that secretary. A lot of them, they don't. A lot of them. Actually, UPS store is one in Forest and Preston, one in Belmont and Preston. It's a block each way, a couple blocks each way. But right next to Baskin and Robbins at Forest, Baskin and Robbins, right at Forest Lane. Okay. Uh, Thank you. Oh, this for the address. Yeah, the top level. So I guess you guys, we can go to Capital One after this. Secretary of State. Yes, sir. I don't live in the United States. Did I start tricking you? No. Paperwork coming back, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. yeah, yeah, I'll just like give me a little bigger one so I can throw it. <laughs> like 
that. It's a return label back to you. Okay. Spaced up. Just E3 paper. Mm-hmm. Get the couple around in there. Wait, oh, no, no, no. Because I, I still got to add uh, another sheet. Thank you. Yeah. That's it. That's it. All right. You only had three copies, right? Mm hmm. What about the post that's going down there? Are oh, you going to bring it back? Mm-hmm, I'm going to bring it back. I'll email this to you, too, so you got it. Okay, thank you. Right. I appreciate it, man. Right. I'll be back. So he did that. Thank you, Do uh, Dominic. Dominique. So now what we gotta do, oh shit, I'm sorry. I almost closed him in the door. Uh, we would, we would be getting a, uh, the stuff mailed off right now. But their website is not working for some reason with my birth certificate. So we got to figure out what we're going to, uh, how we're, we're going to have to call them. But I guess in the meantime, we can stop by uh, Capital One. certificate in here uh, this. Let me see where this Capital One is at. Why is this damn phone not working, man? It's got the SIM card today. I know where one is at. Fuck! Spending money left and right being here. Alright, hold on. You might be leaving ATL for McAllen or Brownsville, Texas, just for that team. Good luck. Yeah, I sure ain't in Peru anymore. Warm weather is pretty warm. I told my uncle I was gonna see him today, but I think I need to spend the day doing this. I mean, I still can see him, it'd just be later than expected. Thank you, I'm glad y'all like the shirt. A lot of people like the shirt.
I wonder if the ladies will like my shirt. I wonder if I, we'll, 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 we'll give me some shoes and signals. to get over. Let me do 635. Y'all give me a topic to talk about, man. Y'all, I think I'm starting to get sick from not having no action. Remember I told you I'll start getting sick? I think I'm starting to get sick. I'm addicted. I'm addicted. The chick next to me has some nice lips. Semen back. <laughs> That's really what it is, man. That's really what it is. This is really what it is. How was dating in Uganda, Zambia? Uh, all the chicks I dealt with in Zambia, man, bullshitted the hell out of me. I mean, I had two I was dealing with mainly. Bro, both of them, like, they it's like they literally teased me on purpose. One of them came over, spent the night twice. And the first night, she let me, like, put it in her for one stroke and was like, stop, stop, stop. And she didn't give me a clear reason on why she wanted me to stop. But then she's like, well, you could just finger me till I'm done. And I was like, fuck you. Like, are you kidding me? But it was so it was so dry, I let her spend the night again. Because if, if either I was going to have to go in monk mode or we going to try one more time. So we tried again. And she did it again. And I was like, okay. So I cut her off because I wasn't going to let that happen a third time. Uh, then there was another chick pretty, pretty for Zambia She was Zambian See Zambia has that issue like uh, Like uh, Bolivia where The ones that are mixed with some other African or European Look better than the locals uh, The Kenyans see they look good Straight Kenyan But Zambia that's not the case Like they, they, need, they needed that mixing if you ask me So You wanted to say no. So then uh, there was another girl. She came over. And she was choosing heavy. This is my first night there. She was choosing heavy. And she dropped me off. And she was like, yeah, I'm going to come inside and see your apartment. So I'm thinking, like, she just trying to say that to save face. I know what she about to do. So, But she was dead ass. She came in and looked at my apartment, walked in. and walked. She was literally in my apartment maybe 30 seconds. So... She looked at it and left. Zambia it was very nice, though. I will say that. It was boring. But it was very safe, very nice, uh, very modern. Uh, I could live there if I was older and I had a wife. Not if I was single. But anyway. Uh, fuck. But anyway, she, she left. And then we talked. And we could never get a time together. She would be like, oh, I'm about to come over now. And then she played that game where when it gets real close to it, then she disappeared. And the other girl was doing the same bullshit. I'm like, what? what is this about? What, what is going on out here? 
I brought 20 cigars with me to Zambia. I smoked 20 cigars in 10 days. That's how bored I was. So anyway, uh, she came and, oh, I couldn't wait to get back to Kenya. But she went and bullshitted me like that for the entire time. And then I told her like, hey, tomorrow's my last day. You know, I want to see you before I leave. You know, we've been missing each other, but now I think we should make sure we have a solid time to meet. So, oh yeah, I still do need to buy condoms. Thank you for reminding me. Because boy, when I get back to South America. But anyway, she, <laughs> she was, uh, she's like, okay, I'm gonna come over there right now. Uh, and she told me to get in the shower. Hold on. I keep missing my turns. But she told me to get in the shower, right? Go, 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 so I can go. Yeah, let me go, because you're moving too damn slow anyway. Uh... So I'm thinking, okay, she told me this. She already came over. She saw the apartment. So I'm finna get in the shower. Because she told me to get in the shower, so I'm assuming she want me to be nice and fresh because she want to fuck. And then she even threw in there make sure. I think she said something. I had to go back and watch the video when I told him about this. But she said something like, you know, don't have no clothes on or something like that. So I went there and took a shower. <laughs> and I came out that bitch with no clothes on. And she's like, she flipped on me. She said, I'm a guest. Like, why would you? I said, oh, bitch. I'm never coming back here. Yeah, I was like, oh, bitch. I'm never coming back here. You, you pulled this stun on me. My phone is starting to do that freezing thing again. You pulled this stunt on me. You told me to come out the shower. Hold on, let me just lay out the whole environment. It's my last day in a new country. You know what's up, because I know I made shit. I make, I make it very obvious what I'm trying to do with women when I first see them. So for you to say that you gonna come over here and now you tell them Damn. Shit, man. I'm 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 gonna have to start streaming on StreamYard, man. I might have to restart the stream in a minute if that happens again. It's when somebody calls me or if I switch, it happens. But anyway, she was like, uh, oh, you know. I need to uh no, and I was like, you 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 this is my last day in a new country. You told me that you want me to come out the shower with no clothes on. And she was pretty. And I came out the shower, no clothes, and now you talking about I'm a guest. Why are you getting out of the shower with no clothes on? I'm like, well, I'm thinking, why the hell is she asking me that? So I'm next time I go back to Zambia, I'm taking somebody with me. Like if I go back, I'm taking somebody with me. Like I'm taking a, a woman with me. Because I'm not dealing with those women over there, man. That shit was some bullshit. Like, and that, literally, I was getting on the plane. I was calling my homeboy, and I was telling him, like, yeah, bro, I'm not coming back over here. It was peaceful and quiet, but it wasn't, no. Mm-mm. Yeah, it was silly. And women that do stuff like that got to be careful because I say this all the time, bro. That that's it's funny, right? It's funny until it's not funny. Like it's funny until she does that to somebody that doesn't that doesn't have the patience that I have. And then she finds herself in a bad situation like that. Now it's not funny anymore. You know what I mean? Now it's not funny. 
did I smash? No, I didn't. I just told her, like, I was like, all right. Like, I got frustrated. I was like, all right, you know what? It was nice meeting you. I don't. I didn't really see the point in you coming over here to say goodbye. I mean, there's nothing wrong with you saying goodbye, but the fact that you told me to be butt-ass naked getting out of the shower, and then I followed directions, and then you tried to flip the script, that's what made me, like, go crazy about it. He said they got a great fantasy. Yeah. He said don't suggest. I'm not suggesting. I'm telling you with the possibility. So we're in Capital One right now. We love the United States. They asked me to enter in my information. I don't know why my information not in there already. Kev, I'm gonna end up banning you one day. I'm gonna end up banning this motherfucker one day. Yeah, we, we, all of us, all 287 of us are at Capital One. Okay, so we're gonna wait. What a nice bank. He said it shouldn't be taken seriously. We know that they're not serious people, but I'm not, I have every right to be frustrated whenever I'm getting teased with. The same way a dog would be frustrated if you tease him with, him with, a, with a treat. The same way I can get. No, I'm not getting that apostle. I'm at the bank trying to get my card right. I need to go ahead and stop by Bank of America too. Tell them I need my damn money back from Santiago. See if I put this card in the ATM, will it work? He said, Can you imagine all 300 of us in the bank? personal army you right about that they gonna ra they gonna raise my credit limit once they see 300 of us walking here 300 of us walking the bank I'm 24. <laughs> yeah Kim is a troll bro Kev is a troll. Yeah, I don't like you. Oh, they're not gonna tell me to stop if, if 300 of us walk in here. 
They're not gonna tell us to stop filming. They're gonna let me film. Join the Discord so you can get cussed out. Ito, he says, I noticed that when you're abroad, you're more respectful, rarely use derogatory language. You don't call women the B word, but in US, oh boy. Yeah. I, dis I use disrespect when it's due. The situation makes you want to use the B word. Trayvon Diggs, what do you say? The plan, we don't really have any plans for the night. We can, we can get out of Legacy West or something like that. That might be cool. Shit whack, man. Shit whack. Look at Janae, you might, you've been getting the most action in America. Are you talking about views or are you talking about women? Because it's definitely views and not women. How are Floyd's uh, lives too cringe? I haven't been watching it. Love, little bro. Keep cooking. Thank you for the two hour super chat from Kings and Dreams. Yeah, it really made me not want to live in the States again. I don't see how y'all come back here. I really don't see it. Numbers are doing good here, so I, me being here is cool. Just need to hang out by Legacy West. Lower Greenville, no, we gotta do that, and we gotta do.
leaving in two weeks. Let me see exactly what day. Yeah, I leave in two weeks. Thank God. Ooh, I can't do it. I use the curl splash. Experiment or anything. Hello, am I able to change my phone number on my account here? Yeah, you got your ID? No, I just have my, I have my social security for it. Uh, no, I need an ID to be able to change it. What about a photo? No, I have my physical because I have to change it. Shit. And it's on your credit card? Bye. It's for your credit card or your mm -hmm. debit account? Credit card? Credit card, yeah. We're not able to change credit card See, account information. Um, oh, wait, I have my ID in the car. Okay. Hey, we back. Too many, too many rules in the States. Go take me back to the corrupt countries. Something told me to bring my passport, though. Good call to put my phone down for what? But is it for a credit card account or for a checking account? Credit card. Credit card just only? He said come back every six months to keep your numbers up. Yeah, we can let those numbers tank. You just give us a number of call and they should be able to update it. Um, they might just ask for your social security number and then the numbers on the back of your credit card to be able to pull up your account. Yeah, I've been doing that for a while now and they just told me that I've been out of the country for almost two years and they just told me I had to come inside. Yeah, for credit card, if you only have credit cards with us, we're not able to change it in our system, but I, I'm i not even able to pull it out to see if I can because the, the ID is expiring. Okay. You don't have, like, your passport or something on you? Not with me, not no. Not with you, yeah. If you want to bring back the passport, you can try to check it out and see if I can change it in our system. Okay, thank you. All right, so you got to do some more driving. I'm never coming back here. All right. No, I didn't have my passport with me because I didn't know I was coming to Capital One today. I just thought about it. <sighs> Let me see. I'm not that close to home either, I think. The Cougar? No. Nah. After all this back and forth, I definitely need some pussy, man. I really do. Yeah, it is a pain in the ass. It really is. 
I mean, I think God is putting me through this so he, because he doesn't want me to come back. Just stay gone. All the little bullshit that's been happening on this trip back to the States is just further confirmation. Like, yeah, you don't need to come back. Like, the only real issues I've been having abroad is like, oh, the data on my phone ran out. Or, oh, like, they only take cash. You know, shit that is annoying, but it's not this damn annoying. It wouldn't run me out of a country. It would just, it would probably deter me a small bit, but it would make me be like, oh, I'm not going back there because they only take cash. The cougar. Maybe they have one. Uh, why did you come here in the first place? Uh, to do what I'm doing. Like, for example, I couldn't get my credit card. The phone number that they have on my credit card account is a phone number I don't have access to. I got a new phone number. Like, even before I left the States, I had a new phone number. And in order for me to use this credit card, I have to verify it through the app. My driver's license, my ID was expired. So they were like, you got to come inside to verify. Now I'm like, I'm on the other side of the world. I can't come inside. What else can I do? Yeah, that's your only option. Okay. So, you gotta do that. But I'm gonna do it today because after today, I won't have to do this again. Uh, after, like, after I do this, I'm not ever coming back here. Uh, Yeah, it's, it's, I'm not coming back here. Like, what's another? Mm, let me go through this way. Boy, I've been out of the country way too long. The way I, the way I drive is the way I see other people in, Nicar uh, in uh, Peru drive now. Just moving the way how I want to. Wait till you try to renew your driver's license. So we're setting up an appointment for that. We're setting up an appointment to renew my driver's license. But I want to go in there and unlock my credit card and then ask them for a raise in person. It's fucking traffic. Am I leaving the USA? Hell yeah, my my uh my plane ticket was bought before I came back. Floyd is not homeless. He would have reached out to the personal group. International places, yeah. So my plan is whenever I get to Paraguay too, I'm gonna have a driver's license there. When you get your residency, you can get a driver's license there. Only thing is I still wouldn't have, I think I would just have a driver's license just to have it.
one place that I really loved was Cartagena. Like, I didn't like what was going on there, but I, the, the way how it looked, I loved it. Right there by the beach, or on the beach, you know, humid, everybody outside. Like, it was beautiful to, to be at, but that shit that they got going on, I couldn't get with it. I don't know, I and mean, being in Dallas, it's just hard to figure out the what's going on in Dallas. Like on a daily basis, what's going on? I pick Columbia over Dallas right now? Yeah. Because I got some action while I was in Cartagena. And I had more potential action too. Like there was chicks I was meeting at the gym. Uh, There's one brown skin chicken, you know, I didn't know her, obviously, but we talked for like a whole 10 minutes of, upon the first interaction. Isn't that crazy? I have a better connection with women when we have a language barrier versus the ones we speak the same fucking language. Shit is crazy. Come on, you stupid motherfucker. God damn. Shit. I can't I gotta get out of here. But yeah, when there's a language barrier, it seems like Again, I always tell people, uh, the language barrier makes it better because you don't understand each other, so she can't really play with you too much because she can't. Like, you're, you can't even really understand her that well. So what? how is she going to use you for any attention if she's just bullshitting? So she has to get straight to the point.
It's not because you're exotic. Like in Salvador, black men are not exotic. In Cali, black men are not exotic. In Rio, black men are not exotic. In Nairobi, black men are not exotic. In Dar es Salaam, black men are not exotic. I hate it when people say that shit. It's not because you're a fucking foreigner. That's just the way how those people are. They have a different culture. Uh, Bless already sent $10. He says, screw the U.S. I hate it when women would say you look good or bet you have. Oh, I hate that shit too. I bet you have all the women chasing you. In reality, they playing cat and mouse need uh, financial help or free food. Yeah, I've talked about that a few times where women have told me like, uh, oh, you look like you got all the hoes. That's why I'm not going to give you my number. Like they literally told me they're not going to give me their number because I look like because they think women are happy. That's how dumb they are. Women in the women in the states. Women in the states uh, be like, "I'm hungry. Who can I call?" Yeah. Thank you for the super chat. Bolivia or Dallas? I'd rather be in Bolivia. Because at least the ones that you did find in Bolivia, when they were nice, they were nice. Like the three chicks that I did meet, date, you know, they were nice. Like we would talk the entire day, literally no breaks when we were talking. Versus here, it, it seems like it's damn near impossible to find that. What are my favorite cigars? I tell you that foot long cigar I bought yesterday, I smoked that cigar. That was one of the best cigars I've ever smoked. Which I knew it was because I had the, the full body one. I just never had the Churchill. And that was an extra long Churchill. Like, I've never had a Churchill that long. What you got going today, bro? Uh, Bernard... So, uh, there is a, uh, what you call it? Uh, so right now I'm about to do this. I'm about to try to go, I'm going to go back to a different, a different capital one. There's one closer. I'm going to go there. I'm thinking I may go to Legacy West. I know I was supposed to go out to Keller to see my uncle, but that's, man, I've been trying to handle paperwork all day. I think. It's best I probably knock that out. I'm so, but I'm gonna have to call him and tell him that because I don't want to leave him hanging. Uh, other than that, you know, nothing much really. You know, I'm always smoking cigar. I got some cigars at home though. But uh, well, actually, I got one with me that I need to smoke. That I'm really wanting to smoke. The rest of the day, I need to hydrate myself because I ate some food that sucked all the water out of my body. That's why my lips are dry. Uh, what you got going on? Or what do you recommend for the day? But yeah, man, uh, that's like the way, the, this is the logic that the chicks have over here. Like they walk into the barber shop and they say, oh, I don't want that barber to cut my hair. He looks like he stays booked. Like who the fuck says stuff like that? But they say that because they say, I don't want to talk to him. He looked like all the girls like him. Well, first of all, you don't even know that. So just say you don't like me, because that, because you don't even, you're you're trying to disqualify me off something that you don't know. Uh, but I don't have to deal with that. I don't have to deal with that. When I'm abroad, I've I've, I've only heard that shit in the United States, in Dallas, 
and I, from what it sounds like, it happens elsewhere too. But all the other countries, I've never heard that. Usually in other countries, I notice whenever uh, uh, more women are attracted, or it looks like more women like me, other women find that interesting. We're still trying to build your credit up, yeah? You want me to pull up and give you a haircut? It's $100. Yeah, I'll give you $100. And what's crazy is, it's sad because you guys remember uh, seeing the, uh, the chicks on my uh, hinge. How many beautiful, beautiful black chicks there were on hinge? doesn't matter <laughs> it doesn't matter so uh, yeah it doesn't matter he said these chicks want to be dub they do don't they get over this asshole But yeah, Bolivia over da uh, Santa Cruz, Bolivia over Dallas, because in those countries, see, it was uh, it was so easy to connect with a chick. Number one, I was saving a lot of money compared to here. I would be saving a lot more money being there. Uh, they were, those chicks were so easy to connect with. The ones that I did. You know get to connect with but it, they were so easy to connect with i can if i ever wanted to just stop looking for chicks every day i could do that see here no you you need to be constantly doing that shit, and you still gonna get no result how much of the urban area do you know i know all of dfw Vietnam, Cambodia, Thailand. It's in between Vietnam and Thailand. Uh, Vietnam is more... I think Vietnam is more my speed. But Thailand has more is more convenient for somebody coming from the West. They both have a lot of foreigners, though. See her. Quit driving in my blind spot, bitch. Driving. Why the hell was she even driving right there? Because I looked in the mirror before I was about to get over. Do you think you're incapable of uh, connecting with American women? Absolutely. Like 100%. I mean, you, again... You're not going to be able to convince me otherwise because I've met American women outside of America and I've tried it again. Let me uh, check this address. If 
you clip my stream for TikTok, will, you, will I sue you? Uh, no. Just make sure you tag me. There's so many cam girls in Colombia. Yeah, we might go out to this restaurant in uh, Legacy West and just smoke a cigar. It ain't shit going on. Yeah, I've been driving. Yeah, bless artists. That's what I said. I had good money, my own car, my own crib, well dressed. And people, ooh, people used to look at me and be like, oh, you look like you, uh, you look like you got, you look like, you know, all the women, you look like a catch. I used to be like, bro, shut the fuck up, bro. You don't even know what you're talking about. Bro, you'll be so dry, you'll start to think that you're not a catch. You'll start to envy other dudes. <laughs> like, it makes sense now why American men are so disrespectful right in front of your girlfriend because i if you if you've been dry long enough you'll stop giving a damn about respecting other people too you'll be so dry to the point where you'll drive past somebody a dude that's on a date with a beautiful chick and you'll just throw a damn tomato at both of them <laughs> john is funny as hell Yeah, you'll throw a tomato at him. Floyd said his body count is 15 in Columbia. Really? He he heard you're into Leva Cigars from Nicaragua. Yes, that's one of my favorites. Those Maduros. Are you fucking serious? Hey dog, lol. I swear to God, I used to be like, how this ugly ass boy with no drip pull a bad joint before me. I'm telling you, bro. 
I'm telling you. It really be like that. You'll be you'll be trying to get you'll be over here working on yourself like all them fucking red pill dudes be saying work on yourself, work on yourself, work on yourself. Just to get your ass rejected. <laughs> Just to get rejected left and right. Now granted, you're not gonna get rejected every time, but when you get accepted, look at who's accepting you. The bottom of the barrel. So, yeah, I can't do it. Single moms, fat women, ugly women. That's who pretty much you're going to get the majority of your action from. <laughs> Bright future. And it's not that we don't want single mothers, but I just, bro, I don't want to be limited to that shit. Like, I'll smash a single mother... You know, I'd even take her out on a couple of days now. I ain't gonna take care of her kids. I ain't looking at. I ain't trying to do all that. But, bro, that's again. That's because of that reason. That's why I don't want to be limited to this shit. <laughs> and really, the only single mothers you're gonna be smashing is like thirty-five and up. Because the ones that's under 30 is still stupid and going back and forth with their baby daddy. I gotta come. I came all the way back here to get my passport. Sorry, that's your fault for walking down the street. Ain't my fault. About to just take off running in the middle of the damn parking lot. Yeah, next time I come to Dallas, I'm only gonna be here. I'm gonna max out at three or four days. Like I'll come here for a weekend. 
I come here on a Friday and leave by Tuesday. I haven't been shopping yet. We've been running errands and stuff. I came, I came back to get my passport. Thank you. Really? Henry is the manager there. He's that. So he said, if you want to run by there, he's there. It's up to you. But um, so you won't have any more issues. He's leaving the car at the front desk. But he's there. If you want to go run and pick the car up? Because um, he said, not only did he give you a week, he, he gave you two, two more weeks. So he said, it's clearly there in the email. He said, you have an email, and then they can also see that at the front desk. So he was not happy about that. So, but. He said to avoid all that, he was on the top of that guy and asked him why he could do that. And then, but to avoid all that, uh, you have a car that's up there at the front desk. Like, if you want to just go around and pick it up tomorrow, or if you want to, you know, because I was going to order. So we got that taken care of And the DPS office is in Louisville. At Garland, they have appointments available on the 19th, and one of them has one tomorrow. For your license. So I'm saying, I just had a doctor check. I'm going to take a quick nap because that work got kind of on the stage. Yes, ma'am. Yeah. I didn't know. I was assuming that black bag right there was dirt clothes. I just washed out of the stuff and hung your shirt to fold up your underwear. Mm -hmm. well, I appreciate it. It was. 
I'm about to run back over here to Capital One. To, I had to get my passport because I didn't have my. I just, I just got to do it. I, I don't know which one I'm going to now, but I'm about to. I was sitting there and just can't remember exactly. I was sitting down there as one. I was sort of guy that. Let me see. Yeah, I gotta go back to where I was at. Yeah, since they are really just expecting to go Okay, got our passport. Let's do this again. So one of the girls messaged me back on Hinge and she's like, I told her like, we should go shoot pool. And she's like, where are you coming from? What time? So I told her, oh, I'm coming from Plano. You know, let's meet around this time tonight. I would have been saw the message, but this phone, even though I just bought data for it this morning, my second phone is not showing. So if she's cool and she says, yes, yeah, she want to go, then we'll go and we'll talk about what happened. And honestly, at this point, it's so much effort I got to do to get a fucking date. I'm not changing my outfit. I'm wearing the same shit. You got to dress to impress. I'm, I've been getting compliments on this shirt all day today. Usually for my day to dress more simple, though. Thing is, they got some really beautiful black chicks on here, but... Got a gut anyway. Hold on. Never do one here. I've been swiping more since I did Sunday. Uh, yesterday I did. Might sit down and do it more today. Thing is, if this data was working, we could just sit here in, in the parking lot somewhere and swipe for 20 minutes. But this data isn't working. I don't like it when electronics really, that, that's, that's annoying, especially when you pay for something to work. Then same day is not working. That's like when I was in Paraguay, I had bought some data from my phone one time. And in a, a couple hours, it was like 10 gigabytes. And a couple hours later, it ran out. And I was like, yo, like there's no way in hell that data ran out that fast. That's one thing I don't like about Paraguay is you have to... It's another country where you have to buy data every time you need it. 
Like, there's no unlimited plan. You got to keep buying data. I know Houston, there was that pool party full of fat black girls. What they call it, a thick party, a thick swim party, swim thick party. Man, this shit too confusing around here. <laughs> this shit is too confusing. I need to hurry up and get there because they close at five. Yeah, your best bet if you're doing a bunch of stuff at places that close at 5 p.m. is to wake up at like 7 a.m. or 6 a.m. and be out the house by 8 a.m. or 7.30 a.m. And by 12 o'clock, you'll be done with everything. Man, I think, I don't even think I want to go on a date, bro. I don't. Y'all don't want to see what? Oh, that, that, that swim thick party. Event bright or meetup? No, but I know what you're talking about with event bright. Dude, we have a green light. Why are you stopping for this idiot? At midnight, you'll wish you were some guns. Yeah, maybe so. Maybe I need to take a libido pill that's gonna just make me wanna go on a date. Something that's gonna boost my libido to something unrealistic. says I'm offline. Why? As full-blooded man, there is no reason to not to bag the chick that you want. Too many excuses. Who's making excuses? Get you a honey pack. I can't take those honey packs, man. I'm allergic to them. I got to take something else. So when I would go to the store, I would take those ether. I think they're called ether pills. Uh, and those work. They'll boost your libido and yeah, they work. But, but those honey packs, they, they make my nose all stuffy and
the fact that I don't want any pussy right now is telling me that they got some testosterone decreases in the food or something out here. Because when I was in other countries, I couldn't, I, I had to, I damn near had to put, have some pussy every day. Now, I didn't need it, but if it was up for, for me to decide, every day. Like when I was in Lima, I was hitting up those chicks like, hey, you wanna come back over today? You should come back over today. I need that again. I'm not feeling like that right now. Let me connect something real quick. Lift weights. I don't know. I just remember I was a lot happier uh, in other places. Like, even a short period of time here is just fucking up my vibe. I got one of my pills with me. I always keep one with me. I just don't want to take it to waste it. Because see, I could take I could wake up in South America and take and take one of those libido pills and be like, I'm gonna take this, but I'm not gonna let it go to waste. I'm gonna search until I find something today. Garen almost get almost like a 90% chance if I put the effort in that day, I can find something that same day. Uh, yeah, here that shit's not the same case. <laughs> You're gonna be wasting the fuck out of those pills if you think you can just take them. Yeah, I got a checklist of documents I need to do. Like I said, I need to get this apostle married. I'm oh, not married. Mailed it in. Uh, I'm doing my Capital One card now. I need to go to my bank and get that.
you take the pill every day, your dick will just be getting hard at random times. But you'd have to stay very hydrated. Yeah, if I complete that checklist, it, it won't be a wasted trip because it'll be it, it'll be a trip where it, it'll ensure I don't have to come back. Go back like bread and butter, bread and butter. I'm telling you, John, I think John is that Gordon guy. I think they're the same people.
your band, buddy. That's a tight exit spot. I got on my signal. I don't give a fuck about you, honky. Pay attention to the goddamn road. God, please let it work. Please let it work. No, I'm not Catholic. It's funny. All right, round two. Yes, I wanted to uh, switch the phone number on my credit card account. I was in there earlier, but I brought my passport for my ID. Phone number? Uh, the new phone number? Yeah. 
Mm -hmm. They won't let me do it through the app. So they don't let me do it through the credit card. Mm -hmm. You might have to call them. Okay. Yeah, we were able to do that. So we had to come all the way back to the United States to be in Capital One for 10 seconds. <laughs> like they literally told me over the phone I was gonna have to fly back to the States to be inside Capital One for that long to do that. So thank God we did that. Glad that's done. Uh, now, we need to figure out what's wrong with the... Yeah, so, basically, we had to do that. So really only thing now is just to renew my driver's license and get a new physical cash app card, which I could order that now. A new physical cash app card, a new physical uh, checking account card and personal account. And then that's it. And it's residency shit. And then after that, I could actually leave. So let me pull over here to Starbucks really quick. And we're going to check my uh, hinge. So tell me, should we go to a restaurant? Should we go to Legacy West and sit outside and smoke a cigar? Or... Should we go to Starbucks and just check? Oh, buy condoms too. Shit. Let me go do that. Let me go. Let me see if I can get 300 of them. Because, bruh, I mean, whenever I was in Kenya, they had the skin condoms. That's the her pleasure condoms. I was knocking them down. Fuck, my damn voice cracked. <laughs> I was knocking them down with those condoms. I was knocking them down. Uh, but with the with the Durex condoms that they have in these other countries and uh, some of the other, you'd be like, bro, like you're about to go limp. You're about to go. Those other condoms will have your shit getting soft. Because you can't feel nothing. It's too thick. So really, I'm going to find a couple girls that I like. And I'm going to buy some lamb skins for them. And skins for everybody else. That's how you got to do it. Yeah, Durex is trash, man. You, he said you can hear the drought in his voice. Uh, the brand in Kenya is skin. They sell in the United States too. We 
I'm gonna take y'all. I'm gonna take y'all with me to help me pick one. We're gonna we're gonna pick. We're gonna get a variety. No, 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 no. We don't need to get a variety. Once you find a condom that works, stick with that because you don't want to get in a, into somebody new and then you think something wrong with them when really you just got on the wrong condom. That's right, Walmart only does physical debit cards, so I had to go to a Target. Yeah, but if you get condoms, you always got to get the ones that say her pleasure. Because if she's liking it more, you'll like it more. Don't believe me? Go sleep with a chick that doesn't moan and see how much you like it. That happened to me recently, uh... In Lima, if you heard me on the uh, Patreon, one of the chicks I was with, she was just silent. And I'm like, bro, like, I told her, like, do you like this or not? Like, I don't, I'm, I'm quiet. Well, you got to, that quiet shit got to stop. Because I can't, I'm not going to keep, I can't keep going. Tell chicks you approach them because you want to try some new rubbers. You know, in America, that might actually work. Got to stand out from the rest of the guys, right? So you got to say some off-the-wall shit. Actually, I put them on this credit card that I just activated. That's since that's the only physical card I got. said i want to be quiet what are you talking about oh that's when you spin around and go to pound town yeah that works but even then it was like she was holding her breath like she was the type to get at the sheets and bite them so she would make the noise bro no you gotta make you gotta get, get see you do better when you get feedback if you ain't getting no feedback you're gonna be like all right like okay maybe i should stop Yeah, you can validate this working. Yeah. yeah. You talking about the... He said throw it back. Now, I will say the ones that do throw it back, that be a... Uh... Now, that shit be mind-blowing. Because it's like they're hella engaged and it feels better. So it'd be like, oh, shit. <laughs> you said I respect him. said which which women are the loudest in bed that's between africans and brazilians actually i ain't gonna group all the africans together like that i say the kenyans and the, uh, and the brazilians He said if indigenous chicks had fat asses, it'd be over for black women. I swear it would. Because remember, like he said, they got that elite box. Seriously, they seriously got that elite box. Like, you get a hold of one of them, you're not coming up out of there. <laughs> oh, you're not coming up out of there. I'm telling you. You're not coming up out of there. No, John is trolling. That's not really my uncle. Yeah, you're not coming up out of there. You get one of them indigenous. Maybe 
have an elite box. And I think, I don't know, I don't know if the North Americans, uh, I don't know if the indigenous North Americans are like the ones in the South. I don't think it's by nationality, it's by person. No, it's by nationality. Every chick that I've had that was like, that had that indigenous look to them, they either had that mestiza look or they had uh, just a straight indigenous look. Boy, I damn near lost my mind. Like when I was in Bolivia, man, it was one the first chick I had in Bolivia was like this. She was like uh, indigenous. She don't look like she ever got mixed in really. Even though she did like by her grandfather. Man, I tell you, I, w I damn near couldn't even remember some of the shit that we, like I couldn't even remember all of it. Marty W. Yeah, I, I couldn't even remember it. I think who was that I was telling to? I think was I telling Jason that? Uh, I was telling Jason before the date. I was like, yeah, I'm gonna go on a date with this chick. And I text him later on, like, yo, like she put that pussy on me, bro. Like I gotta see her again. I forgot who that was. I gotta go back and find out who I who I was telling him about. Cause it was somebody I was like, I, I was like, bro. <laughs> Had my ass lost. He said, don't get me started on dwarves. I don't know. <laughs> American box is elite. No, it ain't. I ain't gonna lie to you. She said black American. I'm gonna say the the Af but worldwide, I'm telling you, worldwide African women got the best. I'm fucking telling you. I'm telling you. Bro, that guy. That's why when I got to Kenya. And I was like, okay, like the culture here is very like, everybody's just like, you know, having fun. And then um, everybody's just having fun. And then the internet is fast. The food is good. It's cheap to be here. I couldn't go nowhere. Cause especially once I got a taste of a couple of them cans, I was like, God damn. Cause you know the first time I was just like ah like that was just a good one. Then it happened again, and then it happened again and again. And I was like yo what the fuck. So whenever dudes is like oh I ain't coming to Africa. Those chicks are unattractive. I say well fuck it don't come then. Don't come. Cause I I don't think I can get enough of this shit anyway. <laughs> yeah matter of fact don't come. We need less y'all anyway. Shit, I got this is all for me. I'm about to get greedy.
because when I was in Africa, they, they'll be talking to you, too. They'll be talking to you <laughs> during the during it. They'll, they'll be talking to you. So that shit was like, hold the fuck up. She got me engaged. She got me engaged. I'm not talking about a wedding ring. I'm talking about like she just got me engaged in the in the in the moment. What do they say? Don't don't worry about it. But they be saying it like hella confident. Like uh, I ain't gonna repeat what they said because I'd I'd have to say it the same way how they said it for it to sound right. And I ain't, I ain't finna say it the way how they said it. Hold on one second. Let me let me activate this card. Hmm. Looks like I gotta use the Walmart app again because they telling me that I can't activate the card. Bro, it, this this my life with all these little small micro problems and bullshit. He said, don't skip on them big women. Make you want to shout. Yeah, the first time. Then when you go back to, to fool with them a second time, you start thinking about how fat they are. That's never good. Okay, you know what? We'll just go ahead and get it anyway, and then we'll just do... Uh, I don't know why it said it won't activate. It just said, oh, we hit a problem. I don't know why condoms weren't on a checklist. And I don't know why uh, I can't uh, flirt in English in the United States. Because whenever I was in a... Uh, Chile. Whenever I, well, let me just say this. Anywhere I bumped into outside the States, I had no problem flirting. So I, at first when I got here, I was like, oh, it's because I'm, I'm I'm used to flirting in Spanish or Portuguese. So flirting in English is a little odd. And I thought about it. I done flirted in English in all those countries too because I met women that knew English in all those countries. And they had no problem. Just like the girl with the red hair. Uh, the girl with the red hair, it was like, no problem. Damn near need to buy more face wash. Maybe. Man, I gotta spend a little. So let me tell you something. Uh, shampoo. Good shampoo is hard to find when you leave the States. But I'm not gonna I'm not gonna buy a lot because uh, they got good shampoo in Paraguay. So honestly, I don't need to buy none of this. So let's go over here. I know I need some more toothpaste. Gotta have that. There you go, that's for a smoker right there. Well, I take it to shoot pool or something. Oh, we need some more deodorant too. Got to have that. <clears throat> they don't have the one I want. So, because I got to get the small one because 
travel, so I don't need to have all that heavy. Uh, oh, there they go, right there, you guys. Okay. So. Let's see which one we're gonna get. He said, just go with the old spice, nephew. Oh, this dude is funny. So we're gonna get this one. This one says our thinnest ever. So we'll get one of these too. He said, get the travel size condoms. <laughs> so. See. We should get one of these, right? He said I'm messing up the inventory kind of. Oh, I'm gonna buy this. I don't do magnums, man. Magnums are. Uh, I've had too many issues where I've worn them and then I couldn't feel them. They got a lamb skin right here too. Uh, the ultra. So we need to get we need to get a box of the ultra rib. Yeah, the rib kind. Yeah, we got to get that. So what are these? These are the thin ones. Here's what we we'll do. We'll put this back, and then. What is this? He said you can add a fit of ma a magnum. Fragrance. We don't need that. I don't think these do y'all know do y'all like these elites? The rib ones do make a difference. They really do make a difference. They really do. So I think what we'll do is we'll get you said 30. Well, they're $18 here too, so you might as well get, these are 36, so it's the same thing. So, <clears throat> we'll get one of these. Excuse me, sorry. So sorry, lo siento. Uh, <laughs> and grab, that's $20 right there, but these are the ones you really need. So, the ribbed, so we're gonna put this back then. And then can I get can I get the 36 pack of those rib? The yellow. Gracias, hasta luego. So look, I'm dropping shit. Hold on. Fuck. Oh, because you come Friday morning. My coworker, she made it Do I really need that many? Yeah, I get that's 72 rounds. And really it might be 36 rounds because sometimes you might run through two. But you wouldn't know about that because you don't last that long. So you don't know about using two in one session, possibly even three. Now at this Walmart, it looks like that you have tap pay. The gold box is the rib ones. We gotta have. So, 
I'm gonna go ahead and do what I'm not supposed to do, but we're gonna get some candy today. Yeah, I don't have enough of them. I told you I was gonna get 300. That's 72 plus three, six, so that's 78. If you guys want more Patreon stories about what I'm going to do with these, donate to the Cash App at dollar sign Austin Holloman. <laughs> well, if you don't want to use condoms, what you do is you uh, you use these because these, I swear to God, feel like you really don't have any. It feels like you don't have any on. This is an adult channel, you guys. If you're not an adult, turn off, go, go to another channel. This is an adult channel. So we, we talk about, we talk about adult stuff on this channel. So if it bothers you, fuck. Yeah, if it bothers you, don't worry about it. They, they don't even have Man, these motherfuckers ain't got tap pay here either. Okay. Watch how much all this shit costs. That's already $30. This is about to be $60. Watch. Never mind. It's about to be $70. But it's okay. Because we won't have to buy nothing for a while. So, $66. What'd I tell y'all? Let me, um, let me add this so I can do this. Hold on. So I'm going to ask them, how can I pay? Yeah, I told you I was, I was trying to pay. Excuse me. Fuck Walmart, man. Yes, um, I don't have my physical card. I'm <clears throat> Lost a lot of viewers. called in sale rage <laughs> in sale rage
So we got bunches and bunches and bunches of condoms. two years worth here's what i do though whenever i arrive back in paraguay i'll order a hundred you know some chicks be like hold on where's your condom at i'm gonna act like i'm offended bitch look i got a closet full of condoms I tell her I didn't trust you anyway. So now what? Leading by example, safe sex. Don't worry though. I had to have a lot of unprotected sex before I before I became serious about it. So we got the ultra rib. Deep ribs for increased stimulation is very true. Lubricated. I'm trying to tell y'all. We would have only spent $40, but we spent $60. 70 almost but the lamb skins are the best condoms ever to exist this is basically no condom why do i say you should use this with a chick that you really like because these don't protect you from hiv they just protect you from babies that being said yeah, I wouldn't be doing no first nighters with that one, but if I found a chick I was really into, I would use those. And those would be like a, a celebratory condom because I only got six of them. These are the ultra thin. And I guess it's just ultra thin. I've, I've used them, but I mean, it's nothing special. They're just thin. So, yeah. No, the, the lamb. I remember the first time I had sex with a lambskin condom. The first thing that went to my mind was I will always wear a condom because it felt like I was not wearing one. So I was like, I can always wear a condom because these feel so good. But then I figured out they don't save you from HIV. So I had to buy other. And then they're $10 for three condoms. When the other ones are like $3 uh, for three condom, condoms. Yeah, lambskin is on point. He said condoms is like eating a sandwich with a bag on. Y'all think we should stop by Chick-fil-A? Pick up some of that elite box. No fast food. You already had sugar. You're right. I'm eating sugar right now. That's why I woke up.
He said, yeah, get them strips with the lemonade and the Polynesian sauce. Get what you want to. So we're going to go to Legacy West. I thought about that. Grow my beard out as an experiment here. Do, do Dallas chicks like beards more? We got traffic like crazy. So let me see what um uh, uh what you call is looking like. We'll just have a we'll sit down and have one drink and smoke a cigar, or maybe two drinks and smoke a cigar, just to see what this crowd is like. Ate that candy and now I'm full of energy, but I shouldn't have ate it. Oh God. I feel better now that I ate that candy though. drink every day i didn't drink yesterday well i had one shot because my brother and them you know, you know they was telling me to take that shot but other than that i didn't drink yesterday but if it bothers you that much i'll bother you a little more i smoke every day too i think smoking cigars is healthier than drinking alcohol because at least cigars you don't it is it ain't heating your liver and all that If you go to the mall earlier around 1 or 3 p.m. to find chicks, 6 to 7 p.m. is too late. Yeah. Because there's a different type of woman that's in the mall from 1 to 3 p.m. Nah, cigars ain't hitting your lungs, though. Yeah, having a cheat day read the room. You need a picture of you in front of a, uh, a mic like you rapping. I think there might be some dudes that actually have that. Like, they... I, I think I may have heard somebody... I think I may have heard a woman say that she's seen a dude on a date nap or it was Instagram or something where his whole, he was pretending to be somebody. Like looking at his profile, you'd have thought he was somebody 
but he was actually maybe it was tinder because they can't if they would judge you off your followers on instagram but yeah on tinder yeah that that's which is crazy right picture on a camo. I got a picture of me on a camo actually. You don't ever smoke weed? No, I don't like weed. I have to be productive too constant. I constantly have to be productive. And weed would just make me less productive. Yeah, social media, you can really be whoever you want to be. Ended up in the ER from edibles. Damn. Too high. Like when I was hanging out with Kate, when we were in Thailand, uh, we would both take edibles. And I remember one time I took one and I was like, holy shit, I'm high as fuck. Jefferson got time now for 30 minutes. He said, this live, you've been in the car the whole time. Yeah. And what's crazy is the first thing we were doing today, which was getting my birth certificate, we did all that driving and we still didn't get it done. But that's because of the website. I just need to get that part done. Their website is tripping. So I need to call them. And then I need to call Capital One to have them activate this card. And I'll be done. that I need to go to the bank and I need to go to the bank and tell them about that shit that happened in Santiago like hey look I need my money back like that shit was a scam that was $500 I can do a lot $500 pays rent in one of these countries like I need that money back you just gave a criminal money Me cash, me cash, me cash, me cash, me cash, me cash. (laughs) 
me cash. Me cash. <laughs> Did I catch you? <laughs> and it was funny because Floyd said, just chill, just chill. That's how he said, just chill. Help, help me catch, nephew. You know it's hard out here. Yeah, I'd rather walk around in another country than drive over here. Yeah. Everybody's fatter in the United States. Everybody's fat. Meet Cash.
Yeah, I like walking around Montevideo. I really did. Very, very, I would go back to that city anytime. Back on E with a full tank of gas. And back on E. You know what I should have bought when I was at Walmart? A, a thing of gas for my lighter. I know why everything is so expensive. I forgot inflation happened. In the past two years, inflation has went up. Because I remember I could eat at Chipotle for $10. And now it's $14 or $15. Maybe I'm, we're thinking turkey.
Yeah, fast food does seem to be about twenty dollars now. I don't know how regular people survive and yeah that's why whenever i first came out and i was telling people i was making 10 grand a month and i was like oh, it's not that much money and they was like no i would be doing this i'd be doing that mm, you ain't gonna be able to do that goddamn much not with 10 grand you could do something i mean you ain't gonna be living paycheck to paycheck but you ain't gonna be splurging on shit because you gotta think about it if if you think you could show your ass with 10 grand, let's say you want to take a chick out on a date two times, three times a week, two, three different chicks a week. You talk about 150 each time, $450 a week. Do that times two, that's 900. That's 1800. That's 20%. That's 18% of your entire monthly salary right there. That's before rent. Okay, because the lifestyle I'm living right now when I'm in another country is it is two or three dates a week that I'm going on. So I'm doing that shit for probably maxing out at a hundred dollars a week. You know, and that's maxing out. You doing it for eighteen hundred dollars a month. I'm doing it for four hundred dollars a month. Uh and that's if I stay moderate, right? So you're talking eighteen hundred dollars a month just for dates. For my car, it costs about $45 to fill up right now. Do that times four. That's 180. Uh, so, which is 1.8%. So now you're at damn near 20% already. You still gotta do the rent. With your rent, let's say for me, in my last spot, it was 1100, it probably is 1500 now. Uh, that's $1,500. Then you got uh electric water phone student loans for most of us credit card in for interest payments for you perfect credit advisors that be in my comments uh what else do we pay for what are the forms of entertainment do we pay for groceries you gotta do cro groceries. You talking five, five hundred dollars a month? That's one person too. Five hundred dollars a month. You might not want to eat out. I mean, you might not want to cook every time. So you need to throw an extra two, three hundred dollars just for personal meals that you might spend throughout the month. Uh, and like cigars, like some people. I mean, not everybody's gonna be a sober motherfucker. So some of us are gonna drink. Rightfully so. You have the right to drink. You know, you already approaching. We're already halfway done with the uh, ten grand. We're at least at about five or six thousand now. When you start really thinking about it, um, and hey, who knows? After we break down all the expenses, you might have three, four thousand dollars left over, which is good. You know that that's good. Uh, three grand left over, but it's not what you think because some people make it sound like when I would say 10 grand a month, like, oh, I make 10 grand a month, I'm gonna be able to save eight. Yeah, if you live in fucking Columbia, yeah, but not in, not in Texas. You'd have to be living with your parents and they'd have to be letting you not pay rent to save that much every month. Taxes too. Let's talk about taxes. Yeah, you gotta think about, so if you're, um, well, it depends on how much because I was a small business owner, so I was able to deduct 
every, you know, I was able to deduct to do my taxes. I don't know how it worked for a job, how much they would take out of every paycheck. But you got to include taxes. You got to include medical insurance. You got to include car insurance. You got to include a car note. My car note is $380 a month. Uh, based off the, the statistics, a lot of people's car notes on average are at least $600 a month. Last time I heard. So that that plus the insurance is damn near. If you're under 25, that's damn near $1,000. You spend all that money and you might get some cheeks from blessed hours. Yes. So you talking and, and then that's that's with you not buying any clothes, right? If you're going on dates two, three times a week, you're gonna wanna of course you can buy online, right? But we just looked at the mall. Shirts was 30, 40 bucks a shirt. Jeans, same thing, you know. So you might want to throw an extra four or five hundred dollars in there for clothes if you're gonna be going out a lot. And most people under 25 will. So you, when it's all said and done, you're looking at probably two thousand dollars to save, which is good every month. But you're still spending 80 percent of your income. But then you got to think about this too. You got to have emergency money as well, right? You got to have emergency money. Oh, you know what we didn't talk about? We didn't even. We, we on the focus on your purpose stage of humanity right now everybody got to focus on their purpose so let's talk about how much of that money are you going to invest how much of that money are you going to invest every month so you didn't already spend 80 percent of your income on everything you got two thousand or let's be a little more lenient no let's let's stick to eighty percent you got two thousand dollars left over out of ten grand you how much are you going to invest you, you still haven't saved none of the money in a savings account. How much are you going to invest? And I forgot. I'm not, uh, I'm self-employed, so I don't have a retirement and all that. But, uh, yeah, I forgot. They take retirement, Social Security. You know, uh, I forgot that they, they take all that stuff, you know, out of y'all's. Uh, and what's the stuff when you, the paid time off stuff that they take out of y'all check? Uh whatever it is but when they the stuff they take out in case you got to take off work but yeah bro you're not really you're not really gonna have that much money left over when it's all done like 10 grand a month is what you should be aiming for if you live in the united states now if you living in Colombia, five grand a month is a damn good that's damn good you can live off you can survive in Colombia with 1100 dollars a month Meaning the rest, you would live a shitty life, but the, the rest would be good still. And by shitty life, I mean what you do on a daily basis. Like, you wouldn't be going on no two, three dates a week off of no $1,100 after you pay rent and everything else. But I, I made sure my rent... Well, my, my thing was... Uh, I always made sure that... It, all my bills could be made in one week. I've said this before. So if my rent was $1,100, I would not get that apartment unless if I made $1,100 a month. If I'm paying $3,000 a month in rent, I need to be making at minimum like $3,200 a week. Because the last thing you want to do is, because I used to pay my bills or I used to make my money based off how I was paying bills. So I would be like, okay, today I made $700. Okay, that today I'm gonna pay this bill this bill this bill then I'm gonna make some more money pay this bill and then I'm I'm gonna do it like that so that way by the, the second week mark or the 10th day I was already done paying all my bills so anything else I had after that I was just saving it or I was doing whatever the hell I wanted with it What is the 40, 40, 30, 20, 10 rule? 40% is uh, what, rent? I mean, my thing is if I stayed in a 
country, my rent payment, man, would be less than 10%. It would be less than 10% for sure. That's if I was staying in South America or Africa somewhere. Like when I was living in Kenya, I was buying so many guards, so cigars and shit like that because I had, fuck. I thought that I got in the wrong lane. I was buying so many cigars because I had uh, a lot of excess income because my cost of living was so low. But yeah, after you start, like really the dudes that you see that live my lifestyle, but they live in the United States. The dudes that live my lifestyle, but they live in the United States are um, dudes that are making at least 20 grand a month. Like for the way how y'all see me live here on YouTube, you have to be making at least, if you're living in Texas, to live my lifestyle, you need to be making at least 20 grand a month. Or you could move to Colombia, move to Brazil, and you could divide that shit by five. And you could live my same lifestyle for four grand a month. Forty percent food and housing, thirty percent discretionary, twenty percent savings, ten percent uh, or paying of debt, ten percent. Who the fuck does charity? I've always, whenever I had apps that would help me manage my money, they would always be like, well, how much do you donate to charity a month? What the fuck? I mean, I don't know. I don't even know anybody that does charity. Honestly, in my opinion, you shouldn't be doing no charity work unless if you got a lot of money already. Like, if you if you barely have any money and you got a charity in your budget, before you know it, you're going to be the motherfucker needing charity. Charity is a tax write-off. Yeah, I'll find some other way to deduct my taxes. That's not the... I mean... I don't know. I just don't see a point in doing it in your budget until you actually have money. This shit is dead. Legacy West is dead dead, actually. He looked good in the face, but that body was a no-go. Use a 10% as your dating budget. Yeah, I mean, I yeah, 10% of the dating budget, I do that. Yeah, I'm I'm over here at Legacy West right now. I'm telling you, I don't miss this shit. I'm having memories. You know what? The, I look at this restaurant right here called the Kava. The memory I have about this restaurant was that story I told you guys where I was with that white girl and we were at the dinner table inside this Italian restaurant. And she was like, oh my gosh, you're making me so wet. So she put my hand on her, on her pussy through her dress. She was soaking wet, just like she said. And she was like, I'm gonna walk you to the car. I'm like, okay. So I just drank my water, and then she was like, you ready to go? I was like, yeah. We walked to the car, but halfway there, she stopped and said, okay, I'm going to go back to the table with my uh, cousin. So I'm like, I thought you said you was going to walk me to the car. No, I'm just going to go back with my cousin. So Austin now, nowadays, probably would have been like, no, you need to do what you said. You walked me to the car. But at the moment, bro, I, that 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 type of scenario had happened to me so many times. I was just like, all right, man, I'm finna, I'm not gonna talk to her again. I mean, because I can't, you know what? Well, I mean, anything. If I t even now, I don't know. In America, would I ever tell a chick, no, you need to do what you said? Because that could be a problem. Like that could be a, a that that's unlawful behavior.
technically it technically is so that's the memory i get when i see that shithole restaurant Yeah, I don't miss none of this shit. And it's beautiful. It's very beautiful. What about Bishop Arts District? I mean, we could go there, but man, I've been burning so much gas already today. See, and this is how I ended up not going out a lot in Dallas, right? I would drive around like this and, oh, there's nothing going on over here. There's nothing going on over here. Or if I get here, nobody wants to socialize. Before I knew it, I was like, yeah, I'm just going to stick to work and not even socialize. This is not a social city. I say, you come to Dallas just work I don't know why she did that and the thing is I was like my libido was suit this is back when I was 21 my libido was super high back then. Like, bro, all I thought about was pussy, it seemed like. But. She. I don't know, bro. I was desperate as hell back then. Because even after she pulled that, I had told myself I'm not going to talk to her again. She hit me up like a week later. Like, hey, uh. My cousin is going to a Halloween party, which I shouldn't even answer the phone. She's like, I want to take somebody with me. Will you go with me? And I was like, no, why the fuck would I go to a Halloween party with you? Like, you just constantly call me, teasing me and shit. And then that restaurant was the last straw. Like, bitch, don't invite me nowhere and pull a stunt like that. Because the thing is, I didn't even try to make her smash. I didn't even try to make her like I when I whenever she invited me up to the restaurant to meet her there, I just was just going there just to talk to her. She's the one said I had her wet and put her hand down there. Matter of fact, I forgot about the first time I met her. I met her on Instagram. I DM'd her, you know, told her what's up, I wanted to see her. And she was down to meet later that night. She was out this way in Plano. And I was staying in North Dallas. So I drove over here. To, no, she was, what's that city west of Plano? Uh, and it's like a, a Little Elm. Little Elm. She stayed in the lake part of Little Elm. Like in the lake. So I went over there, picked her up. And then we went to this little sushi spot. And we ate. And the whole time we're at the restaurant, she's sitting in my lap, she feeding me and stuff. So I'm like, oh, like, yeah, she she's trying to get, bro, this is, a, I have a, a lot of stories where chicks have behaved like this and flipped the switch. It's fucking crazy. But uh, she was acting like that, feeding me, sitting in my lap, kissing me and all this kind of stuff. So I was, I was like, okay, well, I'm going to just eat this food. I told her, I said, we'll just get the bill. We'll go to the car. I'm Because I know how these bitches are. So I'm like, I'm just going to try to fuck her in the car. Because I know I, my, my apartment was like 20 minutes from where we were at. And these chicks are so bullshitty. After five minutes of being in the car, they'll just switch their mind. So I'm like, I'm going to try to smash her in the car. Fuck it. So we got in the car. And I had some condoms in the trunk. So I went and got the condoms out the trunk. And she came and sat in my lap, but she wouldn't take her clothes off because she said her sister may possibly be watching. So I'm looking around like, where's your sister? 
and she's like, God, she could just pop up out of nowhere. And I'm like, bro, like, get the fuck out of here. Like, are you kidding me? And like, what? Are you on drugs or something? Like, where where are you seeing a silhouette that makes you think that your sister may be somewhere around here? And bro, I, yeah, he said I would have lost it. Bro, I, I, at this point in my life, I was really starting to lose it. Because this shit kept happening. Uh, so then she's like, just take me. Her sister started calling her. She's like, just take me home. Just take me home. And I'm like, oh, my fucking God. It's not that I didn't get the fuck. Was I? It, it was the fact that she got me so close to it and then yanked it away. Like, you don't have to do that. So <laughs> she did that. I dropped her off. And then that's when we went to the restaurant the next time. And she pulled the same stunt again. And then the third time, she wanted me to go to a Halloween party with her. And that's when I told her, like, I'm not doing nothing else. I said, the only way we'll deal with each other again is if you come straight to my house. If you don't come to my house, don't even fucking call me no more. Because I'm not going out a third time with you for you to give me blue balls. They weaponized their box. I'm fucking telling you, bro. That's exactly what it is. That's exact. like, that shit will drive you crazy. That exact. So look, this was about a year and a half, maybe almost two years before I went to Brazil for the first time. So about a year and a half. So when I got to Brazil, and I experienced that shit, where it was like either she wants to fuck with me or not, and if she wants to fuck with me, she's gonna want to fuck none of these games I that's why I never went I was like I'm never going back if she wound up on the news because they found her in the bottom of a lake I wouldn't be surprised I'm telling you I, I'm telling you the, uh, I even heard Darius M say this. He was like, women that do that kind of stuff, they usually come up missing or something like that. Like that, that shit is not a safe thing to do. Because me, I, I get online and I'll bitch about it, but some dude is not gonna bitch about it. So anyway, uh, yeah, they that that's not a and they they like that's messed up to say. No, it's not messed up to say. It's reality. Like, look at the, the girls that do end up in bad positions like that. Read the story on what happened. Like, what led up to a, a guy doing that? Not all the time, but the majority of the time, there's a reason why. And I wouldn't do that. I'm not saying it's right, but there's a reason why that shit gets to that point. Like what? When women do that, that's the equivalent to jumping in a lion's den that had eight in weeks. Jumping in the den and then jumping back over the fence. Eventually, you're not gonna make it back over that fence in enough time. That's the best analogy I can give you. But I've only dealt with that here in Texas. Well, no, I dealt with that shit in Louisiana, too. So let's say here in America. I've only dealt with that here. So again, when you have games like that going on, and it's very common, uh, it's very common, it makes you wonder what the hell these dudes are talking about when they're like, getting pussy in the States is easier than ever now. Shit, now when I got... 12 stories like that bitch are you saying that i'm going through those games because of uh self-improvement you need to work on yourself and they would actually they would actually let you put it in next time like get the fuck off my (laughs) 
I'm at the store right now. And this shit is dead too. I mean, it's earlier in the day, but. You even got pookies all the way out here. Yeah, these game dudes, the pickup artists, they tell you to approach 300 women a day. And then they also tell you to stay your purpose. I'm gonna let you know right now. You cannot, the amount of time it would take for you to approach 300 women in one day, you cannot be, your purpose is women. That's, there's no other way you have a different purpose. For you guys that have not seen the star, I'll show you what it looks like. Now, if a guy tell you you need to do at least 10 approaches a day, you could do that in an hour or two. Really, you could do that in 30 minutes if you had a mall that has a lot of chicks. No, I'm going home now. I'm going home. Ain't nobody out. Yeah, three a day, like I said before, three a day is minimum. You need to be talking to at least three women a day to stay sharp. But if you got the time, make it 10. If you do 10 a day, now I'm not talking about being in the United States, but if you approach 10 women a day in one of these other countries, you'll have a, a date every day. If you approach three a day, you'll have three dates a week. Minimum. He said, even after a 10 approach, you're going to have to anything that walks. No. If you're in Brazil where there's a lot of beautiful women, that 10 could actually be 20 if you got the time. Like, when I was living in Salvador, I could have easily got a 10 chicks a day. Easily. Trust me, it takes a lot of energy. That's why I don't mind. Uh, that's why I don't mind approaching 10 chicks a day because my job is to film it and report, you know, this research. Now, if I was still a barber, I'm not approaching 10 chicks a day unless if I'm off that day or something like that. I didn't really see no chicks out today. <laughs> Miss Jefferson was timed down for 30 minutes.
I got enough sleep last night. I just told y'all, I just, if I look tired, it's because I'm, whenever I, uh, don't get a lot of sex, I start getting sick. Oh, I forget the chick might want to go on a date in a little bit. Mm, I don't really want to. I'm tired of shit. boring. Damn. See, you know, I had fun yesterday um, hanging around my older brother and the two girls. But how many days can you do that? Like, that was fun. I enjoyed it. But <laughs> is that all you could do? 
Is that is that really all there's to do around here? Said you can have fun in the states, but you ready to take a break? I ain't ready to take a break. I'm ready to leave. Oh, I'm reading the uh, stuff. Yeah, man. and map out tomorrow to see what I need to do uh, yeah I'm not going to be able to make it three weeks Yeah, the first three, four days were cool. Shit getting old now. That's why I said I'm gonna max it out at four days next time I come back. Shit getting old.
get back to the spot. Boring. Driving only. And I see, like, the more I pass by fast food restaurants, I'm so bored, I'm just tempted to buy food again. What she say about me? Scroll up and read. Why don't you just tell me what she said? I don't even know who we talking about. Yeah, you could. Oh, yeah. It'll take you hours to get somewhere over here in DF. I mean, you can, you can, you can spend a lot of time going around town.
But if three weeks is 21 days, I think we might have to cut this down to 11 days, man. Cause I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna spend the. I'm gonna spend 70 to 80 percent of my time bored as hell. Like I just feel 21 again, driving around. I remember, I remember just driving around when I was 21. Just driving around. Which country do I miss? All of them. Twenty one was four years ago. Damn, we ain't gonna never be able to turn the light. <laughs> She's funny. Stand a motherfucker that wants attention. I know you see it. 20s are the struggle years. You'll be good by your 30. So, you, according to Kev, your life should be a shithole until you're 30. That's the shit I be talking about with that uh, self improvement. Might as well, they might as well tell you just be a virgin until you're 30. Quit telling people that shit. I can see how before I left the United States, because at one point, I just started being rude intentionally. I can see how I got to that point. Well, I get a lot of respect outside of the United States over 21. Yeah, that's a long time to suffer, isn't it? Whenever they say, oh, your 20s will be spent eating dirt. 
Well, shit, we gonna skip the twenties. That's a lot. I could see doing that shit for six months or a year, but ten years. Yeah, but when you forty, when the the sex drive I got right now, when you forty years old, you uh, you gonna be trying to compete with dudes my age because you ain't getting no pussy. So, my advice is to skip that bullshit Kev is telling you, and get enough money to survive or thrive in a different country, and just do that. Because I remember when I used to listen to dudes like Kev, nigga was miserable than a motherfucker. And I made more money. Still was miserable as hell. So it didn't really matter. Thank you. Okay. So if you got you, you write, you write uh, 
chicken thighs, or bake them, season them up, bake them, and them, and make them, and make them white rice and jasmine rice and seeds. That sounds great. Don't you want? Yes. Yes. Thank you. Y'all are arguing with her. In cell rage. No, I don't wish I had a black woman. I wish I had a woman. You said I'm bored at home. How was I uh, keeping myself busy overseas? Well, the time I was free, I would spend my free time socializing. So, for example, I'm in Salvador Bahia. I go to the gym, eat breakfast, take a shower, Get dressed, and go sit at the beach and socialize. So I got my new Capital One card. I just got to get my apostle. I got all the paperwork for the apostle for my birth certificate. No, there's a, I got to text this lawyer really quick and see if I need to get it notarized. Because I thought I was sending it in and get notarized, but the paperwork says something different. Yeah, you can ask him. I get the work out the bag. Okay. I know you see it. I know you see it. I mean, I could use a cigar lounge as a place to go socialize, but I mean, it's just dudes and big girls up there. And they're all a lot older. Weed doesn't bother me that much. Oh, the one date I was scheduling today says I'm currently in Austin, but we can do that Friday if you're free. Yeah, that works. What's your Instagram? Now, I said, yeah, that works because I know it's not going to work. Anytime somebody books out a date three days in advance, the shit's not going to happen. Uh, Did you get to see Levi? No. Why? I've, I've been tired of driving. I've been, it's because I didn't drove. I went to the colony. Then I drove downtown. Then I, yeah, then I drove to Capital One on this side. Then that didn't work, so I, oh, then I drove to the Postal Center, then I drove to Capital One, then I went over there, then oh, I came yeah, back that's here. That's a lot, that's a lot. Yeah, and then I People, went. You know Levi ain't tripping. Yeah, I had to text him. Yeah, he ain't tripping, he know, he know how to
Let's quit the chit chat. Let's get to the date. Do some more hinge swipes. Okay. It's cut. I had it in the box in the, my little thing cut. You need to get a shoe before you sell them. uncircumcised cigar, I know, right? I know you see it. I know you see it. Any, many, many, mo, how many, many, I know you see it. Looking at us. Oh, this cigar needs to be cut again. The mouthpiece is not open enough. Should burn my hand. So why is Skyler in my comments saying, I put on Twitter the U.S. sucks, man. He put, I don't believe you. I'll be there next month. Now, Skyler has been a guy that's been pretty critical about the United States since I found out about him, right? And every time I post something about how bad it is in Dallas, he's like, well, maybe you should try this. Maybe you should try that. Is this the real Skyler?
go by there, I'll still get that card. What card? From the gym. So you can get in. Okay, you can get in one. Okay. Um, so, So one chick just messaged me back. She says, I'm just not interested, bro. I'm just not interested. I'm just not interested. Fuck. Like, they're just not exciting to me. I just, I'm just not interested. So this one chick messaged me back. She says, and she has a lot of energy. Don't give a fuck. Good morning. How are you? I said, good afternoon. Good and you. Good. All just on this clock counting down the hours till Friday, which I didn't give a fuck. So I said, what are you doing later tonight? I work till 9 p.m., but I have no plans. I might book a date and just fucking cancel on purpose. You a fuck. Is he leaves the talking shit? Travel time got no content outside of drama or beef. Yeah. Book a date and cancel on purpose. I don't know, I guess I'm still jaded. where it doesn't really seem like there's nothing they can do right. That's why I can't, when, I, when it's time to approach them, that's why it's not as easy for me to speak. When I was in Kenya approaching, when I was in Latin America approaching, I really didn't have to think about, even if I didn't know what to say, I just made sure I said, hey, at the, at the, at the least, and I just winged it from there. I can't even do this shit here, and this is my primary language.
It's a really good cigar. Really good. He says she'll cancel before you. Sounds about right. Actually, I'm over here thinking I got some power. Like, I could cancel. I forgot. I book a date and 30 minutes later, she'll be canceling. They're not, a, they're, American women are not females. It's happy hour, women just stepping out. That's good for them. Good for them. I'm really fucking myself up by being here. Because when I get back to Paraguay, I'm going to have to reset again. I'm going to have to reset and readjust to that same level of confidence I had. Or the motivation, actually, is the right word. The motivation. I don't need to carry this mentality back with me to Paraguay, I know that.
Yes, ma'am. John is funny, man. Yvette Simon says, Austin, I want to ask mommy some entertaining questions. Bring her to the live. All right. They got a question they want to ask you. You're a great mom. And mom. Yes. She said she baked some chicken and rice. Yeah, I'm doing bake. I'm doing um, blackened chicken thighs and white jasmine rice, broccoli, and cornbread. Look at this. Yeah, cornbread. Yeah, right. 
Are you gonna eat some too? You will, cause by the time it's done, you'll be hungry. Get some apple juice. You need to drink some apple juice. You probably get dehydrated again, Major. And you can't have that. Mm. You cannot have that. I think I'm. I also think I'm gonna make a small banana pudding. Major won't eat that, but me and Austin will. I just like cooking. What's up, chat? No apple juice. Drink some water. Well, app, cause you, you, you constipate, so apple juice. Why is she babying? This kid is grown. I don't baby my kids, but I do take care of them. I think that's kind of rare nowadays for um, for Major modern women. Huh? <laughs> they are my babies. They just, but I take care of my kids, so it's it's they get on my damn nerves, but I do take care of them. Oh, apple sauce. Prune juice? Huh. Before parents made a unanimous decision to go to Shana Shake. We wanted to get that. When they say? <laughs> yeah, we don't have no prune juice. You don't, we don't have any prunes. Let me go look and see if we have any uh, fiber. I really think you'll be okay here. We wanted to speak with it. We just didn't know what to expect, but we had no doubt at that stage that we would enjoy our life. Our main focus was to get to her, help her, and bring her back to safety and sound. And on the way to our events, and let's say we were on a plane. Before we did leave, I promised. I said to her, we were going to get to the Let you hold five dollars? I don't got five dollars. I'm cool too. Am I gay? No, I'm not gay. Why y'all keep on asking that? Y'all trolling me. Keep on trolling me. Someone said can can last time when it was uh. They kept on saying that. Don't read chat. Thank you. Here, Major. Oh, you can take this. This is like a it's a cleansing peel. It's like herbs. So just take that and then take it with the apple juice and then take it with a lot of water. Yes, I look like a mess. I don't know why Austin won't keep putting me on the camera while I'm looking like a mess. What's that saying? Tell me. You can do that shit faster than me. Baby, you that's what mother's supposed to do. I don't baby them like that, but if you know, if one of them tell me something wrong, that's what I'm supposed to do as a mommy. Oh, yeah, I probably will go overseas uh, when I turn 18. What are you going overseas? Oh, I have a passport. Yeah, we all have passports. What you would you want to see for me? They was asking me. Y'all have amazing questions for me, but I think that's I put your uh, gym cup here in some bleach because that gym cup cup like it was filled. <laughs> like, how many times were you gonna drink out of it before you wash? Mm. You made me look short. Super chat. Hmm? Yeah, the orange question doesn't know you really need to read, does it? 
Oh, somebody sent you a twenty dollars stoop check. You might want to come read these. You don't want to? What does it say? It's right here. What? Yeah, yeah, that right there. Mommy, you read it. It goes too fast. Austin's journey caused you to reflect on yourself as a woman. Austin, uh, his journey ain't got nothing to do with me. His reflection as to whatever he's doing, that's that's what Austin wants to do for his life. The reason why Austin is traveling is because of mommy, probably because he cannot find anybody like me that is clean and that can cook. And, you know, I'm a little feisty, but um, yeah, he probably, that's the reason for his journey partially. Um, he, you know, there's other factors why he's traveling. He just wants to see the world, but no, I don't need to reflect on anything. I'm sorry. I, if, if, I hope that answered. To he's what does that mean? Bro spent forty to stir the pot. Oh well, he. I guess he's talking about whoever. No, I mean we have our moments and stuff like that. But I mean my boys are my boys. Like I said, they both work my nerves at times. But you know. They still my boys. Yeah. Major makes me look super short. Awesome too. You about the gun. Super chat. All right, so the chicken is on the rice. Wait a minute, I don't want the rice because I like the rice to be hot whenever the chicken is ready. So do you, I'm gonna put, you gonna eat? Cause I'm gonna put some broccoli. And some cornbread too. Are you gonna eat? Mm -hmm. You gonna eat? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think I also put that. You know, he's gonna put that trash bag. What season you're doing? Oh, I use I season my chicken with like well today. I know I said it's blackened, but today I use this one right here. I also use Kinders. I look like a mess. I hate to be on this camera right now. I also used this one and onion powder. I like a lot of seasoning. Um, I use sea salt. Um, but before I put all the seasoning, I did like olive oil and tossed all the chicken around in there. And then I also put like little chunks of butter on it. So it'll brown because the olive oil just kind of helps the the uh, the olive oil just helps the seasoning to stick to the chicken so but i put you know um uh, butter yeah i think that's all i put on this today it just depends on the mood that I, what you know that i'm in what i put on my uh food but today i kind of i'm calling it blackened but i used a variety of stuff uh, you can also make your own dry um, rub from scratch. Trolls getting deleted. I guess I can't even read. Fast enough. You're welcome. Yeah, so I basically was raised, you know, in the kitchen, like cooking, my aunts, my mom, my grandmother. So I've been cooking since I was probably like nine or 10 years old. So I love cooking. It's very therapeutic for me. I know a lot of women don't like to cook and they don't, you know, that's something they don't do, but I actually enjoy it. Hi, Chicago, Freddie. You want to see some old pictures? Thank you, Uncle John. Uh, yeah, I look a mess today, though. Like, literally. Like, I went and worked at the gym this morning. Austin did not go with me again. So, I went and my hair, and it was raining here earlier. So, my hair was actually cute yesterday. I did look half ass cute yesterday. But today. I need to. Everybody keeps saying that. I really need to. Um, because cooking for me is like, it's just, 
passion. I'm very passionate about cooking and flavor and everything. I love it. I love it. Like, it's just what I like to do. I don't know why most women don't like to cook. It's so easy. What is your Facebook? It's just my first and last name. To do a gym video with you. Well, if I can get him this morning. I know he was tired from yesterday. So, I left his ass here. And I just went. I threw on my stuff after Major got off to school and I went. But I typically like to get up at like 4.35 and, you know, get to the gym early and be done with everything. Yeah, I have a lot of old school upbringing and ways yeah can austin cook yeah a little bit he can cook i mean he can cook enough to survive without having to have a woman cook i mean because i had him in the kitchen with me enough where he knows like the basics of stuff what he's slacking tell little peru to get back in who's little peru I was gonna come get your mama. <laughs> hey, I'm not doing anything today. I'm actually on my best behavior. You need to get to. I'm gonna get one. I'm gonna get one. He need to stop trying to throw me on here while I'm looking like a hot mess. I come get your mama. I'm not even doing anything. Major tall as hell. Yeah. So how tall do y'all think I am? Stand right here, Major. Come here, Austin. Yeah, I'm being good today. I'm only look. I only act out when it's it takes it takes just a little. So yes, I'm the shortest of everybody. How tall do y'all think I am? Yes, just Austin and Major. These are my two boys. That's it. That's enough. He said they keep saying Major tall as hell. <laughs> Miss Parker, yeah. Look, well, I don't know. It depends on what you define Miss Parker as. I'm always good. I'm always cool. I'm always down to earth. But Austin and Major know when it's time for me to pop and check their ass, I will. So that's how it goes. Yeah. So y'all never told me how tall. Oh, you think I'm 5'3? Major look like Slim Thug. <laughs> Major Talon and Austin, yes he is. Major's probably gonna be he's probably gonna be about six three or so. Don't go over the moon. <laughs> Five four. I'm five two. I'm very short. I weigh like I weigh about a one twenty eight. I'm five two and I weigh one twenty eight, about one twenty eight. I wanna lose about five pounds because it's bikini season. And still growing, yes. He wear, what's that shoe? 11? 11 and a half? 12. Yeah, he in a 12, and I think Austin wears like a, what, 10, 10 and a half? Uh, I don't think about that. I mean, I love DeMorean, but that's not, that, I don't know. I'm not. <laughs> I love him. I mean, I've known him since before I had Austin. Before I got pregnant with Austin, I would take care of the morning and stuff. But I don't. Um. <laughs> Damn, mama, you fine. <laughs> well, I can't wait till pool season. I'm ready to get out here. That Five, two, huh. threatening. Oh, man, that's crazy. That's right. Five, two, threatening me. I don't threaten my kids. It's like, it's just whenever they step out of line and get out of line with me, they already know what time it is. Like, no i'm mommy i'm cool as hell but i'm still mommy you gotta gotta sometime put the ass back you know they gotta get checked and put back in place major look like a what what is that saying? major look like who can't hold a liquor, baby? I can hold my liquor. I don't even need a drop of liquor to cuss your ass out. I don't need liquor to cuss out nobody. I've been drinking wine since I was in my early 30s. So I can hold my liquor very well. And it don't matter. It shouldn't matter to you if I can hold my liquor or not. <laughs> if I'm at home on Saturday and Sunday and I'm doing brunch 
or whatever. And I don't, I don't have to explain shit to none of y'all. Sure. <laughs> That's the bottom line. So that you to the yeah, I was born in '77. I'm 46. That's weird. Yeah, you, you y'all favor, yeah. Uh huh. Y'all do. Out of all y'all sons, which, out of all your sons, which one has gotten? Go read that again. Yeah. Out of all your sons, go. I can't. It's the most whoopings. I only have Austin and Major. So I just want to be clear. Austin's dad had kids prior to. So I, I only have Austin and Major with their dad. So that's that's the only. Who got the most whoopings? Both they asked. Because Austin used to be a biter. Read that suit. Because Austin said read those. Austin used to be a biter. Austin was also very bad. Like he was bad as hell. And, but he's also been very, very smart. Um, Austin never really gave me any trouble. He, you know, uh, major too. What's your favorite liquor to drink? I don't drink liquor. I like wine. I only took those shots with Austin the other day because... <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah, you got to read the Super Chat. They want you to read the Super Chat. Oh, well, read it to me. It's going. Everything's going so fast. Austin right. Holland, the one, Austin the Holland one has here. gifted who scammed the government... Now he's scamming the black community. Austin still bites. He's scam he scammed the government. How did he scam the it, government? It's a quote. It's a quote. The quotation. Oh. Works. It's a quote. No, but I'm a um. No. I, I bite. <laughs> Austin, Austin is a, is a bite. biter. Yeah, Austin was the biter, and Major was he would just do random shit like bang his head on the wall. I'm like, what the hell is wrong with you? But that was when they were smaller. That was when they were like two, three. Yeah, they gave me a run for my money, trust me. <laughs> they gave me a run for my money. It's, he's still a fucker. <laughs> see, if Austin will let y'all see us out together, like when we step out and we dress and stuff, or when I don't tell they business like that, well, shit, it's the truth. I don't know if I'm going to go to college. Y'all ain't... Hold on, I'm checking my chicken. That's something I'm Ooh, still thinking about. Good, going to uh, college. Seeing Austin and other brothers. Environment. Major Holloman. Mama Holloman did an amazing... Yeah, I didn't play that shit with my kids. I didn't... You know... Their dad is... Was from, you know, Fort Worth. <laughs> and so when I moved to Texas, we met in high school. And so we started dating and we just were together for a super long time. And that's how I had Austin Major. That's why they're 10 years apart and all sorts of stuff. But yeah, I'm from New Orleans. So how old is Austin? He'll be 25 in May. Hey, what? Now Major. Yeah, I have two, I have two amazing boys. Like I'm proud. Like I said, they get on my nerves. But they both know when to cut it out they both know he needs a stepdad <laughs> um i'm gonna i'm gonna try to start my own channel i think i need to start definitely you welcome boy mom absolutely mama always embarrassing their boys i don't embarrass my kids because they already know how i am so at the end of the day, if anything, they ask for it. And you hear that, Major? I dress so cool. You dress. Oh, thank you. It's just a maxi dress. I'm just inside today. That's why I said I went to the gym, took my hot bath, and I'm just relaxing. I was trying to take a nap, but that shit didn't work. So, what you got a hot dog bun in your mouth for like that? If you finish this. Please do that. I also need something to do. What does it need to do, Anonymous? <laughs> I also look like he going through stuff. He probably is going through some stuff. He needed. That's why he came back here so he can get a, a, a lot of things in line. Um, he needs to get a lot of things in line. Yeah. <laughs> I need to be his mama. <laughs> What you laughing at? What are you reading? Because I can't read as fast as you reading this. The comments are going so fast. Thank you. Not right now, honey, but thank you. 
Yeah. No, I don't embarrass my kids. Hell, they be getting on my nerves. And what personal business did I tell of my kid? I didn't tell y'all they social security number, they passport number. Uh, I didn't give none of they, I didn't give Austin's driver's license or none of that. We, we can see you love. Yes, I love my boys to the end of time. I don't care. Like, they, they, they are my babies. My big babies, but they are my babies. Put them grizzlies down. What does that mean? Glizzies. Glizzies is like, it's like hot dogs. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I done got me started. Yeah, in a minute, I'm finna give me a glass of Cabernet. Austin getting depressed, mom. He needs to meet a woman. Austin need to go somewhere and sit down for a minute. That's what the problem is. And he need to, because when it comes to dating and stuff like that, everything is mental. And I keep trying to tell Austin this. Super chat. Austin is a very mental person. <clears throat> what does it say? Austin scammed the government out of PPP. He ain't scammed no damn government out of no PPP. My son was running his business. He had three. How he scammed somebody? Y'all need to be talking about these celebrities like Kanye West and all the rest of them who are already millionaires getting millions of dollars of PPP money who didn't need it. Yeah, he's his mental. His mental is not bad. Ain't nothing wrong with Austin. Super mental. chat. Austin. Super chat right here. Mama, your mental decorations ain't right. What? What the hell does that mean? Your mental decorations aren't right. Why you got them all? Oh, what are you talking about? I don't know. I'm, I kind of think. Be more specific. I'm not sure what you're talking about. Play music from what? It's going so damn fast. That says metal. Your metal. Oh, yeah, yeah. Mental. He's talking about my nipple piercings. Oh. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, Austin, Austin ain't nothing wrong with Austin. Austin needs to, he just got to know, like, you. Turn <laughs> your AC off. Turn my AC it? off. That, it still ain't going to work. I have, my nipples are pierced. So, Austin is, the, Austin is an extrovert, can't stand being. Indoors. Yeah, he likes to talk to people like me. He just, you know, he, he likes people. And then I think. He feels a little let down when things don't go his way, but everything in life don't always go your way. <laughs> what they saying? I can't read as fast as you reading. That shit going fast as hell. Yeah. He said, yeah, I'm out. Read this one right here. Are you a Creole sister? Yes. I'm from New Orleans. I know you like that type of stuff. That's why it's good. Did Austin tell you about Kate? What? Mama is entertaining. Did Austin tell you about Kate? And yeah, I talked to Kate ass on FaceTime many a time. I already told him from the get go what she was about. Yes, I'm Austin's mother. I told him from the get go what that was about. I tell him about any woman what it's about. <laughs> I would be so mad at you if you were my mommy and walking around like that. I'll love mommy. Okay, I love you too, but guess what? I can walk around however the hell I want to in my house. I, I'm not there. I can walk around however I want to. I don't know where his daddy at. I don't keep him in my back pocket. <laughs> he, he sent it twice, I think. Well, I'm the one who sent the money. Like, I'm not trying to be funny, but this is my house. I walk around how I want to. Austin the Major know that. I'm inside. <laughs> I walk around how I want to. When we go to the gym, Austin already know. I'm going to have all my workout stuff. Yeah, and he already that. know guys are going to be looking. Guys, Austin used to that. He not, I mean, what y'all want me to look like? What's your I'm a Virgo. See right here. Virgo, baby. To the heart. Yeah, I ain't doing nothing wrong. I don't care. I know how I am. I know when I'm in. <laughs> Here's the thing. You have to know when you're it. when you're in perfect. Like, I know how to be in professional environments. I know how to carry myself 
if I'm walking around the mall, if I'm going to the grocery store, with those places I do whatever I want. But when I'm at home, I, I do whatever I want to do because I'm at home. And my boys don't dictate what I do. What does it say? What war from? No, I'm not. I wasn't from the war. My mom was from third war. What? Wait, what's that mean? It's like in New Orleans, they have projects with different things like that. Oh. But I didn't. I didn't grow up in like a, a ward. This chat is a P. Oh, yeah, I know that. I'm, that's why I'm about reading. I'm letting, I'll say, Major know what time it is. I don't keep... Major know exactly what time it is. Major finished his star test today before anybody. Both my boys are, like, very brilliant. They're very intelligent, brilliant. I So, he him reading this, I'm not worried about that. I think when you try to shelter kids too much and stuff like that, that's when they lash out. He named that T.I. No, uh, Major's actually older than T.I. son. If not, they're the same age. I didn't, um, Austin and Major's dad named Major and I named Austin. <laughs> but he didn't, it wasn't nothing that was like planned or anything because we were going to name him. I'm in ninth grade. We were going to name him Conrad or Major. And I just felt like Major would fit him, and it definitely does. <clears throat> Child support in Pennsylvania is 55%. What's the that? <laughs> I don't get child support, so. Fellows get that. Yeah, what's wrong with that? I'm still, I, I can, I can pierce whatever I want to pierce on my body. It's my body. My kids don't tell me what to do. I'm the parent. I do what I want to do. As long as I hold myself appropriate and public with my kids. They don't get to tell me what tattoos, where to get them, how to wear my bikinis, where I can get pierced. I'm the adult. Me too. Whoever put that th 403, I know what you're trying to say, 304. No, baby, I'm far from that. And you probably wouldn't even have enough money for me if I was. So you can keep that comment. How? Why? And who, who would even say that to somebody's mom? Like, who raised you? Who raised you to disrespect somebody's mom like that? Don't be mad because I can step out in public and look half my age or a quarter of my age and still pull anybody at least 20 or 30, 20 to 25 years younger than me. So don't be mad about I'm that. Y'all so. need to get ready for pool season. Somebody talking about three of y'all. You know, whatever. Get your life together. Yeah, I'm not worried about that. Cause that <laughs> my kids know. 304, baby, please. Ain't no, ain't no horn over here. Say what you really want to say. <laughs> Motherfuckers can barely take me on a date. So, please. Wow, why do people, I still don't get that. Why do you say stuff that like that about somebody's mother? Like, that's so inappropriate and so immature. Yeah, you guys are just a bunch of incels. I mean, that's so immature. Because I got my nipple spears. They my fucking nipples. Don't worry, it's incel rage. Yeah, I'm always be real. But it's like, you know, don't talk about somebody's mom. Like, that is, that's something, even if I can't stand you, I'm not going to be... I'm definitely not gonna be on a live chat and disrespect somebody's mom like that. <laughs> yeah, I'm very independent. I always have been. This oven cooking my ass. Oh, unplug the rice, mate. Unplug the rice. Right quick, because I don't want it to overcook. Yeah, always. I'm gonna be very, very real. That's the reason why both my boys talk to me. What? So you are fly, Miss Holloman. Thank you. And look, I ain't listen. I haven't stepped outside to go and like go to happy hour, or brunch, or anything like that in the last few days because I was trying to make sure Austin was straight. I don't know if I could beat him in a boxing match. You need to act more confident because you just scared. So the thing with them is like Austin. That's his big brother. So even though he's taller than Austin, he's still intimidated by Austin. Baby, New Orleans always been out of me. I don't, that's not that. Here's the thing about me. 
I don't fake it to make it. What you see is what you get. You either like it or you don't. I don't care. I'm not here to people please nobody. I know when, like I said, I know when to behave in certain situations. I know how to handle myself. I mean, I'm a grown woman. <laughs> they have no shame, exactly. It's just, it's funny to laugh at. Yeah, I was in the what? I was like, what is that? 504, yep. Yes, he does. Major is more of the one, like, he don't like men to talk to me. He don't like men to get too close to me in the grocery store. Because men follow me around the grocery store. They follow me around Target. They follow, no matter what, if I can have on sweats. A, a you know sweater whatever no makeup like this right here and that's when they follow they follow me all around and major hates it or they pull up at the gas station you know when i'm getting gas or something yes major will get out and pump the gas but that like when i was teaching him and stuff like that huh what's my name ayana ayana so but Major is the one, he's the one like, nope, you can't talk to my mom. She's hands off. Uh, he also tells me, mom, you look beautiful when I'm going out. Uh, but Austin, he knows, like, he knows. Like, he's like, I can't tell mom, ain't no way. She just, yeah. He said Major, mind your business. So what else? I'm cock blocking too. <laughs> Major what? Tell you something, I should stop doing what? Same thing. Major, you said major what? Huh? What did they say about major? Uh, major. You said I was cock blocking. Because I said, I was describing the two of y'all. Major don't like men talking to me. He don't like, if Austin don't like a certain thing, he won't really say it so much. He just going to look at you crazy as hell. But Major going to tell me. <laughs> Like me and Austin to go to happy hour and stuff. We hadn't done that. He ain't been here long enough for us to hang out. So he ain't been here long enough for us to do anything yet. Win for major. <laughs> yeah. Tell him they need to donate a super chat if y'all want to ask questions. Like Floyd says, you got a question, donate. Major, the man, Major is the man of the house uh, right now, yes. But Austin was all—he was always the man of the house until I had uh, Major. Then she put. He still was the man of the house until he moved out. Austin moved out very young. What? How old were you, Austin? Twenty? Nineteen? When you moved out? Nineteen. I've been thinking yeah, 19, about boxing so. recently. Because a man should boxing. not be living with his mama. So you got to get up out of here. You know, that? I helped him and all that. But I, huh? How about that boxing for me? You should. I told you. Sex tell. What? Heard the truth, Major. He ain't had sex yet. Let me tell you why. Because I know he hasn't. He will tell me. I know every, what goes on with my boys, they will tell me. I'm not that mother that's going to be like, what you doing? Why are you? No. <laughs> I want them to tell me what's going on. I'm telling you. <laughs> How old is Austin? <laughs> Austin's finna be 25 next month. Come box your Uncle John. Yeah, Austin does. He look, it's crazy because Austin looked just like me, but he's his dad's color. Major looked like his dad, their dad, but he's my color. It's crazy. <clears throat> this is a lot of, yeah, I told y'all I was gonna put you in boxing. Ninth grade, yeah, he'll probably. I try to get Major to do stuff because I've always been an athlete, working out all my life and stuff like that. I try to get them both, but they're very book smart. I'm book smart too, but they not really. What they say? Okay. I had a pretty mom. They always what? This one right here. Hmm? Oh. No, they man. well, Major's a little bit darker now. In the so, once it start getting oh, yeah, hot, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be at the pool with my I'm gonna be tanning, so I'm gonna be out there in my bikinis tanning. 
I hope to be on some beaches. <laughs> yeah, you just have to take care of yourself. Because Major, like, I know that he don't really like when people look at me. Um, but I told him, would you rather have a mom that's just out of there and don't take care of herself, don't care about how she look in public, you know, and stuff like that? And he was like, no, because he said he's seen moms like that before. I just love my boys. I take care of myself for myself, and also I'm a representation of of them being their mother. I know they both dark to me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm red. I'm red and yellow. Where's? Go let them get a 360. What is that? No, mean? no, don't do that. Don't do what that. What is that? Don't do that. What is he there, talking there, about? There's, there's no reason you should know with that. No. Why you won't tell me what he's talking about? Maybe watch out. No, no. He's 15. Major's 15. They awesome. didn't really say anything about my haircut. What is 360? It's what is I'm going to ask Austin. Oh, turn around, let them see a 360 of you? Yes, of, of you. Hey, no, that's not happening. That's not happening. Hey. <laughs> Baby, I take care of my body. <laughs> Don't do it, mom. It's said nice. <laughs> What's my type? I don't. Ridiculous. I don't. I honestly really don't have a. Okay, my type will be a more traditional man. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm blocking. Someone I'm who blocking. protects and who is it? You can do. It. Yeah, I need mean a more pr a traditional man. Like I don't open doors. I don't. Got a what hairline? No, no. But I, as you can see, I cook. I do all kinds of stuff and. That's why Austin likes that. That's why, and Major's gonna like that too. Major said, I'm never moving out. But I was like, yeah, you gotta move out. Oh, the ball fade. Your mama a red flag, bro. You wish. Oh yeah, I know you're joking. You wish I was a red flag <laughs> for you, sir. Uh, it's slim pickings out here. And I don't I'm think in, KY I'm... is that. Huh? I don't think KY is joking. <laughs> Keep on saying, watch out. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a red flag. Baby, I'm all the flags that people wish they could have. Wish they could have. I'm a red flag. I wish I could see his profile picture. I'm 6'5", but what? None of these ninjas are sending. Oh, I didn't even, Major didn't click on that one. Major, what the fuck? I, mean, right, I didn't click, see it. Click on it. So I thought it was the same one. Hold on. Dude. Is it? This no, one. it says none of these ninjas are sending in. It pops up down here. You'll see it. Mommy, it... don't answer any questions without. Okay, I won't. And thank you for yours. I, I won't. I'm just trying to read whatever. Bobby's <laughs> Yeah, there's too many women out here that want to perpetrate that they're so bad and this and that, and they have a nasty car, nasty house, apartment, whatever they have. You know, See, they nasty in was. general. And that's why they try to get my son held because he was just raised that that, that is not, that's not how it's supposed to be done. That, you, you know, you can't walk around here like that. Uh, expecting, expecting for a man of any type of quality to want you. A PS2. <laughs> Somebody said you walking like you hurt. <laughs> PS2 tight. <laughs> I washed all his clothes when he left earlier. I was like, he. I said, do you have anything that I need to wash for you? And so, um, he said no. But anyway, <laughs> I went digging through his stuff and I washed all his stuff and hung it up. Yeah, I did. I Because I always, the reason why I treat my kids the way that I do is I always want them to know what they deserve in a woman. Now, look, Top for someone to say people. over there that I'm a red flag, no, I'm feisty and I'm just probably too real. And I, I just don't sugarcoat or beat around the Mayberry bush. <laughs> but my kids, they do know, they know, look, mommy's going to do X, Y, and Z. And, and that's that. So that's why they look for that. Okay, so, which I don't know. What's 
click on the second one, I guess. Which one? I guess the second one. Is that the, that's the right one? To Fleming's Steakhouse. Yeah. Fleming's is good. Okay. All right. Is this the same person right here? Mm, those, those are the same people, I think, yeah. Oh, yeah, okay. <clears throat> Thank you. Yeah, for the super chat. Oh, here's another one. Here's another one. Have you go what? This is the thing. That you know of. Have you go... I don't know. I think you trying to say your name. I... Oh, have, have I... Just, just, just read this part of it. Just. Here you go to a little something. Oh, oh, you're gonna send me a cash app? Oh, cause oh, okay. Well, thank you so much. But I think that goes unless you send me a cash app. I think it'll just go to Austin. But he might give it to me later. <laughs> but thank you. I appreciate that. <laughs> yes, I'm single. Every time we somebody send you twenty dollars for wine, but you getting all these twenty dollar things, but they going to they go to your thing. I already read them. You already read them. This guy, the last guy, is the guy he bought the cigar yesterday. My mom was like, "Whoa, that's the biggest yeah, cigar I've like, ever seen." Yeah, I was like that long ass cigar, but it, but <laughs> he was smoking it like two hours, two and a half hours. Why do you keep that's on good. saying that? Yeah, when he got back here, I was just looking at him crazy like this. Well, I wasn't looking at him too crazy, but he knew I was looking Someone at his ass crazy. Any, I didn't have to tell any him. Any sisters? Any sisters? Yeah, I have uh, I have four sisters. Three they, sisters. They want to meet the whole family. Three sisters, three brothers. Would you date a 27-year-old? Would I date a 27-year-old? It just depends on how mature he is. I mean, because a lot of times I don't try to look at age. I look at maturity because a lot of times in life, it's about what you've been through, what type of experiences you've had, stuff like that. So I don't, I try not to base stuff off age. Somebody put these guys are dropping bags on the super chat. <laughs> Austin to bring his ass. <laughs> Age matters. Show him that's not a wig, mama. No, I'm saying no damn wig. What? No. I don't have no wig. It's my hair, baby. I just, that's some it hair. looks crazy today. It's actually really big, but I rolled it and it got wet today. So, and so it doesn't look like I normally wear, but no, I, and okay. if I straighten it, you can go and look on my Instagram and see all my hairstyles. Baba, I'll be right back. Uh, huh? The, the super chats are going to be under here. I'm just I, I, no, I'm you, where you going? One second. I'm trying to cook, and also want me to do... Uh, I'm so It's um, Yana underscore. Major. Uh, so come put my, cause I don't know how to do that. They want my Instagram. Oh no. Why? Cause they don't think this is my hair. Somebody says this is not my hair. Yeah, it just, it is looking extra crazy right now. But like I said, I, it got wet today cause we have rain here. So thank you. Uh, I'm not me, I'm Creole. I'm not, my mom's black and my dad's black and my grandmother was French, but I'm a black woman. But I'm just Creole, I'm from New Orleans. Hey, well, Austin, you might as well bring it out here because I already have dinner on. It's not ready yet. This? Yeah, like that's why I said I'm looking kind of crazy right now. Thank you. I know a little French. I, I used to speak it damn near fluently, but when you 
If you're not around other people who speak it, it's... Mm-hmm. Yep, black does come in all shape. It's, no, it's Y-A-N-N-I-A underscore underscore Brooks. My last name is Brooks. I don't have... Austin and Major have their dad's last name. Are you available or happy, happily single? I don't know for anybody, unless you're just getting out of a marriage or something like that, that you could be happily single. It's okay to be single, but unless you just got out of a marriage or a long relationship or something like that, you probably would be happily single. But I'm happily dating right now. <laughs> I date. I go out on dates. Voodoo. What does that say? Yo. Oh, yo. <laughs> now nah, I won't be I won't be lonely because Major's not gonna go far. Major's over here talking that shit that he's gonna go out of, he's not. He's not. He'll move somewhere, but I won't. I'll be married by then, so Yep. I've been single for a long time because I was actually with their dad um, for almost 18 years. And I've known him for probably almost 30. So, yes, I'm, I'm, once I was able to become single and get out here and date and enjoy myself, yeah. <laughs> you don't need to rush. That's what everybody gets twisted. You don't have to rush to be in a relationship just because... You have to have somebody. Um, you you don't have to do that. And honestly, when you do stuff like that, you setting yourself up for failure. You make sure it's the right person for you. Go buy a man. Why the fuck would I do that? I don't have to do that. No, I don't. I no. I do not love their dad. No, that no. Mm mm. Somebody asked that the other day. No. No. Which girl Austin dated that you like, mom? Uh, give up the top three. <laughs> That's hard to answer because I don't, I don't, I don't take it as he dated any of them. Austin just out here just living his best life as he should because he's so young. Any of y'all on here, if you're single and whatever that's what you should be doing i think he's just living his best life i don't think that he's trying to and i know for a fact that he's not telling these women oh i want your hand in marriage and stuff like that how you not love him somebody asked me did i still love him do i still love him that was the question so how do i not love him yes you can love people but am i in love with him no he's he's austin and major's dad we had our go around for a long time. That's enough. I want uh, that's yeah. Would I date Floyd? <laughs> now y'all need to quit playing. Stop that. Floyd would be more like no. Mm -mm. Floyd would be like my son. Like no. No. How many baby daddies? I've said this probably at least 10 times, baby, since I've been on here. Austin and Major have the same dad. We've been together a very long time. I don't have two baby daddies. I only have one. Do you have a type? No, I mean, yeah, you, your hygiene have to be up to par. Uh, you have to be clean, you know. You have to be intelligent, you know, you have to be a gentleman. I mean, there's just so many, I mean, it's, you can't be uptight and all this other type of stuff because my personality, you can't be a jealous person. You can't, you know, I can't see, let me see. 
I don't know. Did I wash Austin's G string? <laughs> Austin with no damn G string. I wash his clothes because I don't want him just sitting right there. I mean, he's at home, so. I already read down. It says I'm at St. Luke, but I, it had, it, nothing's went to my cash app, so I don't know. Flip Nation, thank you for the $5 super chat. Okay, what does he say? Here, let's go outside. This is what family looks like, you guys. <laughs> Somebody say, how many baby daddies you got? <laughs> Ask China. Oh, so bring me that last one. I'm trying to set this timer because this chicken ain't ready yet. And I don't want it. Of course, we're not eating no other cook. The rice is already ready. So Mom has to stop assuming she's talking to Austin supporters. Yeah, it's just some trolls that come in here and talk. Oh, I'm just reading, you know, just reading whatever. This need to go for another, I'm going to put it another 20 minutes. Yeah, let's go outside because I ain't drink none of that. If I drink some of that, I'm going to be going to the gym in the morning. I bet you won't slap Austin for me. Who, me? Yeah, I think so. Oh, it's his major. Why would I do that? I yeah, they keep know. asking if I'm his mom for real. Like, yes, yeah, like, real. It's just because dad's dark. You just gotta. Dark. Shit, in the winter, I'm more light than this. I'm 15. Major, remember that time I changed your diaper? That ain't true. Ain't, nobody, ain't no man changed your motherfucking diaper. But me or either Keith. <laughs> 300 seconds. <laughs> Slap out some for fifty dollars. Fifty dollars? No, I need more than that. I think you did talk about me. Uh, I don't know if I need fifty dollars. Yeah, they stop disrespecting. I mean, you know, some people just don't have no home training. So get a girl overseas like Austin. I haven't, I haven't had super bad experiences yet over here, so. Hmm. I was just answering a question. Hmm. How tall am I? Like 5'9", five, 5'10". Five, yeah, nine. and so, and when somebody just sent $25 I don't for me exactly in your cash app. Nobody. Because when, if y'all, also, he gave me some of the money from the other day, but. You read this? Keep it real. Will Austin ever find love? Yes, he will. He's still Austin. Re read the rest of the question. I'm I'm mommy, keep it real. Will Austin ever find love? Knowing how women are in today's society, what do you think? Yes, he will. And it's not every woman. Y'all gotta get out of this mindset of it's every woman out here that's not worth shit. He will. He and I tell what I tell you all the time. You will Stop. what? You will know it. <gasps> You will know. He will know it. Y all y'all men will know it. Even women. If some women. Are, you'll know when it's the you right person. Yet. Okay. Yeah. No. He will. He definitely will. Right now. Austin is just living his. Like I said. He's just living his best life. He's just doing whatever he wants to do. He should. He's young. He's single. No kids. This is what he's supposed to be doing right now. So. When he get ready to sit, settle down and be serious, serious for real, he'll he will. Uh -uh. He may meet somebody when he goes to some other random country again, but he'll know it. Y'all, y'all will feel it. You'll know it. <laughs> Mama, calm down and check the cash. <laughs> okay. 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 Austin changes shorts. <laughs> you better read it out loud so they see you um, more. Wayne, Wayne Williams, thank you for the the ten dollar cash app. I appreciate that. 
Oh, another one. Austin wearing booty shorts. <laughs> One. Mommy, mommy, don't do that. You selling him a dream. The baddies don't want love. Austin knows better. Well, I'm a baddie and I want love, and I want the right man. I want the. I'm a baddie and I want love, and I want the right man. That's so that's right. not that. Y'all gotta stop with this. The way that y'all thinking, baby, y'all gotta stop this. It's not all women. Just cause y'all had some bad experiences. <laughs> Austin wearing his mom shorts. <laughs> Stay tactical. Yeah. Yeah, just because y'all done had some bad experiences <laughs> with some women out here that are not, they, yeah, that is just not, I don't even want to call them what I want to call them. But y'all got to stop with that. Thinking every, it, it smells good though. It's hot. It's hot because of the oven. Yeah, so, you know, Yeah, y'all have to stop that. that I, that's not selling him that. Because basically what I would call it is when you trying to just... They call it gaslighting and all this other stuff. But I'm not trying to sell Austin a balloon in a dream. Austin know what time it is. He will know when the right woman is there. What is that in Floyd's voice? You're banned. <laughs> Yeah, I am from a different generation. That's why a lot of the younger guys are going for women in, in my age bracket. Major went to Kukula. No. We went to Nicaragua to see Austin, and that was a disaster. <laughs> that was going to take it off fast. Huh? What is that? It was a, it was a, it was a hate comment. You got to take it off fast. Oh, because those people are watching. Yeah. You're from a different, yes, I'm from a different uh, generation though. Women, yeah, women today, I don't really, and it's not all of them, but I, I'm gonna totally agree, it's the majority. But everything is about how you're raised. I mean, it's how you raised. It's just how you raised. My mama didn't play that shit. Yeah, but I don't guess like Austin. Austin. This is how I go live. Someone post Miss Brooks cash app. You're in Frisco. I'm going to take you on a date. You're in Frisco. Where would you take me on a date at? Let me see what you. What, what. If it ain't Del Frisco's, don't even holler. <laughs> This right here, Austin. Alex seems to dress the next young house on time around 10 a.m. So I just get my eyes to read that little small shit. Okay, is it did I already read that one? No. Okay, mommy. I like Austin. Just wanted to support with Thank some you. super chats since all these other ninjas are being stingy. Fleming was this Fleming's on me. Yeah, they being stingy, but you know what? We truly, truly, truly appreciate what you're doing for sure. Mm. Stop using this baddie to refer to fine women. <laughs> well, they asking yeah. some long questions, but you guys are reading those. Uh, what does it say? I'll go back up. Read it As a me. straight man, I think Austin is very attractive and has plenty of time. Do straight men think that? No. As a straight man, I think Austin is very attractive and has plenty of time. What? Austin's attractive and he has plenty of time. What? Okay, time for what? Do you... Okay, next question. No, no, I want to read that other one that was right up on top of that. Oh, uh, Miss Brooks, do you? This one right here, right? Yeah. Miss Brooks, do you suggest women have a relationship with a man that already has a few baby mama? Uh, oh, okay. With a wait a minute, with a man <laughs> that has a few baby daddies, you mean? Yeah. Look at this. Oh, uh, Miss, go down and chat a little bit. Will you, okay, here. So, what's the chicken mom? 
That it's still cooking. Comment. It's still cooking. The chicken ain't ready yet. We can't. We can't. Oh, also, come comment. read this one right here. We can't eat. We, we don't need salmonella. We got a fifty dollars super chat yep. from uh, Vernon Kelly. I need to know how to how good is that homemade gumbo and jambalaya. jambalaya. Well, hey, she forgot that Creole might, side of her you, on that. No, part. I have not. So you trying to say I don't know how to make gumbo? There you go, drinking my wine. See, he always over here. Last night, he drunk my wine that I take with my hot bath. I'm going through it. I had to drink it. Uh, yes. Uh, it's very good. And maybe hey. one day you can find out. I do. Also knows for a fact, I do home. I can do homemade gumbo. I can do red beans she, and she rice. I can do chicken and, and dumplings. Austin and Major eat very, very good. Very good. Well, I just started eating good again. So... Yeah, they both eat very good, so. Nah, she needs a, she needs a young man. That's what they said. Yeah. She need a what? A young man. I need a young man. <laughs> yeah, but I literally do homemade chicken and dumplings. Like, anything you can think of, I can cook it. Like, Don't anything. Don't that. <laughs> and thank you for your donation to Austin. What's his name? Vernon. Vernon. Goodbye, Clinton. <laughs> Goodbye, Clinton. Yeah, it was so they got timed up. You should stop your ass by specs and brought some wine. Bring the drink. I don't know. Talk to them. We need to do that. We need to do a liquor uh, vlog. We need to go to the liquor store. Hopefully, we can find some alcoholic women we can get at. Catch them while they intoxicated and see if we can get a date. Right, Major? Huh? Yeah, you know what I mean? Uh... Austin walking like he going to a gay bar. That's okay. You feel that way? That's the method. We gotta go to the uh, to the liquor store, catch some women that's full of alcohol. And uh, how's the dating going in Texas? Horrible. We ain't got. We we've been high and dry. It's Johnny says. Where are you walking off to back there? I'm smoking a cigar. That's why I keep walking back and forth. And she wasn't there. I think I'll her a little bit. So it looks like she ran away. That ain't it. That is it. We gotta go to the Specs. Or what's the other one? Specs or what's the other liquor store? Uh, Total Wine? Total Wine. How does a 15 year old know the name of the liquor store? The Specs of the Total Wine. Oh, that's because you went with her. Yes. The Specs of the Total Wine. And we gotta find them while they own there. A girl said that she, she was like, yeah, we could meet at 9 o'clock. I said, okay. What's your Instagram? I'm going to chat with you on Instagram. End of the conversation. I'm going to eat my happiness. Austin, go to a local college and live stream picking up college girls. We'll do that tomorrow. Huh. He said you need to travel to the mall and walk around with money phones up to your ear. We're going to try to. You think it's going to work, Major? Major, tell us how do we get, how do you get girls at your high school? Tell us. They come up to me. I don't say nothing to them. He also he just a player, so he can get the American chicks, but his big brother can't. So what do you say to him? They they do all the time. I don't say nothing to them. They always come if up you've donated a super them. chat, send me a screenshot of it. I'll send you a travel guide of your choice and a book. Tell Major, do twenty five push ups. That's an impossible task. Mm -hmm. Do it. Uh, can you see? Go ahead. My phone is my pocket. Should be counting. I wasn't. <laughs> they said. They said. They said he weak as hell. Well, my back just got over being sick too with his kidneys and stuff. Oh, that's right. Major had a kidney infection. He was very infection. What? No, he he had fourteen. His uh, his liver 
and kidneys because he had caught the flu. And 26, then when we went 17, to uh, when we went to Nicaragua, he got really That's 25? sick. He got food poisoning, okay. so he was very Thank weak you. and all that other stuff. So. I did more than 25. Yeah, who said 17? I did chicken have six more minutes. Let me fix the broccoli. <clears throat> Okay, good, good. Would you, you did, how many? I'm not even tired like that. Uh, I'm not going to pass out. <laughs> oh, I don't play sports. Not yet, at least. Right, Mom, read that question. Do I like white girls or black girls? It really depends. Are you looking at me like that? Boy, he's having Did you mess my microwave up? My microwave never looks like that. I haven't microwaved anything in a while. That must have been Austin ass then. I've been eating your cooking. Well, he coming here tipsy. Let me see. Can I get a plate? <laughs> yeah. loves drinking my wine like stop drinking my wine because i don't drink liquor like that i don't drink liquor so wait do i have discord or my mom huh? major like snowboard is long as i keep on saying it i don't know who it is and also got all i'm gonna look him up right here, spread right? out everywhere He's is it like a basketball him? player I was saying that on uh, Saturday, too. Oh, <laughs> him? Who, who is it they say you look like? Um, I guess in a sense. I used to always say you look like Trayvon Martin a little bit. Dr. Lamar Johnson? Is that that guy you? Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah that's a great he the one. He is yeah. not trying to hear none of that shit. Yeah. Mama Holloman works out with do you what? snow diver. You in the gym. <laughs> um, so I used to teach spin class. And so I typically get on a spin bike and I ride the spin bike and then I'll do like some weights, like just just to stay, you know, tone. But spinning is my that's what I've done that for years. I used to teach at L.A. Fitness. Can you do a three? No, <laughs> not not again. You already know. He does Trayvon Martin. I used to always. Like I had so I had a producer ask me if he would do. Maybe I should do. If that I would agree in him uh, playing the part of Trayvon <laughs> Martin away. like a few years ago, <laughs> uh, especially when Major has on a hoodie. I can show y'all a picture. He. I've he, had my hair low before, like really low. Like they kind of like that bald look. I had that for most of my life. Okay, read that one. He's he's sitting. He's, he's sitting a lot. Come here, Austin. Is um, this the same person that bought you the cigar yesterday? What's his no, name? No, that was the guy in blue. I think. Oh, because he. Uh, I promise him sent over a hundred some dollars, a hundred dollars at least. He just sent another. One. What's your understanding of intermittent fasting, Mom? Is it good or bad? Intermittent fasting. That shit don't work. Are you trying to lose weight? I tell you, it does work. I'm gonna tell you why. Don't eat nothing for two days and see what happens. If, if you don't eat, nothing, if you're overweight and you don't eat anything for two days, your the the fat that you have stored in your body, um, it it you're, you it'll just start eating away at that. Now Austin can act like Austin gets working out for me because I've worked out all my life. I've always been very active, but um, it'll just start eating away at the fat, which I do not agree with that. You can fast, but you still need it. If you're going to fast, make sure you're drinking water. Because um, you can't just go to cold turkey like that. Do you work out? Do you work out? 
Are you trying to lose weight? Or are you trying to build muscle? Let me tell y'all something. Can you? Yesterday, she got on my nerves. No. And then, I, he, and then nah, she brought no. this out because I got upset about it. No, he got on my damn nerves. And so that's the reason why I lit this sage on his ass. Him and his brother, when they go to cutting up, I burn this sage to clear the air. I'm not going to lie. I turned into a whole new person after that. Yeah, the sage, y'all, and this sage, it makes you calm. It clears the air of all that negative shit. And where else? That ain't no damn witch. Somebody put witchcraft. Don't reply to stuff like that. That's not witchcraft. Don't reply to stuff like that, bro. I don't do, I love the Lord. I don't do no type of witchcraft. Sage is a, sage is a natural herb. Sage is an all natural herb. And so, because even when Major be getting stop, on, stop calling me that snow bunny. I don't, I don't snow bunny. They keep on calling me snow bunny Major. <laughs> yeah, I ain't never wrong with sage. Sage, it does make you calm. It cleans, it cleans the air. Yeah, I know it worked because when she lit it, she was doing this. She said, Wait, what was that saying? I was praying. I was walking through here praying because wherever you done been, I don't want that shit. Because especially where he went, mm mm. <laughs> what? He is? What? What did I do? What about Ain't nobody do all that. Winter Soldier Major. Like, what? Like. Bonnie loves Butter, snow bunnies. Yeah. The Wait, chicken is ready. Bonnie loves the snow bunnies. P. D. the greatest rapper alive. Uh uh. Oh, man. Stop. Awesome. Let do that again. Please. Major Payne. Please, Major. I mean, please, Austin. Major, where's the butter? Yeah, why? Well, why you out riding around? You should have stopped by Specs and brought me some more wine. You drank my wine last night. Major, where's the butter? It's R. Kelly. <laughs> R. Kelly too. The butter here. I'm gonna show you this. <laughs> they said black women love witchcraft. That's a, yeah. I don't do no damn. Weed. I I wouldn't even raise my hand. We never. We don't. Be the gayest rapper alive. I don't practice stuff like that. That's. Mama, what you cooking? That's what they ask. Um, broccoli, baked chicken, and jasmine rice. Just something kind of quick that's, you know, homemade that they can have something to eat right quick. Major, I had already made Major. Uh, let me get Oh, he sent another $20 uh, donation. I had already made Major uh, homemade uh, quesadillas when right he brought his butt in here from school. They eat too much. Diddler. <laughs> Little G. Um, uh, wait, let me see. Let me it see. says I'm, I'm in gray shade, mommy. Yeah. I, I'm just trying to get you to do. They said, "What's for dessert?" Too. <laughs> You're 128 pounds, mama. Yeah, yeah. I, well, yeah, 128. Really? 128. Read. Here. Let me read that that bottom part again. It said, uh, "Look at this question right here." No, I want to. I want to reiterate. Yeah, yeah. I, I can get you perfect at forty six. I'm gonna cash out you my number. Okay. But baby, this don't let this camera fool you. Do not let it fool you. Hmm. But yeah, okay, that's cool. Let's see. Where you work out at? They said Floyd gonna have Papa John's and Chinese food tonight. <laughs> That's so wrong. <laughs> <laughs> I'll read this one. Why they messing with Floyd? <laughs> Mama, would you let? I don't tell Major if Austin, if if uh, Austin has time to spend with Major. Major's still in. Oh school. no, we're the same dad. Yeah, they had the same day, but Major's still in school. He doesn't get out of school for the summer until I think it's May twenty fourth, I believe. I spice a little oozy, bro. But yeah, I don't, I don't, 
So here's this. I don't interfere in their relationship with their dad. I don't do any of that craziness. Um, and I definitely don't interfere. They're very close. So I don't, yeah, no. If Austin is going to take him somewhere or we're going to do something together, yeah, no. He can definitely take major wherever. I don't, I don't do that. I don't interfere in, in nothing unless, unless I feel like my kids are in unsafe. With the other brother, no, nah, nope, that's not gonna happen. Cause that's no, he no, nope, you know. No comment. No hmm. comment for you. What does it say? The other one. Um, no. No, not, no, not that one. This one. Where was it? Where'd it go? Keep the same energy when Austin is live tomorrow. No, this one, this one. That one. I don't even know what they're talking about. I can keep my energy yeah. however the hell I want to keep it. It's <laughs> if you don't want to be on here, don't be on here. Now, Pay wait. per talk is hilarious. Oh, that, that is, uh, yeah. <laughs> don't leave Major alone with Floyd under any circumstances. But what was the other question that you wanted me to read? Because I didn't see it. Oh, I, it, I, I don't know. It's too far up. Uh, they sent in their new comments. I want to read those. Um. <laughs> oh, Lord. They need to leave Floyd alone. Don't Floyd. It's like, Mom, you glowing. Why? Huh? Up here. Uh, this one. Mom, you glowing. Why? Oh. I mean, I'm, I, I, I don't know. People always say that. I think... And it's not even I think I'm a I'm a really good person. I'm very spiritual and prophetic and all this other kind of stuff. I'm like an angel. What does it say, Austin's mom? What? Hold on, I'm gonna be Austin for this one. If he come back in September, he better be coming for my birthday because my birthday is in September. All right, Austin. I smell that cigar, you know I almost smell that. Uh-uh. Close it up. Yeah, close it. Tell him, tell him, come get y'all plate anyway. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna fix y'all plate. That color right there. It wasn't a super chat, but it was. I a question. Where is it? They, we should ask them what, what, uh, what they think your favorite childhood movie was when you were like two. Like, uh, <gasps> Great question. <laughs> All right, let me get the chicken out. Give me a spoon. Let me get the chicken out. I want my chicken overcooked. What's your birthday, Mom? September 1st. I'm a diehard Virgo. Oh, that's hot. Jeez. How are you in a spoon? Uh, Spoon. Because I'm finna, I, let me cook my food. That's how black folks make chicken. Ah, so let me finish before you present it. I don't want you to present it. I like to put the butter and stuff on top. Ow! Is that my? Stepped on my side. Are you saying ow? <laughs> Too funny. They probably think we funny. That's how family is supposed to be, though. You get on each other's nerves, and but then at the end of the day, shoot. Yeah, maybe you're supposed to get on my nerves more. Mm -mm. All right, here you can show them the plate. Don't show them because I I don't like to show this dish. Which Allison, I wish. I wish we had like a, a thing, like a um a huge pot where we could do like a, a crawfish. Where else to go? I want to do like a crawfish and shrimp and crab leg ball. That's what I want to do. And put like corn. It's almost my bedtime. Sausage, all that type of stuff I'm in there. Good brother, thank you. Hold on, let me get let me get one of my things to hold my spoon.
Now this is this is jerk chicken. It's basically like black and jerk chicken. So that's. I could start a channel, but I don't exactly know what I would post. I have been telling him to start his gaming channel for the longest. He's really, really good on the video game. I mean, I'm fragile, boy. Uh, look, this is blackened jerk chicken. Seafood so equals can... unclean. We're not even, there's no seafood over here. No, I said I wanted to do a seafood boil. Oh. Like with, uh, that's, they going to ask, and it's blackened jerk like black and jerk chicken. Yeah, let me just fix the plate. The plate will look better once I fix it up. Xbox or PS5? I'm biased, so I'll say PS5. Oh, you just ate a guinea pig too? Ugh. Ew. That shit. You see that guinea pig I ate? Yes. Oh, that shit looks so disgusting. Would ask him what it tastes like to him. Nah, he was just joking. No. I could never. Yeah, but I do want to do a, like a seafood boil. For sure. Yeah, I ate it up on live. Ugh. I'm glad I didn't even see that. I'm kind of a try hard, yeah. I would say so. Listen to your mom, Major, and start that gaming channel. Well, I've been trying to start my channel for the longest, and y'all won't help me. Y'all just abandoned me. Oh, that's right. Mom was born in 77. Yeah, y'all. I'm not old. Shit. Too old to work YouTube. No, because y'all, because you're experienced, you should be able to show me. I take care of all your personal business. I should be your momager. Is that your point? No, it's for you. I don't, I don't know. Major. You want one piece or two? Hmm. You're probably going to eat, too. Okay. And I want you to... Yeah. <laughs> Here, Austin, come get your plate. Because I'm going to... When I clean my kitchen up... That's it. Y'all going to leave me alone. Oof. What are they saying? Tell me what they're saying, sir. Yeah, man, this yours. <laughs> <laughs> and then give me that plate. <laughs> always talk about Floyd. Give me that plate for you. Yeah, because Major talked too busy laughing over the food here. He ain't, he ain't, but he's not. You, I, I know. These two though. right here, look. He mom, is not Austin laughing hurt over my your feelings. food. Austin hurt my feelings, Mom. Austin, go somewhere and sit down. Let's Hey, if you have the idea to sit at the table and eat, Major, y'all can sit over there. Hold on, let me hear. I need help, Mama, out with the stream, though. Oh yes, yeah, so you can take operate. just take here, just take it over there, cause I'm. Oh, again. Yeah, he's hungry. Shit, he had star test today. Oh yeah, star test. I hope you pass, dude. Up, uh, he of course. What's hard? He's hungry. That's okay. Let him. He eat. said Austin is a chronic complainer. Sometimes he is. Sometimes he want to slap, slap his uh, socks off. All right, here, now you can show them this awesome instead of showing them. That way it looks better when it's here. There you go. Oh, great. You see how nice he is? Don't be doing my baby like that. You're so sweet, baby. I'm a kid. I am a kid. I can come take the camera with you outside. I'm going to come out there. No, I can't go outside and try cleaning the kitchen. Yeah, healthy food. Move. Move. I have went hunting three or four times. Hunting for deer, yeah. You want to go outside and see that? Deers and hogs. All right, you thirsty, thirsty dude. She's gonna come outside. Yeah, I went hunting whenever in uh, I went hunting when I was younger. It says simp and deactivated.
I'll tell her that y'all said I need to cook. I ain't cooked in two years, just about. Not no full meal. I like hunting. Yeah, I'll break some bread with her. Yeah, I may eat. I always eat in front of the audience. They want to experience what it's like to see me. Let's see, I got some messages on Hinge. Oh, she talking about energy in what way? I'm just going to say energy to handle you. Fuck it. Somebody cash tapped her fifty dollars. The same guy that had been dropping cash apps the whole time. He said, "Text me." He sent his number. Oh, okay. Thank you. I'm gonna sit over here because I'll eat. You know, I, I don't. I don't eat until y'all get done because I don't like y'all interrupting me. Mm -hmm. Oh my god. Yeah, I I don't eat dinner until like until they're done eating because I don't like to be bothered when I eat my food. Not by my kids. I don't like them mom this, mom and no they're not kids and yes they know how to go and get their own plate, et cetera, et cetera. But I still I just I don't know. I always treat them how I feel like a woman should treat them. So that's that's why they like that. So whew. So when I fix my plate, I don't like them talking to me, asking me no questions, nothing. <laughs> They're also to tell you. Okay, I'll take I wish the hot tub was open. That's the only thing on Cash App. You can't even, you can't. The only way you can respond is with emojis, right? Well, he's on the love. I know. I, I told him thank you, but I just was gonna respond. Why do you bite your fork so hard? You've been doing that all your life. I noticed on one of his videos, um, somebody said something. Why you biting that fork like that? You do be biting down, like you trying to break your teeth off. You've been doing that though since you were a kid. So much for me roller setting my hair yesterday. What you think about the chicken? Oh, I, well, I shouldn't have asked. They're talking to you in the chat. Boy, I'm trying to, I'm, can I at least do what I'm doing right quick? They talk, it's your chat. Hold on, y'all, hold on, hold on. I've already been talking to him for eight hours. So now what? I'll see you something else. Let me see. I'm going to lunch somewhere tomorrow. I have to get out of here. I've been inside for two days straight. You going to the gym with me in the morning? Okay. You going to get up. I want to go in the morning. You like to go like, like, too late. Let's get up at like five. Wow. Yeah, you can do it. One or two sips of that C4. Okay, let me see. Hold on. I told you I'm trying to do something. It won't let me just copy the number. I mean, I'm going to do my cardio first. 
unless you want to do, you want to get on the bike with me? What kind of cardio are you going to do? Why? It's not easy at the moment. Yeah, it's not easy at the moment. Ain't that right, Major? Major, eat his food. He tired of your ass. That's, that's why he's weak. <laughs> Major, I don't have time for you. And don't be trying to intimidate my baby. major in boxing. Okay, let me see. Yeah, I like to get up so because when you work out like first thing in the morning, that's like the best time because you burn more calories um, and you just have energy. Like you have lasting energy for the rest of the day. Like that's the best time to work out. I mean, I understand of your job and stuff like that and you can't. Don't be looking at my nails because I know I need to go to get my nails done. Um, okay. What did Levi say whenever you... Okay. Shantae says she see me on YouTube right now. Mm-hmm. I look a hot mess. What did Levi say, Austin? Okay. Yeah, but the best time to work out is in the mornings because, well, for me, I like to get up. Them simps dropping more dollars than the taco shells that get dropped by. No, I don't think that they're simps. I just think that they have the, the cash flow to do it. So it doesn't bother them. But thank you for your donation. <laughs> Major said, didn't nobody send him a cash? <laughs> he, said, <laughs> he said, I'm doing push-ups and everything. Ain't nobody sent me no cash yet. Where do y'all come with this simp and stuff? Yeah, Major, like, where my cash at? Yeah, where do y'all come? That's... It's simping when they're no equal. That's right, exchange. Well, you know, I just feel like if someone has it and they can do it and that's what they choose to do with their money... I don't see anything simping about that. I would it I don't I guess I don't get that. I, I don't get that. I don't understand what's simping about that. What's wrong with tricking? What's wrong with tricking? What's wrong with tricking? Okay, simping, tricking, and okay, yeah, okay. Cause see, whenever I was coming up, it was called tricking. Oh, he a trick, this and that. What is wrong with that? There's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong. If you got the money and you want to do it and that's what you're doing, what's wrong with it? Yes, I'm single. There's nothing wrong with tricking. Like, don't y'all, can't y'all, well, I can't even say that. But if you put yourself back in the day, like when, when people were like, back in medieval times right Austin like when there was kings and queens and then the daughters would trade it off to the to the prince and and they brought jewels and all this other kind of stuff so was that simply too no that was a tradition they weren't finna send their daughter off or marry their daughter off to somebody who was broke and dusty like I mean y'all gotta stop well, with this the thing is that girl was getting married she's getting married but still she was courted some so y'all see the whole thing is that I come from an era where you get courted. You take a person out on a date and, you know, you court them. You take them out on some dates. You get to know them. I think nowadays everybody just wanted to, oh, let me see if I can fuck. Like, that is not, no. The, the men on here that are doing what they're doing and sending money, that's not simping. They're just showing, hey, I like what I see. 
one guy donated two hundred dollars on where? Not on here. My last name is Brooks, baby. Austin and Major. Austin and Major is Holloman. But my last name is Brooks. Um, yeah, but y'all need to stop with that. That is simping or this and that. Ain't nothing wrong with simping or tricking. What the hell? Like, well, I guess I don't know. I'm not used to that. It's okay. You didn't know. Who do you trick on then? Who do I trick on? Why in the hell is a woman am I tricking on a man? That, that, that's what's wrong. With, that's what's going on right now. Everything is confused. Why would I be? What What type of woman am I, am I to be running around here tricking? That means I'm trying to pick a man. I'm, I'm picking a man. That ain't no different from me asking a man to marry me. No. It don't work like that. Women trick all the time to um, to younger men. Oh well, they it's not Miss Bruce. Not me. There's other ways you can reciprocate as a woman. If you run around here and if a woman I listen, this is what I keep getting trying to get y'all to understand. I don't I'm not knocking nobody for what they do. I'm saying what I don't do. Dollars be getting dropped like they saw their PO. Um I'm not sure. Okay. But yeah, I'm not knocking anybody. Thanks for the uh, super chat though. But I'm I'm not knocking anybody for what they do. I'll be the first person to say that. I but I'm not about to be out here spending no money. All the shit is just screwed up nowadays. Women are supposed to be dated and courted. Now let me reiterate. If y'all young and you're making that understood to a woman, like, look, I'm not trying to do anything serious. I'm That's not what I'm doing. I'm just out here in these streets and I'm living my best life. Always be up front, right? With what you're, um, you know, just always be up front as, as to what you're looking for, what you're trying to do. Are you dating with a purpose? Or are you just out here in these streets just doing what you want to do? It's okay. I, I think that's the problem. People don't want to tell the truth about what they're really trying to do. Stop coming uh, from the back, though, and just go in the front, though, and tell everybody what you're trying to do. And I think you're going to get a better response that way. I mean, just be the shit. Just be real. <laughs> Somebody said, stop answering them broke questions. <laughs> bad advice well, well you probably one of the ones that's over here talking about people simping and tricking which ain't nothing wrong with that's how it's supposed to go until you find the one you want that's how you look no i don't smoke my lips just purple up if they look purple it's because i'm drinking some cabernet i don't smoke no no i'm not celibate but no i'm not that ain't none of your business but just because you want to ask that no i'm not celibate um, I don't believe in that type of shit. It makes no sense. I feel like if you're in a relationship or you all this wait three months and all this other type of all that's just foolery. It's foolery. Yay. I mean, it makes no sense. You can wait three, one, three months and <laughs> the sex is whack. And then that's going to mess up the whole situation. So you have to be intimate. I don't know. I don't believe in all that celibate. Celibate is for women who been hoeing for a very long time and then they feel like, let me shut this down for a little while. Now the wine ain't kicking in because Austin done drunk, drunk most of my damn wine. It'll kick in when he go to Specs and get me a bottle. Time to keep a movie trick on him. Yeah, a tri Yes, what's wrong with wanting a traditional man? Yes, I'm independent, but I still need and want a man. 
Absolutely. And women out here saying they don't need a man, that's a lie. They just say you haven't found the right the the right man has not found you. Let me make sure I say that right. Ain't no contradiction, boo. Ain't no contradiction over here. I know exactly what I'm talking about. I am a traditional slash modern woman. So there, you can do both. You can definitely do both. I know how to cook, keep my house clean, and everything else, etc. I know traditional values. That's how I was raised. But I'm also very modern. Y'all can't get me confused out here now with these women that y'all used to deal with. It's, it's, it, that ain't my era. Am I okay with leaving the U.S. to live in the... Um, I mean, shoot, when my husband find me... That truck, about to, that's, that's, it's on the last leg. You hear that? It sound like it's about to throw a rod. Yes. Would I leave my husband cheat? Um, probably not, because I honestly feel like all men cheat. The majority of men cheat. It just depends on um, how I catch him. But I, I would hope that he wouldn't do that, but, you know. I ain't got to go on no other black woman channel to find me no husband. My husband is going to find me. I don't, that's a problem. I don't go out looking for men. It's going so fast. I was like, how do you slow this down where you can read it? Yeah, I have family in Fort Worth. All my family, actually, the majority of my family is in Fort Worth. Thank you, Ashton. My hair, you love my hair? It's messed up because it got rained on this morning when I left the gym because it was raining here. Yeah, he has my eyes for sure. He has my eyes, he has my hair, he has my lips, I want to say, uh, uh, my nose. Would I let Floyd give me a hug? Yeah. Uh-huh. I think Floyd is cool. Floyd is cool. I mean, he a cool dude. I like Floyd. I've talked to him on FaceTime a couple times with Austin, and Floyd's cool. I might say, do not do it, Miss Bruce. <laughs> yeah, Floyd is cool. I mean, everybody has their own, you know, everybody has their own way that they that they rock and roll if we were all the same no i really would he said i'm lying no i really would give floyd away. no I, I don't no i wouldn't date floyd because i mean that's somebody else to know like austin wouldn't even have that he wouldn't even austin wouldn't be having it because that's somebody he personally knows so austin ain't gonna be yeah he ain't gonna be with that <laughs> kylie i look like your twin Fake news. Mouse said fake news. I don't know what kind of looks like. Yes, y'all. Everybody got to stop being so judgmental. Everybody has their own way that they rock and roll. And your boat don't float like mine, and mine don't float like yours. I'm just a realist when it comes to stuff. I don't care. I got a crush on Floyd. Now you play too much. 
Floyd would start telling Austin what to do now. That Austin wouldn't even have that in the first place. Austin would not be having it. He would be like, nope. So let me tell y'all something, y'all men. And if it's some ladies in here, listen. Y'all, so it's simple when it comes to don't, it takes the smallest things like taking flowers, maybe a bottle of wine, like if you, or if you're going out on a date, present her with some flowers. That's just that is simple. It's twenty dollars, twenty five dollars for some flowers. That that catches a woman's attention. It's like, whoa, wow, he really thought about me enough to stop or go to a florist, have him order, pick him up, and show up with that. That's how you can get a, a good quality woman that appreciates stuff. That takes her attention off all the other men. What you doing? Where you at? All the stupid whack. You know, I teach Austin this. Austin knows this. Take a bottle of wine, you know, or. That's better than flowers. Yeah, you can take both. You can do both. I wouldn't it do depend, no it, it, it depends on the caliber of woman that y'all are going for. I keep saying this. If you just trying to, if you just looking for somebody just to to sleep with and, you know, wham, bam, thank you, ma'am, and then you gone. Then okay, that's why y'all not having a lot of luck. I mean, if that's what you want, then do that. Then do that and keep it simple and keep it pushing. But if y'all are looking, somebody put weed flowers. If y'all are looking for somebody of quality and stuff like that, and you you know you want to take her out on two or three more dates, do something different. Y'all doing the same stuff. Stop doing the same stuff. They simping hard. <laughs> that's not simping y'all that's how you that's how that's really how you supposed to do it a man always goes after exactly what if he wants it he's gonna go after it and he ain't gonna stop until he get it that's if he really want it he won't stop you get done dirty showing up with flowers well, that, I don't know. If you if you get done dirty, if you show up with flowers, that means you're messing with the wrong type of female. That means you're not messing with the right type of female. you messing with somebody who don't, who don't. That's not what she's looking for. You might as well sh show up with her uh, um, and don't open the door for her. Show up with her a uh, two-piece from Popeye's. Not even Popeye's. Go and get you some Edmund's chicken. <laughs> These 20s and 30s don't understand that, Miss Brooks. Yep, they don't. It's so simple. You can capture a woman's heart so easy. Like, I mean, it's so easy if you do the shit right and be consistent. If communication is off, you out of there. If you are not consistent, you just out of there. I don't play those type of games. Next. Bye. If we go to the doctor and she has her what hymen okay Austin read this question right here turn around read this ten dollars super chat thank you uh, what's for Austin ma'am that might ma'am that might have worked 20 years ago but modern day that's not happening and one bad apple ruins the whole bunch. Well, that's why your mentality is screwed up. Because you can't say, let me finish reading it. I've seen good people, men and women, become tainted by by the culture. Yeah, but you can't focus on that. And y'all need to start bringing it back. And you need to start doing it for the women that actually deserve it. The, the reason why you feel like stuff is tainted, because y'all doing it for the wrong women. Y'all picking up women in the wrong places. Why y'all can't flirt with women in the gym or at the gas station or in the grocery store you know like old school go up and approach them be respectful 
one bad apple. So you're going to tell me one woman, and I'm not fussing at you or nothing like that, but I'm just telling you, that's the wrong way to think. One bad apple ruins the whole bunch. You know how many millions of women out here, and you talking about one woman? So you, who's tainted is you because you're allowing one or two or maybe three women that you probably tried to be a true gentleman to, and they didn't appreciate it. So you can't take that out on every woman out here. That's not cool. You shouldn't do that. That's not, they don't, you can't, you can't put every woman in the same bracket like that. No. Because they, because they ruined it. You, now you're going to have to come off that. No, ain't no gas station. Not if you had a nice shell, if you're in a nice area. Um, you can get approached by men that let me pump your gas or, um, let me get, yes, I have been approached like that. Let me, you shouldn't be pumping gas, ma'am. Let me pump. And they're not crackheads. They're fully dressed and driving nice cars in suits or in, in total gentlemen. So. Now, I don't want no more kids. Uh-uh. Unless I have, at this point, uh-uh. I don't want no more kids. I mean, if I was married to someone who didn't have kids. Well, it's not working because y'all got to change the way y'all think. Because you already thinking it's not going to work. So whatever you putting out there is the energy you're going to get back. He didn't try to pipe back in. What? He didn't try to pipe back in. Oh. I don't know. Well, I don't know what you mean by that. Somebody you didn't try to. Yeah, but you can still, I mean, people have kids all the time, Ozzy, at a, uh, in their 40s. I'm just saying, I don't want to do that. But if I was with somebody who didn't have a kid and they were good to me and made sure that I was good and traditional provider, protector, I would. But that's not, no, I'm not, that's not on my bucket list. <laughs> For sure. That ain't on my bucket list. I don't have kids. So. Somebody said I don't have kids, but I would love to be awesome step daddy. Get wait, hold on. Get some advice for men who can't get their passport and go overseas. Well, if you can't get a passport and go overseas i mean basically you can still get out here you can still get out here you gotta go to play number one y'all need to start going to places where the caliber of woman if you know that you are going to places that is gonna be if you know that you're gonna be going to places where there's women that you know is out of your league come on y'all need to start being real about this then don't do it if you can start out like like i said the grocery store approach a woman don't just follow around the store if you think she's beautiful or whatever approach her be be a gentleman like approach her um and you never know what the outcome is going to be if it don't turn out good then i mean oh well next go let me see grocery stores this is why i always get hit on grocery stores um gas stations definitely whole foods if y'all want to find like a classy something like that go to whole foods not all of them gonna be classy in there when we'll we talking about a grocery store go to whole foods um go to some happy hours go to some happy hours at some nice restaurants like go to roof chris happy hour they have really good happy hours um go to um where else can you go What's the Albernays? If you're in Dallas, you can go to Albernays, Capital Grill, all these steakhouses. You're going to see pretty much classy women in there, probably having some cocktails after work and stuff like that, that are classy, well spoken. Yeah, you go to a hood gas station and you go, you, y'all should already know what you're going to find there. But you can go to some nice places, happy hours, and you can run into some some very classy i see them out all the time when i'm out
yeah pain and sips that's a good idea but you i think you probably want to go there on a date because if you go to a paint and sip um that's probably gonna be more like you taking somebody on a date i don't know i don't know that you're gonna see a woman in there painting amari h hello i don't know if i pronounced your name right Yeah, but you got to take that chance. The thing is, when you see her, you don't know if you're going to always see her again. You got to take that chance. Hey, life is about taking chance. Take a chance. Am I submissive to my man? I don't have a man. But if I had one, it depends on what your definition of submissive is. Yeah, I don't fool with a lot of women, so it would be hard for me to hook you up. Now, if we were hanging out somewhere women gravitate to me because they like my personality they think i'm cool as hell i also can tell you this women gravitate to me men too but of course but i would have to be yeah the y'all with this submissive stuff who was this keep calling me um no my hair i i keep my hair's been blonde for probably about the last uh, six years or so my hair is actually um, black Whole Foods is a good place because even in Whole Foods y'all um, Whole Foods has a little bar you can sit there and you can sit there and have your little wine or beer whatever y'all drink they'll have liquor and you can literally just people watch y'all don't know how to flirt no more Flirting was ruined. Just make an eye contact, but that's not for everybody. I, I could tell I when a man I, looking at me, and, he, been, and I could tell when he lock eyes with me, and then I'm well, like, I've been flirting worldwide, and I tell you what, I came here and I forgot all that. The women that gravitate to you are smack. I don't gravitate to a man, so that's the difference. I don't men men approach me. I don't approach no man. I feel like this. Um, yeah, I like Whole Foods. I do like Whole food. We have a really nice one over here in Plano, too. It's huge. Yeah, y'all just have to... Y'all gotta... I need y'all to get y'all confidence back. All a woman can do is say no, nothing wrong. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, see, I mean, see when, how many... When you get no's 10 times a day, see if you're still saying that. Well, so what? There, tomorrow's a new day. Get up and try it again. What y'all have to look look at is uh, <laughs> Simp blowing it up. <laughs> what the way y'all have to look at that is, that wasn't your day. Them wasn't none of the women that you was supposed to be fooling with. Y'all need to start looking at shit as a blessing in disguise instead of taking it so damn to heart. Maybe it is a I could care less. If I go I out on a date and it was, and it's a flop, I'm like, okay. Well, maybe it was a blessing in disguise. That's why I got up out here. Blessing in disguise. What does submissive mean to me, Miss? Uh, um, well, submissive means you. So when you get into a relationship with your with your dude, and you're exclusive, or y'all engaged, or y'all married, whatever those three scenarios. God. You go ahead and block that number. Like that's crazy, and um, it don't even is I don't that's not even, and so when submissive to me when you're either exclusive, um, engaged to someone or married, submissive means to me letting your man lead, let him be the leader. The man is supposed to lead the house. He's supposed to lead the relationship. You're supposed to. Uh, just walk on the inside he walk, he protects you he provides for you so with that being said you do like you can do things around the house i know some women don't like this but you can cook you can pack as much you can do his laundry i don't know who that is keep calm but you let you allow him to be the man and you know and a lot of times women don't Yes, I mean, I, I've, I've been an alpha female before raising my boys. I had to. But guess what? I still know when I'm in a relationship how to let a man lead and let, how to let him be in control 
and like I said, do all those things. Cook. Somebody say Floyd Collin. <laughs> Somebody saying, also you answered. So, um, oh, but I'm all for that. I want my man to be the, the masculine, the man that runs everything. And, you know, he takes care of everything. And I do what, what I'm supposed to do as a woman, which is sit back and be in my feminine, cook, do laundry, you know, let him do his thing. But I'm, you know, I'm from a different era, though. Submissive now, women hear that word and they think, you just want to control me. You just want to. No, nah, it's not even what it's about. People, that's why I say everything is so. <laughs> Somebody say mama don't get kidnapped. No, every, it, people just have it so distorted. Submissive, there's nothing wrong with that. And he tells you what to wear. No, nah, ain't nobody going to tell me what to wear. Or what to do with my hair. And that's that's not that has nothing to do with being submissive now, baby. That that is just simply that's just simply you wanna be controlled. You wanna be narcissistic. No, I'm not doing that. But everything else, no, you're not gonna tell me what to wear. But no man would have to tell me what to wear because I know what to wear. Do I let my friend? Hell no, I'm a grown ass woman. Can't nobody tell me who to date. I'm like, I'm like your phone. Why you can see me? Oh, mm. Becky calling again. Hello. Yeah, I'm like They hung phone. up. I'm like the phone. I don't know who that is. So, now my friend, I don't. Number one, I only deal with a handful of women, and we. We're really grown, so we don't tell each other what to do or who to date. We may have a comment, but we don't dictate who um, who dates who or what. No, we don't roll like that. Even if my friends are, are the couple of few people that I even talk to, um, they don't. We don't. If they even decide, hey, I'm gonna talk. I'm still gonna talk to him anyway. You know, they grown. It's grown. You don't. Nobody tells nobody what to do. That's that's so childish. Miss mm. Jefferson, how many times are you gonna ask that chill? I'm not sure who what they talking about. I didn't see the question from Miss Jefferson. Have I had bad men stalk me? Yeah, I've had, I've had, I've had a couple of people. Yeah, I have, I've had a man stalk me more than one. Let's see. Please don't even know what gender they want to be. Oh, people. I'm sorry. People don't even know what gender they want to be these days. So, okay, he's laughing. Those tactics work in the 80s. In the 90s, we're in the rainbow era. People want to be the man, woman. True. That's true. So that's why you got to be very, very cautious and know who the hell you dealing with. That's something y'all got to deal with. Um, see, because in my era, you knew who you was dealing with pretty much. And I still know because I, I ask questions. I ask questions. <laughs> Y'all have so much social media and all this other kind of stuff. Now it's we had beepers and barely had cell phones. And how many times have I slept? Oh, baby, I don't do that. I'm so cute. Wait a minute. I don't do that type of stuff. Is for give me a project. Like I don't do stuff like that. I have never in my life slash somebody's tires or a broke window. I don't have time for that. I'll walk away from you before I do that and ignore the shit out of you. Let's see. Miss Jefferson take your ass a dip. I don't yeah, I don't have time to be doing that. Women that, women that slash tires and break windows and hide behind bushes and all this other kind of shit and stalk people and put tracking devices 
Cause I know it's going down out here like that. I don't have time for that. If you if you out here wilding out, wild out and go on. I don't have time for that. Have you ever put a root on a man? I don't need to put a root on a man, Marty. If anything, they trying to put a root on me after they get a hold of me. Yeah, no, I don't have to do that. Hello, wild dog. Miss Jefferson, it, it's a good question. I don't see the question, though. Yeah, I don't need to put no... Marty, cut that out. I don't need to put no root on no man. Baby, if anything, they trying to figure out what I'm doing, where I'm going. I'm single. Wait a minute. Miss Jefferson said, I heard you tell your son's friend that light skin is the best. Do you think dark skinned women are inferior? Girl, are you a woman or a man? Number one, I never said that. That never came out of my mouth. I would never say anything like that because I don't care if you light skin, dark skin, purple, blue, black, orange. I don't care. I, I would never tell my sons that. So now I know you made that up because that's not even something I would ever say. Shame on you for saying that just because I'm light skinned. Shame on you. Yeah, shame on you. I, I would never. So maybe you might be feeling like you're in, inferior if you're dark skinned, but you shouldn't feel that way. There's nothing wrong with being. That's what makes us all unique. Our complexions. It doesn't matter if you're dark skinned, light skinned paper sack brown caramel whatever you are come on don't even try to pull that card that's how this shit start getting crazy I'm trying to do that i would never tell my boys that because i'm light-skinned they can choose who the hell they want i mean i have i, I wish it would be a black woman but i i'm not finna tell them on no skin tone that's that's insane yes i'm austin holloman's mother i'm his biological mother Yeah, ask me that. I would never tell my boys that. I have never, you ain't even heard me say that. I don't tell them about that hell. I got some people in my family that's blue black. Well, I'm not supposed to like them because they're not light skinned. That's crazy. Don't even go there with that. Yeah, all shades of black women is beautiful. No matter what you are. What y'all need to be thinking about is the person's inside their personality. Yeah, everybody had a right to have preference. Yeah, they preference what they like. Yeah, what she, I need, because see, y'all got, who, I don't even know what she looked like, but the bottom line is, it makes no sense to make statements like that, just because I'm light-skinned, because I already know where that's coming from. I don't even care. With men, I don't even care if his ass light skin, black as tar, blue black, my color. It's how he treat me as a woman. That's what's important. Yeah. That's how stuff be getting blown out of proportion and, you know, Floyd loves Snow Bunny though. I just think Floyd want to be loved, and I think whoever's going to love Floyd, would I date an Asian guy? I would. I, I, I mean, I, I want my brother, so I, I want to make this clear. I ain't keyed nobody's car before. I've never done anything like that. Never. I don't have time for that. That's too, that's just ratchet and I've, I've never. Uh, but would I date an Asian guy? Uh, yeah, it, it depends on how you treat me. But first, first and foremost, I love my black men. But I, yeah, I'm not, I don't discriminate, but I love my black men. I'm 
uh, are a preference, but light-skinned women are the preference. Dark-skinned women still get chosen. Light-skinned women are most preferred. But that, to me, Angel, if I'm saying it right, that that is that's all about the person's preference, though. If they want light skin, dark skin, I think too, y'all. We all, I don't. I guess I don't. I don't. I ain't in that phase anymore. I. Re, it's about how you treat me. But I guess you know. I don't know which age bracket y'all in. What age bracket y'all from youngest to oldest on here? What's y'all age bracket? Cause y'all. Austin Willie Terrell sent you ten dollars super chat. He says thanks for allowing me to check out your live streams. Um, you have a great family. Thank you, Willie. Austin, you gonna tell him thank you? He sent you ten dollars super chat. Thank you so much. He over here chilling, smoking his cigar. Make up your own live. I don't know. I'm Creole. I have two boys, and that's it. Austin and Major. Yeah, I'm Creole. But I'm a black woman, but I'm just Creole. You have to kind of read up on what Creole. I'm from New Orleans. Have I ever ate red clay dirt? I have. When I lived in Mississippi and we went uh, for briefly, like it was, we would dig. I know you think that's funny, but like we would dig, like out. it was nothing else to do. It was boring as hell because my dad's from Mississippi. And you, there's red clay that they actually, is worth a lot of money. And I did taste it before. We didn't just eat it, no, but I have tasted it before. It's disgusting. All right, shout out to everybody from the N.O. Have I only been with black men, though? Yes. Have I gone out with da on dates with other nationalities and stuff? Yes. But have I only... Uh, that... Why you ask somebody that? But, yeah. But I have gone out on dates. Okay. The Scout Sniper, tune in. The Hollemans, guest mama Holloman <laughs> sent you a dollar ninety nine. Um, thank you, the Scout Sniper. I'm not really sure who you say thank you to. I don't know how it works. I'll send you know, just gave me the camera. What did you do? Block that person that kept calling? Huh? Oh, okay. I don't know who that was, but remember, Major, whenever him and Travis were talking the other day, my number said it out loud on you. Would I date a trans person? Meaning what? A, a woman that turned into a man? I don't know what you mean by that. I don't know. It's only one trans. Well, no. A woman can turn to a man and a, a, a man can turn into a woman. Would you consider either one? No. Okay, <laughs> Whoever I was, is, he put the dead face. <laughs> no. I mean, I don't have nothing against them. Now, don't get it twisted. It's, I don't care about that. But it's like, no. Like, why Why would I want to date somebody? No. I want you born how the fuck you are. A stud? No. Because ain't nothing we can do bumping coochies together. Excuse my French. I don't roll like that. I like what, you, what God put here for women to have. Studs only. I ain't. I, I don't have nothing against no studs. I don't have, here. Let's be clear. I don't have nothing against nobody. Everybody do that thing. Y'all asking me what I do it. No, I don't. There's nothing I can't. I mean, I. Mm -mm. Can I tell y'all about his dad? I mean, that's for Austin to do. I don't know what you want to know about his dad. Would I date a Cuban? Yeah. Studs you strap on. Well, yeah, that's why I said that ain't for me. You 
of the starch. What time is that? Don't. <laughs> yeah, they asking me some stuff now. That's like, okay, how did we get here? I'm not from a ward. My, I'm, I, I wasn't raised in any type of ward. I went in the third ward, ninth ward, none of that. Uh, well, me and Austin's dad met. So when I first moved to Texas, we met in high school. That's when I moved here and I was going to high school. And his dad was just um, very, 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 very persistent. He wouldn't take no for an answer. He just knew he wanted me and he just kept, you know, trying and trying and trying and trying until he got me. And yes, it, it, he was doing, he, he, yes, whatever he thought he could buy or do, that's what he did. And he finally got me because my answer was no, 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 no. And then finally he got me. Don't do that today. Yeah, he just wasn't scared. He didn't care. He was just like, he was sure about what he wanted, who he wanted. And he was like, okay. Yes, both my boys are with the same dad, the one I'm talking about now. Looking oh so beautiful. Thank you. I feel like I look like a nightmare. Yes, I have a passport. I just came back from Nicaragua with uh, me and Major came because we went to see Austin. But Austin uh, couldn't meet us there. Yeah, I have one. I have a passport. He, I don't know what you mean by that. Bought me twice. He never bought me. He just knew what he wanted. And he was willing to do whatever he had to do to get the woman that he wanted. That's all. Ozzy said that's the 90s romance. That's what Austin just said. You can't do that now. Nah, yeah. It's true. But I mean, I think y'all still, I mean, hell, I'd go for it if it was somebody that was very persistent and like, somebody keep putting floor like studs. It's called X for a reason. That's that's gotta stay back there. I mean, y'all gotta, cause probably a lot of y'all on here is too dwelling on what was. Y'all gotta get off that what was and get on to what's going on now. It's a new day. You guys, I'm gonna ask my mom if my date is too ghetto. The girl that wants to meet me. What? You gonna ask me what? All I can get is fucking cougars. Well, because you're mature, Austin. Apparently, I was mature to the 22 year old and 24 year old in South America. In Africa. In Europe. How old is she? I'm like 35. And you call her a cougar? That's just 10 years older than you. I guess I don't know what y'all I don't know what y'all consider a cougar. I'm my age bracket. So what she looks to get on. Your age bracket don't work for you. She looks to get on. Here it don't work for you. I don't know. I can't tell by pictures because people Instagram. Get her on FaceTime and see if you can see her on FaceTime. If I gotta ask you for approval, you think I'm just going to do a FaceTime? I'm saying if you really want to see what she looking like. Apparently not. That's what I'm asking you. Hold on. I don't know, because with all these filters and stuff, and let me see. Back to the drawing board. Let me see. No, she's not a bad looking chick. Wait. But.
<laughs> Somebody daily said Floyd said he asked you for money and you said no. I told him I needed that money just as much as he did. Is that true? Floyd well, you know that. That's why we've been live streaming for 12 hours a day. Y'all gotta remember, I spent $600, $750. I mean, I it, what I'll say about this chick is where she live at? She Okay, she in Dallas. What you think about how she live? You gotta stop going off. I mean, looks, looks is one are thing. Very looks are the first thing. Yeah. Look, you right. Looks, looks are the are first very thing. Important. Trust me. Uh, looks are the first thing because men are physical. Either way, men are that, very physical. So I'm they looking all, at. I'm all on YouTube. I gotta have. I gotta. I gotta. I was just in South America doing my. But thing. what I'm gonna say is this. You can. I mean. You can take her out. I don't see. I mean, you can. You can. You can what meet. Up, you can meet up. What would I write her? Nothing positive. Uh, let me see. I don't know. She might be about a five. Or six. Yeah, you write anonymous. We both broke. Yeah, she a five or six. I'm gonna go ahead and cancel that. And if another woman rates you a five or six, it's a no go. But she's not a bad looking chick. You know, I one no, thing I about need, me, I'm gonna I tell need, you the truth. I need my. I need it. Anonymous. What do you think? Should I go out a five or six tonight? You're crazy as hell. Floyd, he said Floyd here. Is Floyd, what is Floyd's name on? Uh, somebody put nope next. <laughs> you should have been taking me to Specs. You just drank my wine. Hell. I don't know. I got a different date. Floyd said Floyd said Floyd She gonna say, what's your intention for me tonight? I said, I think my profile is pretty intentional. She's like, okay, well, I'm walking a dog right now. What, what time do you want to meet? Yes. I ain't got no time for Where you. Where is she living? This is somebody else. I'm already, the other one's already been oh. put to the drawing board. Who is, what is Floyd's name? How, how do you know if he's on here now? I don't know what his name is on here. His name is Born Only. <laughs> She a private investigator playing 21 questions before she dates. Nah, man, you been dealing with baddies yeah, in exactly. South America. Yeah. yeah, I don't ever want him to drop his standards, but if it, that's what I'm saying. If, if he just want to go out on a date, I mean, she ain't no bad looking chick. Hello. You don't lose no points for every five years over 30. That, that, no. Mr. Ego. That's definitely not true. If anything, a lot of these women out here in their damn 20s done lost already. Tell her you found your purpose now. Come over. <laughs> yeah, that part. Has Austin ever, Mom, well, let's ask you, my subscribers so inconsiderately want me to travel around the United States. What do you think? No, for what? It's, oh, we're good. Even she knows. And she just was talking about bringing flowers. Thank you. You can, I mean, Austin. It, it just all depends on what you feel like doing. But your whole purpose of your journey is you, you left the U.S. They want me to but torture if you, myself. <laughs> Eight and nine is what I like. Okay. Go, go back to the hood. Absolutely not. Thank you, Rashad. Rashid, I'm probably not saying it right. <laughs> Angel said five is terrible and six is okay. Six ain't gonna cut it no more. Well, a seven and a half and up. Now I'm not really into sports like that. Now if I get, if I was dating someone and they want to go watch a game or you know do something like that, then I would definitely do it. Like I would, you have to bend a little bit.
Somebody said, who is 50 to 59? Some y'all gotta stop these dumb and fresh and fit talking points. Yes, cause it's like. Mm. I used to deal with chicks that was below a, a seven D Frank, but when that confidence start going down from the women you sleeping with, you gonna stop dealing with them under seven. Anytime you you be like, oh yeah, yeah, I just got some just now. Your homeboy be like, let me see a picture, and you ain't trying to show that picture. That's a problem. If you can't show that picture, that's a problem. If you, well, if you can't, number one, if you can't show the picture, or that, your pictures are old as dirt, that's not or what you have, about. what you read? Oh, you looking at the same thing I'm looking at? Yeah, but that's not what we're talking about. Six foot six, silky hair, no gray on my body, at age of 36, 20. Yeah, don't ever ask no chick if she a virgin. You might as well go ahead and cross that. Worldwide, you might as well go ahead and cross that out. In Brazil, they losing their virginity at 13 and 12. Yeah. You might. And got the nerve to call you a sex trafficking or whatever, sex traveler or whatever they called you. They just mad because they got exposed. Yeah, you see, have, I, that exposed. show that I watch, uh, Seeking Sister Wives, they always over there trying to look fine for one of them to uh, bring back to the U.S. to be the second wife. Yeah, they sent old photos, Photoshop photo. Whenever I go out on a date, they're like, whoa, you don't look nothing like your pictures. You look like unbelievably beautiful. Y'all sent a super chat if y'all got Yeah, I do think he was targeted. Uh, but, you know, it's a lot of us that go down there, but still. International. We're finding a virgin. Well. Uh... I think everybody just got to, you got to go who you can vibe. That energy has to be right. The energy has to be right. If that energy ain't right, the conversation ain't right, it ain't going to work. Mental stimulation. After you see somebody physically, then you can't get that mental stimulation. Conversation, all that stuff. Why did his brother turn out so good? Um, well, Austin and Major weren't raised in the hood, number one. They visited because, but I don't know. He has a different mother. I can't, I can't really answer that. He, you know, he has a different mother. You have to kind of. What's my take on swinging? I mean, to each his own. I don't see anything wrong with it. I mean, some people just like that. Some people like that freaky shit, and they, they can't just be with one person. They want to have that one person, but they also want to be able to step out from time to time with their mate, and they probably like watching them sleep with someone else on both sides. Deep breaks That's why they go to swinging clubs. Or have a script that slays. Always have a script for the first two dates. You can use the same script with everyone. What script are you referring to? Yeah. What? <laughs> Somebody said it was almost 
the tree did the swing. <laughs> Yeah, I was having to eat a couple times in that crew. Swinging is confusion. It is, but that's why you have something. I've never done it, but that's something that you have to go into knowing what you finna get into. Just like this show with Sister Wives and all this other shit. You have to know, okay, look, I'm, I'm finna have to sit here and watch my girl or my wife get screwed by another man right here live and full effect in front of my face. And then vice versa. Or you gonna watch your husband or your dude screw another woman or y'all is you know, y'all just all in there and it's crazy. I don't know if it's uh, swingers clubs in Dallas because I don't You just gotta you can't be a je if you do some if I'ma say this, if you do some stuff like that, you definitely cannot be jealous. You cannot be a jealous person. Not at all. You cannot be jealous. You cannot be have any type of jealousy in your body. Thank you for the super chat. Polygamy, yes or no? I mean, again, that's like, that's, you know, that's, that's to each day on. Could I do it? No, because I'm not going to be sitting up here and have my man and knowing that one night he's, we all in the same household. One night he's sleeping in this room. The other night he's sleeping over here. The other night, no, I can't do that. When I get into a relationship or, you know, exclusive or married, I'm not, no. Mm -mm. He mine and I'll mine. I can't do it. But, like, again, am I against it for other people? No, nope. do what you do. If that's what makes you happy, do what you do. That's what everybody got to understand. It's different strokes for different folks. Absolutely, anonymous sixty-five. Yeah. Wait, man, it's only twenty-two people watching. Yeah, like four, almost five hundred people earlier. Yeah, That's how it is in Africa, men. Yeah, and see, some certain cultures and and places, they it, that's what they do. Yep, and that's normal. But see, those women are brought up like that. That's how they live. Yeah. So they used to, they know I'm already going to be sharing. So. Got a beat door skin. Yep, everybody had a, you know. Do I go to cigar bars? Um, I will, but it's not a it's not a place of choice for me because I don't smoke cigars. I don't I don't know. I think I'm allergic to tobacco or something. Cause every time I try to smoke a cigar or I try that hookah stuff, it just does not. Yes, I like sushi. It don't. I don't know what it does. Even if I eat a full meal, like I still just I can't. I pretty much stick to my wine, but I'll go. I don't know, cause it was like 400 some people and now it's like, looks like 15. Do I go to jazz brunches? Yeah, I love brunches. I didn't go this weekend because Austin came, cause I would have been gone, cute and out the door. Yeah, that would be. Yeah, everybody can't watch that. That's. I don't know. That's that's a touchy thing. That's how I can say it. you cannot be a jealous person if you're gonna participate in a threesome, go to swingers clubs, any of this type of stuff. That's a touchy, touchy. That's a very touchy uh, thing. Yeah, the count has to be off. Uh, but yeah, that's a touchy thing. You got to really be a strong ma uh, woman or man to be able to do that swinging and threesomes and all that. I 
I don't know where he's been looking at. Um, Austin just barely been here since Friday, and it's just Tuesday. So um, I had already told him, Addison, that that's just, I, no, that's a no-bueno. And then he was over in the hood. That, that was definitely a no-bueno. Um, where else? He ain't really been nowhere yet, though. That's why I'm telling him, take me out with him. When, take me out with him. When he take me out with him, yeah, he went to DeSoto. Definitely ain't nothing over there either. None of those type of places where he's been so far is a place where he can, mm -mm, that he gonna be able to mingle yet. He ain't really been nowhere yet. Yeah, he, Austin's very mature. He's always had to be mature. I mean, I just raise him like that, like, Yeah, I've raised him. Austin's always listened to like old school music and stuff like that. That's just from him being around me and um Yeah, so he's very, very old school. Major two, they both have old souls. But yeah, Austin ain't got nowhere. He he knows when he step out with me, he's he either got men looking upside his head, mad at him because how you get this woman out, you know. Or he got the women wanting to talk to him, but they don't know if I'm his girlfriend or not. Yeah, a lot of people have been saying I should start a channel. To those of us who co-parent, um, I mean, what kind of advice do you want? Like, are are you get? Do you get along with your? I don't know if you, Marty. So, do you get along with your wife, ex-wife, or ex-girlfriend? Or the best advice is just to make sure that y'all know how to communicate. Everything is about, yeah, everything is about communication. And don't be over-talking nobody and don't over-talk each other. Like, communication is everything. If you can't communicate, you can't have no, you can't do no type of relationship. I don't care if it's co-parenting, dating, marriage. Uh, you, it, none of that will work if you cannot communicate effectively without trying to understand each other. Um, yeah, the courts, and that, you know, that's a, like, that should be, like, a last resort, but sometimes you have to go to the court, sometimes you gotta go to court to get shit leveled out. Um, she's a, good, a horrible communicator, so what is she doing? As far what makes her a horrible communicator? With your daughter's stepdad. Yeah. Were well, you married to the daughter's mom? I'm talking to D Frank right now. Are y'all married or I ate earlier. I ate a little bit. I always feed my boys first. I'll eat a little bit. Ozzy. Yeah, I ate a little. I had some boudin earlier. And I had some yogurt. And when I came from the gym this morning, some boiled eggs and stuff like that. But I always like for them to eat and get out of my way so I can clean my kitchen. And then I can eat in peace. What happened? Because they love mom, mom, mom. Getting on my nerves. She don't think so before she says things. Hold on, every day. Before she says things. Tone is always hooked up. And snippy. So she yell at you and stuff like that? Austin! 
So does she so she must be yelling and stuff. Yeah, it's gotta be something wrong because it was literally like four hundred some people. Yeah, that's the thing. When you when you talking to somebody crazy and condescending when y'all trying to co-parent and all this other kind of stuff or just in a relationship like somebody asked me earlier about slashing tires and doing all this type of foolery um that just that's just a no-go and then if you know that you if marty if you know that you're the one that's the level-headed one she's just Yeah, so if you're trying to be the bigger person in the man, well, maybe she still wants you. Have you ever thought about that? She might still want you. She might still want to be in a relationship with you, so she is acting a fool. But then you got to be cautious about that because if she's willing to act a fool and y'all, you know, y'all not together, just think if you do. I don't see, I don't really know what's the, the gray area. If you just trying to chill and she always popping out, that's something I can think of. She probably still wants you. But, you know, little does she know, like, her popping off and acting a fool is only making you be more distant, I'm sure. Yeah, so she wants you back. So that's the thing. She wants you back. So she's being snazzy with you and jazzy and all that because she wants you back so she's not gonna try to she ain't gonna try to cooperate with you or anything like that because mm -mm, she wants you back so her way of displaying that she still cares about you and wants you back is by acting a fool and that's that's what run men off that all that's unnecessary to our kids school event then okay so yeah, she's probably gonna act. She's I I don't know. I don't know. From what you're telling me, she's not gonna be happy about that. But hey, if you moved on and y'all not together, and you taking her to a school event, um, there shouldn't be any issues. It, have the two of those women had an issue? Have your ex and the woman that you taking to the event had an issue? If you're in a, if you have started, they haven't met yet. Okay, well, this is life. This, then they'll meet. And this is why I say this. You can't continue. If you, are you dating this woman that you're taking? Are y'all in a relationship? Or is this just some random person you taking to your child's school event? No, my hair color is um, black. She's new. So do you make it a habit of, of taking random women around your kids and to events and stuff like that that involve your family? Okay, so if, you, if it's not nothing serious, you shouldn't be taking her around your kids right now. Don't do that. Mm-mm. Yeah, if you, if if y'all not, and I'm just telling you, if if y'all not in a serious relationship, and you just, cause what if y'all don't work out, and then you don't want your kids to keep meeting random women. Oh, the kids won't be there. I thought you said it was gonna be some sort of school. Event. It's an adult. Okay, fundraiser. Oh well, yeah. Why are you even questioning that? Yes. You can take whoever you want to take. If y'all not in a relationship, I thought you were saying that you were taking her to a school event. Yeah, okay, no. Absolutely, you can take her. Absolutely. There's nothing wrong with that. Mm-hmm.
Yeah, you can take her for sure. See, it just went back up to two fifty. Oh no, that's I don't know. I don't know how to read this shit. Austin, I don't know where Austin went, y'all. He went in there. Do I like niggas? I'm not even sure what type of question that is. know what kind of question it is you mean young men i'll date any pretty much any age bracket as long as you're mature i prefer much older men but i'm okay with i've gone out on dates with guys in their 20s 30s and some of the ones in their 20s and 30s are much more mature some of the much older ones but i don't i don't I know, it's got to be something wrong with the numbers, so I don't know what. Let me tell Austin to bring his ass over here and see what's wrong. I think he went to the restroom. He'll be back, y'all. Hold on. He went to the restroom, I think. <laughs> I'm a player. No. I just been around a little bit few counters more than y'all have and I just know I'm just wise about certain things. <laughs> I'm a player. Yeah, I don't believe in all that simp and all that. Yeah, I'm going to have to try to start me a channel. I have been told that so many times. And literally when I go out to eat and stuff like that and I'm by myself, I always find myself talking to someone. Thank you. Well, my eyes, they look right now, they look tired, I'm sure. And people always gravitate to me and I always end up talking to them and giving them and they're like, you know, I made their day or something. I'm just always very honest. These kids out here on their scooter. Yeah, that red pill stuff, y'all might as well. And then the ones who's giving out that red pill advice, they out here doing the biggest, whatever y'all call it, simping or tricking in the world. And they telling y'all to do one thing. And they doing the complete opposite. And you actually have people out here who follow that shit. This is Cabernet, and I actually had me a bottle to sip on. So, And Austin asked, since he been here, he just go and pour it up and... He should have went to Specs and got me some wine before he came back. Yeah, they be the biggest ones. And then there's men out here that actually, you know, follow that. And they be listening to that shit. And they're out here doing the exact opposite of what they're telling you guys to do. That's why I say y'all have to really think for yourself and what feels right to you. What feels right to you? Yep, you can't. You have to, what feels right to you? Austin, I think he went in there to the restroom somewhere. He'll be back. Fresh got down bad. Got, oh, got down bad. Oh, yeah. Yeah, because you're trying to yell at somebody and intimidate the hell out of them into believing what what their beliefs are. But you know that's the thing, though. Sometimes people like that intimidation. I don't know. I don't know. 
can't nobody, you know. I think a lot of times people should be able to tell who's genuine and who's not. Wait, let me see what it say. I'll have no cattle there. <laughs> yeah. Joe Biden a trunk. I mean, I would definitely not vote for Trump. Yeah, they charging a lot of money, and but that's what I'm saying, Marty. A lot of people, they, sometimes people are more followers than leaders, and they just because they see the way they they think other people are really living when they're really not living that way, um, that it's okay to take advice for them from them because they they put up this whole persona like they're you know just don't do no wrong and respectful and women are this and that and the same shit like i said the same story and book they trying to write and sell that everybody's buying it you know and they out here in these streets doing the complete opposite Oh dear, I'm 40. Don't know if I want to date 30 or 50 year olds. Date what feels right to you. Date, date, date what feels right to you. When you get around a 30 year old, how's she carrying herself? If when you get around a 50 year old, you gonna that's gonna be. She should be extremely mature. She's probably going to be a huge nourisher, like like anything. Like if you're sick, she's going to be like taking care and all this. It's kind of hard because it just depends on how a person was raised and grew up. Let's see. Yeah, forty is forty is definitely like the new twenties. Um, but you're but you're grown enough to not act like you're in your twenties, but you just feel like it. You're definitely much more wiser I don't know somebody was saying that something that they were having issues on other channels too so um hold on y'all let me go get us let me see because I think he went to the restroom hold on Austin Okay, he just got out the shower. He's he's coming. I don't know if it's something going on with YouTube or Yes, I'm single. Watch the sub count. I don't know. But he's Austin's about to come back out here. He literally just went um, and he took a shower. That was, that was taking him so long. Because he better go with me to the gym in the morning. Or I'm going to leave his ass. Oh, some music. Let me see what I got.
what kind of music y'all want to hear? Old school R&B? Yeah, that's what some people keep saying. They're having issues. I don't know. Maybe that, maybe R&B? Let me see. I don't know who, because when I'm warming up at the gym... See, I have some Al Green. I have all kinds, but I like Al Green, Maxwell, Babyface. Bobby Brown. <laughs> y'all like, which one y'all want to hear? So it says nobody subscribe to Austin's channel anymore. Do I have an OnlyFans? Really? No. Okay, let me check my subscription. Let me see. No, it says I'm subscribed and he has 97.3 thousand K. Okay, I'm not going to play no music. Okay. Okay, I'm not gonna play any music. He need to No, it still says um, he has 97 something thousand followers. I don't know. And it says you're back subscribed. I don't know. Maybe they maybe they just having some sort of issues or something. But it I mean I'm looking at it. Yeah, I'm looking at it, so I'm not sure why. Maybe it was just some sort of technical stuff, y'all. But he'll be out. He was taking a shower because, like I said, if he don't get up in the morning, I'm going to leave him. I'm going to leave him, and I'm going to the gym by myself. Tap out and tap. This is 135 now. Here he comes. It says YouTube is glitching all across. Give me one moment. Okay, because here, because they look at, so if it's going, this boy, yeah, he think I don't want to, my kids are so damn. Yeah, they are. Because 
because I want to clean. I cannot go to, uh, I do not go to bed. Cannot and do not go to bed with, that I clean my kitchen. Like, I literally can't get up. When I get out the bed in the morning, I have to make my bed. Like, I cannot leave my bed unmade. Like, I'm real. Picky about that. Very picky about that. Do I lift? Uh, I probably will. No, I can. I do like little light stuff. I like to stay soft looking. Take me on a safari. Well. <laughs> no, he went in there and took a shower. He's out now. He he just came to the door and said he'd be right back. He's putting his clothes on. Hey, hey, Todd. My hobbies, um, cooking, working out. Oh, I've been working out for. Very, I've always been like very athletic. I was a cheerleader, drill team, track. I've trained people before for years. <laughs> for his hinge date. I don't know if I was going on no dates. He is, I'm, look, he better come on because I want to go clean my kitchen. Or else I won't be able to sleep. Yeah, I want to go clean here. It's so nice out tonight, though. It's like a nice little breeze. Moms don't take people serious if they don't have a picture. No, I don't. Take me on a car date. It's muggy. It, here is a nice little. These damn mosquitoes about to start tearing me up. But it's it's a nice little breeze and I don't know. It's just peaceful. If I travel anywhere with Austin, it's definitely gonna have to be beaches. I love heat and beaches. He ain't depressed. He's not depressed. Um, he just know that he came here with stuff that he needs to take care of. He's only been here for a few days. He came here with stuff. I got Austin. But, um... He just knows there's a few things that he has to take care of while he's here. So that way, whenever... Um, no, I have not been to Africa. Oh, I love Miami. But yeah, he's... he's um, He just has a lot of stuff that he needs to take care of logistic-wise. And he expects me to be doing... Like when he left initially, I was left doing... Like getting doing all his stuff. That's why I blew up on his ass the other day. Yeah, I want to go to Africa for sure. But I was going to be fine. He just needs to sit down and take care of his stuff that he needs to take care of. And then when he's ready to get up out of here, just get up out of here. But he knows that I'm going to make sure that, that he has everything. Yeah, we need to go out. Don't worry about him. Well, I'm his mama. I don't. I I don't worry too much. But he um. 
I think it was just the anxiety of him coming back and you know yeah just a glass of wine yeah <laughs> uh, it was just the anxiety of him coming back and you know it's, it's, it's transition and when he left he just kind of left and left everything for me to do Oh yeah, I told him me and Major have our passports. We we finna Major on, Major's gonna travel, but that trip to Nicaragua kinda both had us like terrified. And Major's just not trying to hear the shit. He's not trying to hear it no more. He's like, nope. But I'll definitely, yeah, I'll go to Africa. I'll go to I'll go anywhere with Austin. But in Nicaragua, that was just scary because neither one of us speaks Spanish or me and Major, anyways. And so that was just too scary. Then getting at the airport and when we land there, it was just, yeah, it was very scary. Going, you know, our Airbnb was up in the mountains and it was just. It was a damn chimpanzee on top of the roof. Yeah, it was it was crazy. Would you be a passport sis? No, I'm j i am would only be Ayana Brooks. I don't believe in all that passport this and that. When I hit when I touch down, I'm Ayana Brooks. <laughs> What happened? Well, it was just scary because Austin wasn't there, and me and Major had left Dallas going to meet him in uh, Nicaragua, and he couldn't get in. And so we went to our Airbnb. Yeah, it would be a hell of an experience, and we couldn't. We so it was just scary because we don't speak the language. Just the whole thing was just fucking scary, and that I'd never want to go back there again, never. Yes, my last name is Brooks. Austin and Major have their dad's last name, Holman. Yeah, we going up in this, just imagine, just driving up in the mountain, up, 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 you don't know where to head. We're going to Airbnb, and there was bugs, and it was nothing like the pictures, and I, I paid like $224 a night for that. It was nothing like the pictures. It was supposed to be the pool was dirty, overlooking the like it was just a nightmare. I got ripped off the whole time I was there. Yeah, it was it was nothing like the pictures and the driver ripped me out. Like it was just a nightmare. And then like so we literally flew in Tuesday and we were back in Dallas on Thursday. That's how scared we were. But we ended up finding like a double tree Hilton hotel in a different part. And I wish we would have chose that from the beginning because it was half the price and much nicer and new. But it was just extremely scary. That was like, I just, no, I'm not, I'm not with that. Oh yeah, I, I would love to be on a beach somewhere I love my bikinis and beaches and pools no it sure wasn't it, but see Austin was going there to get a cigar line started or to meet with some people about a cigar line and he and so when he wasn't able to get in was I a 304 when I was younger what kind of fucking stupid ass shit is that to ask somebody who raised you who raised you? Who raised you to get on somebody's channel and ask their mother something like that? I'm from New Orleans originally. Like who raised, who, how, you know, I just, that shit just never ceased to amaze me to ask somebody that. 
Like, who the fuck raised your ass? That shit don't even make sense to even to even go there. Yeah, ask somebody mama that. Like, that's that's just like that's the most I don't get that. It's to me it's just never. I know my boys would never say no shit like that to somebody's mama, regardless. Thank you. And I look like a nightmare right now. I want Austin to bring his ass out of here so I can go and clean my kitchen. Like, people, that's just... That's just, you know, how you... I don't know. Anyway... It's okay, DT. I don't, I don't have time to worry about that. That's just... Okay, Angel. It's like, I don't know. People don't have anything else to do. Now, I, I see him go in my room. He's going to come out here, though. Yeah, it's like... Him <laughs> Floyd being him. <laughs> Yeah, I'm in Texas. Do I like boy toys? Ain't nothing I can do with that. There's nothing I can do with that. They don't they don't do nothing, boy toys. I'm just being honest. This boy done set his lovely ass down on my couch. I am. I just want to go clean my kitchen right quick. So that way I can get comfortable. He done went in there and took his shower and he chilling. I don't know if he going on all day. He putting on some socks. He might, I don't know. He might be going on a date. I don't know what this boy doing. Yeah, I don't know no boy toy. I don't know no more. Boy toys don't pay bills. That's just somebody for you to lay up with. That's a waste of time. If it ain't, if it's not no Barbados. I want to go. I have not. <laughs> Do I like his Jesus sandals? <laughs> I already told Austin he need to retire them motherfuckers. He got them over there in my damn uh, hallway. They looking crooked over to the side. Oh, yeah, he going somewhere. I also think his ass slick. Because he done put his socks on. He done put his jeans on. Yeah, he must be finna step out. Mm -hmm. You finna go somewhere? I was just putting on my pants. I'm just waiting on her to respond and tell me. She said she's going to meet me. So She's going to meet you where? I sent her, her a place and then uh, I'm just waiting on her to respond. Somewhere over here in this area? Yes. I haven't been in Jamaica. His outfit. Well, I can't. He don't have all he have on his socks right now, his jeans. <laughs> we trying, they say you're trying to get some action. Well, I knew he went randomly took his ass in there because the last couple of nights he just uh, went to sleep, straight to sleep. He done went in there and showered and put clothes on, brushing his teeth all over again and everything. Yeah, he can do whatever the hell he want to do. I just want to go clean my kitchen and so that I can get my life together. I want to lay down and watch a little bit of TV. It's his shirt. He don't have no shirt on yet. I like hip hop. Yep. 
Netflix and chill, that's way, way, way down the line. That's after we are in a relationship. Um, Netflix and chill, that's... Mm -mm. That's not for when you... That's not... you. Don't, if, you're, if you're saying a date... Mm -mm. Major, what's Major doing? Austin? Okay. He on the game. He on the video game. Major said, did nobody send him no cash yet? <laughs> Y'all had him doing push-ups. <laughs> they said, well, Ms. Brooks Austin is not going to the gym tomorrow morning. That's okay. I'm going to leave his ass. I'm going to go and get my workout in. I'm going to drink me a couple of bottles of water. And I'm going to go in here and find me something on TV after I clean his kitchen. Yep. I'm gonna find me something on TV and I'm gonna get up. And I'm gonna leave his ass sleep right here. If he sleep, I ain't gonna wake him up, I'm gonna leave him sleep. By the time he come back, I'll be back home looking at his ass crazy like Yep. Yeah, major like shit, where's my cash at? Thank you. I can't. You say you love my hair. Thank you. I, I'm trying to read your name. And this looks terrible. I just did a roller set, but honestly, my hair is just naturally curly, and I normally just throw it out. Yeah, Major. That's my baby, too. He, he and Austin work my nerves sometimes. They're my babies. Awesome. Did you get major twenty dollars for the push ups? Somebody said Austin gave major a twenty for the push up. He said didn't nobody send him twenty dollars. If anybody wanna give him twenty dollars, you can send it to my cash app and I can send it to him. He's linked to my account. Yeah, I have Venmo. What's my favorite decade of life? Um, my Venmo. Hold on, let me see. I have all of them. PayPal, Venmo, um, Chime, Cash App. Zell. <laughs> um. hey, also, can they scan my bin bin mark from here? No. Ouch. Oh. Bugs. I can't. That's my bin. I don't know if I can see it. Can they scan that like that? I guess it's just basically my first name with a dash in the middle and then Brooks. Just like my cash app. My cash app is just my first name. All right. Thank you, Ozzy. Okay, yeah, that's my Venmo. <laughs> Somebody say you get more donations than Floyd. <laughs> Y'all keep calling people simps because they sending that. Here, I'ma let y'all I'ma let y'all have Austin. I gotta go in here and clean my kitchen right quick. It was nice chatting with y'all.
Let me go clean my kitchen right quick. I may tell y'all good night when I get done. Austin might be gone on a date. Y'all know I'm still live with 264 viewers now instead of 17, as it said for an hour. I just got out the shower because I uh, I'm supposed to have a date here in a minute. 30 minutes. But she's like, you don't have a U.S. phone number? And I'm like, I don't. I haven't been in the U.S. in almost two years. And then he said, you support Nelson's mom, but not me. <laughs> but, <laughs> but then she's like, well, what's your Instagram? So I sent her my Instagram, and she ain't hit me back yet. That was only five minutes ago, though. So, But we need, it. We need some sort of answer because... By 9.45, I had to say fuck it because I can't just wait around. But it would be no surprise. He said, don't pull out an African shirt. I'm going to wear the same shirt that I wore the other day, I think. But my mom just washed it. So I wear the same shirt I wore the other day. A button up. She just said awesome. No, not with the five. I think, and it's 9.30. I told her I was going to meet her at nine, but I think she knows. I think she knew by eight o'clock when I didn't message her back. Like, it was kind of like, I am. I had to see that Instagram. What's the temperature? It's, uh, yeah, I've been all over Kenya. I've been to Mombasa, Nairobi, and Nakuru. But we tried the the leaves. I forgot the name of those leaves, but they make a drink out of it too. It's like the damn near cocaine. It's like none never enough for American women. We'll see. I mean, I know exactly what you mean. Mombasa versus Salvador beaches. Salvador all day, bro. Mombasa literally was just sand and two camels walking down the beach for miles. That's all you see, and it's cool if you're 50 years old. And you just want to sit on the beach and just listen to the water. Because that's all you're going to hear is the water. But Salvador, if you're somebody like me and you like to go to the beach to socialize, Salvador is the damn spot. Like, you go to Salvador, you sit on the beach, and it's 300 people at one beach. It's 300 people at the other beach. And it's 300 people at the other beach, especially on the weekends. But every single day, it's going to be about 100 to 150 people. Monday, it could be, and the thing is, they, they're they there, they start getting there at like 10 a.m. 10 a.m., yeah, it's only two camels on the beach. That that uh, photo I took of me on the uh, beach with the camel, that was in Mombasa. That was all I could really do. People were, Kenyans were like, oh, it's so lit, you gotta go to Mombasa, you gotta go. So, if I'm in Nairobi and it's so lit, seven days a week, I'm thinking, okay, if I go to Mombasa, if the people from this city are hyping it up like that, like I, that you can't leave without going to Mombasa, they say you can't leave without going. So I went there on a Wednesday, and I'm like, okay, Wednesday is the day before Thursday, so it should be light or at least good. That shit was dead. It was dead, and I was like, um, I'll give it till tomorrow, maybe this is a Thursday to Sunday city. Thursday came around and I was like, yeah, this shit is still. So Thursday night I was gone. I went back to Nairobi and I had the time of my life that Thursday night. And I went back to Nairobi on a Thursday and it felt like a damn Saturday. Like every day in Nairobi, except for Monday and Tuesday, feel like Saturdays. But Mondays and Tuesdays feel like Fridays. So people are saying go on the weekend, which that's cool. Would never live there. I don't want to live in a weekend spot. Like, uh, it depends, right? It depends on what season I'm in. If I'm in a season where I want to meet a bunch of women and kick it, Nairobi is where I want to live. The other one, you can't video message through this app. I do have WhatsApp. Oh, she wants a video message. I'm going to go lay in my mom's bed on my back. Like this. 
Here we go. Kenya versus Argentina. Kenya. Uh, but I heard, what is it, Mar de Plata? Is like a very hidden gem in Argentina. So, actually, I think Jake, no, 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 no. Because when we when I get back to Paraguay, it'll be freezing in Argentina around May 15th, 16th. That's when my birthday is the 16th. Around that time, it'll be freezing. I don't want to go nowhere where it's freezing, man. We Floyd and I already tried that. And uh, and uh, Poland and Romania, the women aren't out. It's cold as fuck. People aren't out in general. Even though they're used to cold in Europe, they still weren't out like that. And they were telling me like, "Yeah, you should have came during the summertime." But I'm thinking like these people used to cold. You know they they're not. They're gonna be outside still. I was wrong about that. They were not outside. And in Poland, man, it was cold. And Poland was beautiful. Like, it was nice. You could tell during the summertime it would be even nicer. But it was beautiful, but it's too cold to enjoy. Like, you only wanted to be outside a few minutes. Now, the women in Poland and Romania were very friendly. Even though we were black and it was, like, all white, there was no real hostility, at least from the women. Sometimes with the men, you could kind of see that. I suppose it's not really, but... wasn't nothing really to worry about it was like that uh, it was like that in uh, put it like this Romania and Poland definitely got to go back it was very nice Belarus is nice too, but I can't go to Belarus or Ukraine or Russia with all that stuff going on right now. Would I love to go to those places? Absolutely. But, and some people are like, oh, it's propaganda, it's not true. But man, that's a hell of a risk to take. Because if it is true about them being hostile towards us over there, you don't want to be caught up in no shit like that. Like, what if they're like, oh, we're going to keep you in here until the war is over with? Let's say they win the war. Then God knows when you're getting out of jail. But the chances of Russia losing the war is, like, not that high, if you ask me. I have a homeboy that went to Russia, uh, uh, English, a uh, black English, or I guess an English black. He went to Russia, that was back in August, during the war, and he said it was no real problem. And if you think about it, an English person going to Russia is not going to be that different from an American. Like, they're not going to look at them differently because that's, they're both NATO. They're both supporting Ukraine. So they're not going to be like, oh, he's English. We're going to no, know you would get the same treatment as an American. American chicks take too long to respond. But the women in Belarus, A+. Plus. I saw them. A+. Plus. Yeah, man, we're waiting. We're just waiting because the date's supposed to be 20 minutes from now. That's why I went and took a shower.
Man, I remember when I went to Vietnam and I saw how Agent Orange messed those people up over there. It looks like that. I still don't know where I'm going to be on my birthday. I'm thinking... Yeah, I'm still thinking turkey. Some people are like, don't go to turkey. If not turkey, Greece, but it's cheaper. And Turkey probably would be the better place to, boy, actually it might be smarter to fly to Greece because after that go to Turkey. And then from Turkey, you could pretty much fly anywhere in the world. I don't think Greece is a place where you could just go. Like, I think even if you wanted to go from Greece to Brazil, you probably would still end up going to Turkey first. I often get, often get, yeah, well, in America, that's the thing, right? When you're going on dates in America, you will be kind of deciding if the date is really going to happen up until the last five minutes. Sam Mendel said $20 for Keep Inspiring, young man. Thank you very much for the super chat. I will keep inspiring. I'm going to keep trying, even though I'm, I've been complaining because it's not ideal. I'm going to keep trying because I'm here. Fuck it. He said there is Greece and Turkey. But yeah, I mean, yeah, in America, bro, you, it'll be up until, like, if your date is at 11 p.m., you'll be questioning if you're still going to, on a date at 10.55. Like, you'll be hitting them up like, hey, are we still on? Like, what, what's up? And this is if you book. This And this is, I've lived here before, so, well, I'm from here, so. I've booked four and five dates at once. And all of them, I'm like, uh, okay, so what? I'm like, there's no way all these motherfuckers are playing the same game. Uh, she sent me. She sent me a, uh, so what she did was she Googled my stuff. She says, I said, are you ready? She says, I am, but oh no, it's just this random nonsense. It's just this random nonsense. I'm American, not Brazilian, so I wouldn't know. Wouldn't know what? I mean, the thing is, it doesn't, it's not really a big deal, right? Because we were just banking on, like, she's not going to show up. We were banking on that before I got to the States. So it's kind of like, but chicks always look me up. So it's not a, it's not a big deal. But, uh, but I need to know something now. Cause if not, I'm gonna finish this re the rest of this cigar. What is she's watching right now? No big deal either. Watch who you speak with. Niggas will trace somebody's life and speak on it. I cover my tracks and duck losers with no pads. What are you referring to? He said, plus mama close the light in the back. I mean, I'm not worried about that. I've, I have a lot of, uh, well, not a lot, but I have some American home girls and. Okay, I'm going to find me a movie. I'm tired. I'm Probably gonna leave. If you leave, just come. I ain't gonna go to sleep, but if you leave, let me know, okay? All right. All right, love you. Me too. Uh, but you gotta think about how far. I mean, I've, I don't know. It's not really a big deal. I've already had a lot of American. Like, there's American women that follow me that still flirt with me. So if, if not, if she wants to follow a uh, article so be it most chicks are agents that's fine I need some damn water though 
But you gotta remember, uh, well, no, I've had, it's, he said once they start Googling, it's over. The thing is, I've had plenty of chicks that have Googled me. Like, uh, from the States, I told you guys when I go on dates, I tell every chick this, like, hey, look, you know this happened. Because I don't want them to think, like, oh, like, he's trying to hide something. So I tell them first date. And if they don't like it, fuck them. He says, you're going to have the phone out of here. No, whenever I get ready to leave, I'm going to turn this off. People will use a story you letting people know of and go tell it like it was them. I don't speak too much outside because it can ruin. Can you be specific on what you talk about? Like, like be specific on what make you say that. But my thing is, if she wants to cancel, that's just fine. Uh, but like I said, but since she just responded, I'll give it till 9.55 and then I'll just say, fuck it. Oh, well, she's responding now. But uh, it is what it is. Who cares? It's part of the game. It's part of being an influencer. I could be making videos about cooking and that could, well, in America, probably nowhere else, but in America, that would be a disqualification for some. That's such an awkward thing to mention first date. That's because you ain't got no charisma like me. Because it's only awkward if somebody, well, really ain't shit awkward to me. But it's only awkward if somebody finds out about it and then they're like, what's this? For you, that'd be awkward. I wouldn't give a damn. But for me, I tell him. I mean, honestly, the, the CNN was an accomplishment for me. I made a lot of money. She's texting. Oh, my God. What a loser. Okay, she's texting me. The public ministry of Bahia, like, wouldn't know the true intent of your mission. I think we all have our own intentions then because of the way the culture is, things can be oversensitized. That's why I wouldn't, that's why I say I wouldn't know because people complain every day. Okay, I don't know what that's supposed to mean, but. So at this point, <laughs> we'll just be like, so are you, are you going or not? Like, the fact that an American is believing a Brazilian article is nuts. Like, I have Brazilians that tell me, you can come back to Brazil. Like, this is about their country and they don't give a fuck. Oh, that's Mariah again. I'm in Dallas now. Most of them know if you give them time, you give them your IG faster because it's only it's only worse. That's the price. Uh, mm -hmm. Did somebody argue? No. Oh, no. I was telling you, I left the chicken out for later and some rice just in case you're hungry later. I'll, I'll leave it on stove. Okay, thank you. You're Women will hold that against you and it'll backfire telling them that. Yeah, you don't know what you're talking about, dude. I've told every every single woman that I've slept with or I've even spoken to or went on a date with knows that I was on the Brazilian news. Like I tell them that. And we can I can text any like that's not let me just say this. You're on the outside looking in and you don't know what you're talking about. And yeah. But I gotta start ignoring your ass because you like Max said, you just been talking bullshit all day. So, uh, intent of going out with you. Like, I don't even know what to say. Really, the, the, the proper thing to do, piss them off and watch them flip. What are they going to do? Tell the Brazilian police to, come to, uh, to extradite me for calling Brazilian women easy? Is that even a extra? 
would they pay for the flight and for the police force to come get me, transfer me from another country for that? He said, Loki, I knew that would happen. Uh, I mean, it, it's a good, here's how I look at it. It's a good filter, right? Uh, I was about to make an analogy, but that's not a good analogy. It's a good filter, right? That's why I give chicks my Instagram. I've said this to you guys. I give chicks my Instagram not because, uh, not only because, like, oh, I'm going to leverage my status, right? And the, the places I've been to, my Instagram looks good or whatever. It's a filter. If they don't like what they see, I won't hear from them again. Versus being in this scenario where you set up a date. And, uh, cause here's my thing. If what she should, well, she don't have to look at it no type of way, but the way how she should look at it is this dude gave me his Instagram. This dude most likely knows, which I do know, knows that women will Google search you, especially if they find out you're an internet influencer. Like, I know women Google. That's why I give it to them. So if they're stupid, they'll be offended by uh, a news article. Save my, I, I dodge a bullet. We Google everyone in America. Yeah, I just said that. Women Google people everywhere. Like, I've had Brazilian women Google me uh, but the thing is, it's a filter. It's a, it's a, it's a good filter. And he said they do that on Facebook. Leah, if you, if you DM a chick, my thing is this, man. I give chicks my Instagram so they know what type of dude I am. I'm going around the world, uh, meeting different women, trying different cultures out. And I put it in the public. If you don't like it, don't fuck with me. If you don't like it, don't fuck with me. Apparently, then a lot of chicks were like, oh, well, I still like him, so I'm going to go see who he is. If not... But it's not... Here's the thing, it's no big deal, right? Because we're in America. Like we we expect some bullshit anyway. Like this is no different than showing up at Foot Locker at 959, knowing that they close at 10, and then they say, Oh, we can't sell you a pair of shoes. Like we went into that situation knowing that. The haters have videos against me. I mean, here's the thing. Before, before, um, whenever I called Africans, when I said that the, the women begged for $60, people did videos about that. And guess what? If an African chick, and I did that, and uh, all the chicks that I, all none of the chicks that I actually knew personally in Kenya, like they sent me that and they just laughed because I'm telling the fucking truth. And who actually gives a fuck? She must have saw the video with you and Floyd. Now, maybe that would have did. She saw that red backpack Floyd be wearing and she said, uh-uh. Put a one in the chat if you think I should just cancel. Yeah, they made videos about me calling African scammers when that that shit is like decade. That's a decades old stereotype. And really, I didn't even call them scammers. I just said I love it, which I do. I still got on my Kenya bracelet, but I said I had to take a break from that shit.
has the Peruvian woman responded again? No. Let me see if she messaged me back. Y'all think, because I, I asked her what, because she said I don't know what the intent is. I guess she think I'm going to kidnap her or some shit. I don't know. And I hope she doesn't think that because if I kidnap anybody, I'm going to be, they gonna, they're going to, I'm going to be arrested in two hours. I'm not going to be that damn hard to find. No, the place with me that doesn't close until way after midnight. But yeah, after that 10 minutes, like you said, uh, Angel, I'm going to smoke this cigar. Oh, I'm supposed to be checking on girl. Yeah, the, the Kenyan people actually agreed when I said what I said. Like, there was some people that's always going to be offended. But only immature people be offended. Oh, she didn't respond because I asked her what problems. She said I could have problems, and I said what problems, and she never responded to that. Bro, just go. Don't overthink it. I ain't gonna go up there to meet. I ain't gonna go play uh, pool by myself. We ain't gonna go meet by. I, if she don't want to go, I'm gonna uh, finish smoking the cigar. The same way I visited those cities, states, and other countries. What do you mean? Kev is such a damn simp telling me to go on a date with a chick that ain't even uh confirmed patience you're chilling at the crib anyway no the thing is this we agreed to go on a date at 10 it's 9 58 so it's like i we need i need to know something because really ideally you should be arriving by 10 or leaving by 10 stop blocking myself I usually smoke two cigars a day. Now that I'm in Texas, I smoke two. Yeah, he said if she can't confirm, it's a waste of time. That's my thing, yeah. if, Because the thing is, here's here's probably why I should cancel, right? Because if this is that big of an issue where she's like, oh, I'm ready to go, but I don't know. That means when we get there, she's going to have one eyebrow raised like I'm a rapist. And it's going to be a, a debate. Khalil, why are you saying stop? What's her excuse? What energy am I putting out there? It ain't happening. She being inconsiderate. She should be contacting you, letting you know what's going on. Just cancel it. Yeah, we should do that. And here's my thing. If uh, I'm going to keep smoking, and if she does, be like, oh, let's meet. I'll just have to show up with cigar cologne. Because the only reason I didn't finish this cigar was because I was like, oh, I'm a, I don't want to smell like smoke when I get there. Let me go freshen up. But 
If we not meeting, fuck it. Yeah, she's like 35 too. But I told, bro, I've told you guys. In America, that's expected. Like, we know this. The flake is like expected. My thing is this, don't wait until 15 minutes before we're supposed to meet. That's my issue. If it was two hours before, cool. 15 minutes, that's disrespectful. But I'm not worried about an article. Because you know how many chicks I've gotten off Instagram? You don't think those chicks looked at my Instagram before that? Look at the uh, Colombian chick that's in Peru. I put up a video saying that her country was not friendly to American tourists. She was very offended. Still went on a second date. She still got on my bracelets right now. These women don't be tripping on that. So like the title of the show says, that's the update to dating in Dallas. Flaked on 15 minutes before the date. Ain't that a bitch? She just happy you have an American passport. That don't do nothing for her. She still, even if I got an American passport, she still need a visa to go to the United States. Like, me having an American passport don't mean nothing to that Columbia. Like, it really doesn't. There's pre plenty of rich other South American guys she could go for. Like, the Brazilians travel around the same way we do. I've met Brazilian men in Chile, Paraguay, Uruguay, Argentina. I've met them in Bolivia. I've met Brazilian men in Colombia. I didn't meet any in Peru, but maybe I just didn't know. But, yeah, no, she, there's other options. Like, that's not. <laughs> Mariah said he doesn't have to wait, but like he said in Dallas, that's how people move. Shorty could, honestly could be feeling him. And that's the, okay, so here's another thing. When I lived here before, uh, I had women that would pull this stunt cancel or no call no show right before the date and then they would hit me up at the next day or two days later flirting like nothing happened and i'm like bitch don't call me like you just literally uh left me in the dark let me unmatch with her on hands before she report my account though So she just texts back, pool, yes, pool. I'm gonna ask her, so like, are you okay? Like, like, are you okay? Like, does it bother you? Do you not want to meet? Brianna, you give horrible advice. He said they'll cancel, then go do their thing, then hit you up two, three weeks later. Nah, bro, don't say that. She might say never mind. I'll just leave her on red then.
He said go on a date, Austin, is research. It is. I mean, that is a good way to look at it. It is research, but I mean, God damn. He said, let it ride, just see what happens. So what y'all think I should I should go? Patrick Brown said, say pool in conversation real quick. You got to FaceTime her. She want to see my FaceTime. She can get on this live stream and see that I'm talking in real time. He said, exactly. This timing is ridiculous. Yeah. And that's my thing. Uh, people send me my articles like I didn't know that they exist. Yeah, she takes last minute. Yeah, I'm going to smoke this cigar. Fuck it. Because next thing you know, if I do say, okay, I'll go. I'd probably be sitting out at the pool alley for 20 minutes like, okay, are you nearby? No text. That's probably what's more likely to happen. Happy for you and your mom. I hope all is well. Thank you, Todd, for the $5 super chat. Yeah, I'm going to respond to your uh, text. Hope you enjoy Mexico. I haven't got back with you yet, sir. My smile in a profile picture on my uh, hinge. <laughs> he said, I'd rather be on my couch and let a bitch disrespect me. Yeah, it's not that respectable. Well, no, in my profile picture on Hinge, no, I'm not smiling. But I do know if you have too many smiling photos, they'll say you seem a little too wholesome. Uh, You may have not heard of that, but it is a real thing. If you have, because you, you have to have a, a combination of smiling photos and straight face or smirk photos. Like, you got to give the smiley look, the bad boy look, the calm look. It's, it's, especially when it comes to America. Now, in South America, I'm telling you, as long as you don't smile like a goofball, you'll be fine.
how many photos it take to have a good Instagram? You, I would say you le need at least ten for your shit to be like solid. At least. Yeah, it hasn't been scientifically proven, but uh, honestly, I was smashing chicks off of date naps with all my photos with smiles. Like I said, it, it depends on how you smile. Like if you smiling, showing both rows of your teeth in every photo, it's not really a good look. Yeah, uh, John, go ahead, ask me a question. But the reason I'm not too surprised because people have sent me my article before. She just texts me, okay, I'll Uber out. What do y'all think? Let's do a poll. I just put a poll in the chat. Nah, I didn't show y'all her yet. thing is she's not young she's like no she's not 35 she's 28 still older like that's not that's not young anymore like that's damn near 30 Let's see what the poll says. 59% says yes. Right says, oh, that's even worse. She has grown. Am I doubting she won't show up? Only because of what she just did. Am I really blocking myself though? Cause she gave me a reason. Cause I wasn't, I went and took a shower, cut my neck, the hair, to, cause my beard was growing. I cut this up so I would look nice and good. Came out here. And then she put some doubt in my mind. It's only right, it's only, it's only uh, right for me to doubt it. She's curious about you now. That's a fucked up way of dating. Here's what I'll do. 
I'll stay live. I could I could go, right? And I'll stay live until I get there. She said they would meet at 10 p.m. She playing. Yeah, because it's nothing wrong with being late. Because in Columbia, if you set a date for 8 o'clock, they not going to get there until 9.30. So we ain't tripping on that. It's just the fact that she put the doubt in my mind 15 minutes before we agreed to meet. Her conversation wasn't dry though. Like she had hella interest when she was talking she was giving me all these compliments and you look so fit and all this stuff. But from what I see in the comments, even the lady's saying that she's playing. Is she really pretty? I give her like a seven and a half. So I left her on red when she said she would take an Uber. Now she texts me again. Let's see what she say. I mean, the place is only like five, ten minutes driving from where I stay, so I wouldn't be out of too much. Like, I probably if it if it's a flake, in total, I'm out of maximum twenty minutes. She did say she had to work in the morning. She said 10.45 is my estimated time of arrival. Would I be too late? I'm about to ask her, do you have to work in the morning? Because if she says, oh, I got to work in the morning, then I'm not going to go anyway. Because I don't want to be on a date where I feel like, okay, we got one hour. Let's do this real quick. I ain't trying to do that. I need somebody I got all night with. He said he don't want to go. Well, we are in America. I'm not too big on going anyway. She said 1045. That's 25 minutes from now. I'm not wasting no time. Even if I left now, I would still get there before her. The place doesn't close until 2 a.m. So we got we got plenty of time to kick it and talk. But I just text her. And, like, I, I responded to her within 30 seconds of her responding to me. She should have texted back immediately. That's a, that's another American game, I'm telling you. The whole, like she's following alpha male strategies and advice. Uh, wait three to five minutes in between texts. That's what alpha male, that, people really do that shit here. Brianna said, y'all give up too easy. So I don't get online on date naps. Is it a hookup first night, the expectation? Well, she asked me, because I told her like, oh yeah, I'm about to leave in like two weeks. And uh, she was like, well, what's your intent since you leave? And I said, well, I just want to uh, have a good time and vibe. But I think my profile, because in my, in my dating profile, it seems like I'm giving off this energy that I want to fuck. Like with the, the prompts that I have. Like they're all prompts to get me. Like it, it sounds like I'm trying to get you back to the house. So that's why I said, well, my profile seems pretty intentional. Put two and two together. I'm only here for two weeks. And look at my profile. He said, you should have said just smash. She says she does have to work in the morning. 
So I'm about to say, so this will be Rush. I'm going to make it sound sweet. I said, so this would be rushed. I want enough time with you. No, I'm going to say together. He said America is a weekend country, yeah. I told you, next time I come back here, three to four days maximum. Because otherwise, if I, if I stuck to the three to four day maximum rule, I would already be back in Paraguay right now. She said, what's enough for context? He said all this texting back and forth. I just want to get no. Well, the thing is, I get on the phone with chicks, but not when they make me feel like this. Like I wouldn't call a chick that's put me in this situation. sending me another text right now though I think that's the end of that cigar it don't seem Kev you are just a simp bro I'm just waiting. She must be texting me a paragraph. And if it is a paragraph, it's, it's a, that might mean it's some bullshit. And then she stopped. Research. This is all research. Get your passport. More proof that y'all need to date somewhere else. Cause I'm telling you, when I went out with the Colombian in Peru, there was the, there was no confusion. She even the Colombian in Peru even told me, "I'm actually ready early. Let's meet now because if I go home, uh, I'm not coming back out." So she's saying, "If you really want to see me, let's meet now." And when she got there, she was on top of her damn game. So I guess she's not going to send the text. I'm just going to be bold. Fuck it. I'm going to say I won all night. Fuck it. Can't lose shit at this point. She responded, let's see. <laughs> she said, no, don't say that. Well, I mean, you got to look at it from my view. She pulling up news articles with 26 minutes. Oh, she said, well, that's a lot of time considering if you don't know if you vibe well with the person. She about to send another text. That's the whole fucking point of the date, though.
and places don't stay open all night, so there's that. He said you talking yourself out of this. He said, she, Brianna said, say, give me a couple hours. That's what I, uh, I, I really want to get to know you. That's what I said when we first agreed to the date. I said, let's vibe. Let's uh, have a good time and see the vibe. I already said that. That's been understood. So I just tell her if we vibrate, I'm trying to go back to the house. If she say no, I'm gonna I'm gonna make this cigar smoke the rest and I'm gonna finish this motherfucker. Floyd would have went just being real. Well, that's good. I know Floyd probably would have went. Y'all basically got him begging her. I mean, it's all research, right? Because this will be an argument that I will use on why. Because, again, what did I say when I was in Brazil? Clarity. We want to meet. And the thing about Brazilian women, they were on time. She would have been in, in Brazil. If we agreed at 10... A Brazilian chick would have been contacting me at 955 saying I'm about to pull up. But really I'm not begging. Cause at this point, I'm kinda just saying fuck this vibe. Look, I'm trying to fuck at this point. Yeah, she's black. You got to do your time on the date before shagging. I mean, the thing is, if like like uh, Judi Judicial was saying, if she says like, "Oh, I'm not cool with that," she just sent me another. If she says, "Oh, I'm not cool with that." We was already at the conclusion that she was gonna flake anyway, so what are we what are we losing? She said, Yes, I'd be opposed first time connecting one and two, you aren't even sticking around the area. If you want something more fun and temporary, I believe she's out there. Delete. He said blocked. Well, the thing is, I'm not going to block her because some chicks will see, oh, he left me on red. And then they'll come back and be like, okay, well, we, we could do it. We could do it. Now, if she, I don't give a damn if she does it or not. But she was about to waste her time. Yeah, I had already felt that. I, I had a, we, we had already felt that. Even the women in the comments were saying, like, she's playing games. But we knew that she probably wasn't going to fuck because she said, uh, uh, what is your intent for this date? Chicks that's trying to give you some pussy don't ask that. Like every chick that I've smashed, they never ask, so what are we, what, what is this date about? Like they don't ask that. Girls that, that say, oh, I'm looking for a husband. They ask that type of question. 
chicks that say that say that. You moving too fast in the Latin America vibes. I don't know about that. I don't know because we the the same dudes dudes in the United States the experts are also saying this. It's easier than ever to get pussy in the United States. They're all whores anyway. So if they're whores anyway, why can't we say that? Also, them forgot how America game go. USA is different. Exactly. That's why I'm only in this motherfucker for three weeks. It's an unwritten rule if you pull from a date nap, it's down to fuck. Yeah. Because here's the reason why you don't take girls on date nap serious. While you're on another, while you're on the date with her, while you're out with her, she has other dudes. She has other dudes matching and liking her profile. This is why you're buying her drinks. She has other dudes matching and liking her. So, whenever you go out, whenever the next day comes, she'll be on another date. So they know they know what's up when they're on a date nap. Like it's a fucking dating app. Like people know that. Chicks know that dudes that are and my profile even and here's why I don't give a fuck. My profile says shit in it that is in, that that is giving clues that I wanna fuck. My profile says short term. There's no guesses. Nor was she even like an eight. She wasn't like an eight or a nine either. Like she was like a seven and a half. Seven, seven and a half. So I'm going to be more direct. Like, okay, because she's not even bad enough for me to be. Because now if the Colombian chick was, she would have never did that. If she would have put some doubt in my mind, I still wouldn't have went. But I would have been like, she's pretty enough. Like, let me let me just see if I can kind of persuade her. To do what I want. But if you're not bad enough. I'm not going to take the risk of me taking a shower. Getting dressed. You know I'm not going to do all that. You know. I sent you my Instagram. My Instagram has women feeding me. I have a picture of me in a club. Holding three women. I have a picture of me hugging multiple women where it looks like you know for a fact we fucked. There's no... That when it comes to Austin Holloman, there's no confusion. The only chicks that don't get what type of dude I am are stupid motherfuckers or women that just pretend like they don't know. Daily says she doesn't even have a car. That That is well. Smokey the Bear says she probably too slow to pick up on the hints. We in America, so that may be a good possibility. Like, it, it is very possible that the hints were clear, but they just won't pick up on them. You give up too quick. Welcome back to America. No, I would just... Uh, yeah, he said no car, she a five. And here's the thing. We're in the United States. No car. Like, in Colombia, okay. But in the land of opportunity? No car. Yeah, I will say this. At least she was going to pay for her own Uber. We got another message on hands. Let's see. 
Oh, that's a match. Never mind. She goes to UNT too. <laughs> this other chick, I'm I, I threw. Look, I'm very, very intentional with dating apps because I don't want to go on dates and it be some confusion on what the hell I'm trying to do. She commented on something that was on my profile and then she was like, oh, that's a bit concerning. LOL, oh my God, that's a bit concerning. I'm doing well, how are you? I was like, oh, why is that concerning? You look muscular. That's That would be sad if you were physical, physically active but you aren't athletic. And I was like, oh, you don't think I have enough energy for you. Hint. Hint. She said, energy in what way? I said, energy to handle you. Then she said, um, I think you are well suited to handle me. So I was like, oh, she gets it. So I was like, do you want me to handle you? She said, it depends on what type of handling are you talking about? So I said, do you like massages? That's another hint. Because why? In order for me to give you a massage, well, we gonna do a massage at the bar? No, I'm trying to get to that house. If you're getting any kind of resistance from her, her attraction level is low. Exactly. Women that are interested make it easy. Women that are in, if they see you out in public in the grocery store and you're by the apples and she's by the spaghetti, she's going to find her way to the fucking apples to make it easier for you to approach her. If, um, whenever y'all go on a date, a chick that's really interested is not going to sit across from you. She's going to sit next to you because she wants to make it easier for you to touch her when y'all start vibing. She's not going to just probably sit down and just start touching all up on you. But when them drinks start kicking in, she wanted to be easier for you to start rubbing on her lap. I've done this too many times. Listen to Brianna with this bullshit. Too sexual. Even if we want sex, we don't want you to talk about it beforehand. I never said sex. I said a massage. That's not sex. Now you better believe when that massage get done, some stripping gonna get done at the same time. Feminine women don't make it easy. Bullshit. I can tell you're a fucking virgin, Kev. SK Simmons sent a $10 super chase. I took a chick on a, a nice dinner date once. She tells me after that if she wanted to give me the cat, she wouldn't require me to take her out. And she never gave it to me either. It's that bad. Yeah, exactly. Especially in America. Like, let me tell you, there was one cougar I smashed over here in Plano like two years ago, three years ago. We went on a date. We had, And here's another thing. Chicks that want to fuck have one drink. Not always, but it's very common for them to have one drink. We had one drink, and I she get she looked at me and she had a twinkle in her eye. So I kissed her. And then when I kissed her, she said, Are you gonna go back to the house with me? And I followed her home. Easy. School him, Brandon. What are you talking about? Shout out for not simping and being blue pill with her. Thank you, Hooters, for the $2 super chat. Yeah, no, we don't do that bullshit. She sent me a... Uh, she, she... She sent me... I guess she watching my live. Let me see. I don't know why she texted me a second time. But, uh, 
you know when they want to get down, they are more anxious than you are. It's very clear. Yeah, there's uh, there's certain things that I've just learned over the years that I well really didn't take that long to learn, but I pick up on it quick. No, she, the thing is, she can watch my love. That was expected. I sent her my Instagram. You don't think that she went, oh, he's a YouTuber. Let me see what his content is about. Oh, he's live right now? You don't think she gonna click on the live video? I knew that. I just don't give a fuck. I, I don't, well, most of my loyal subscribers know I don't give a fuck. But I guess she was offended because I said she didn't have a car. <laughs> Will it hinder my research? This is research. This is research. Research that your ass should still get your passport. Put a one in the chat if I should go get a cigar. Because I'm already, I got my jeans on and my socks. I might as well go get a, uh, another cigar. I just think, I think y'all know that, I think y'all know that I don't give a fuck. I don't. I didn't even want to come back to this motherfucker. This was only because I need to get my birth certificate. In this uh, scenario, people are saying one, okay? I'll take y'all with me. This scenario that you guys are describing, uh, or that you guys are seeing, is a scenario that would have been replicated in every city I went to in the United States. There's dudes that have the same scenario like what just happened so we would have had the same issue bro and here's the thing we don't have to fuck i mean now two dates is enough but But, uh, like I said, what's up? Like I said, in South America, my intent is to have a good time. As said, not me. Two dates is enough as well. That's true. No, I don't do three dates. And it depends on what country I'm in to do two dates. Like, if I'm in Kenya, the culture that's in Kenya, if you don't do nothing first date, you probably not do nothing the fourth date either.
But yeah, man. Back in Dallas. But we knew, um, we already knew the date wasn't going to happen whenever she sent me that article. Like, really, I could have stopped responding there because dudes was telling me stop responding. A chick that's interested is going to be more like, oh, I don't know. A chick that's interested was still, like, they, they wouldn't bring that up. This is a good picture. Oh, yeah. Thanks, Austin. I didn't know about that. I've been exploring the USA and it's all trash. Yeah, we got passport bros from all over the United States. <laughs> Ma, where uh, where the keys at? Where the keys? I'm run up the street real quick. Come right back. I don't. I don't know. I don't have Actually, I'm going to put on what I had on earlier. Look, man, I was about to put on a whole new outfit and get all ready. Just to not do shit. I think I'm done. I mean, I might try one more time while I'm out here. No, I'm going to keep trying. It's not surprising. Go to an all Latino spot on a Tuesday. Yeah, that's, it's not even, I'm not even tripping, like, it's, that shit was expected. What Latino spots are open on Tuesday in Dallas? Long Beach, Griffey, let me see. That's not here.
She said, you ain't been back in a minute. That was night life is dead. I couldn't believe that. Big time. So again, this goes back to if you find a chick, you cold approach, and you have to smash on the spot. Otherwise, you can hang it up. And another way how you know the date was not even gonna be, like it was gonna be a waste of time, cause she just said, you're not even sticking around in town for a long time. So it was just, she was just going just to go. Just, she just wanted free entertainment. No, we're not growing dreads. Thank you, uh, Judicial. I think so, too. When I started growing my hair up, uh, it seemed like more women started to become attracted than when I had it short. Not that I looked immature with short hair, just I think it looks better like this.
Yeah, dudes were saying, go anyway, go anyway. Bro, I knew that shit was about to be some bullshit. From the, the minute I got that interview, that uh, article, I knew the shit was going nowhere. I'm like, yep. Only times, it because any chick that has sent me that interview, they've always been like, oh, I'm not interested anymore. And then she started getting deeper into, well, what's your intent? What's your intent? I guess, like I said, I guess she thought my intent was to kidnap her or some shit. I don't know. These date, I'm telling you, these date naps in the States, shit is done. That's why I didn't get how you could get a, I can see from coming that close to one. Eventually, you would find a chick that would go on a date with you with the date nap. But would I tell you, would I recommend a dating app in the United States after, you know, taking a shower, uh, taking a shower is mandatory anyway. Uh, but, you know, for me, it's good, right? Because it's all research at the end of the day it's all research like it's all just uh hold on i forgot my gun uh it's all just to see is it still that bad so what you guys just seen was uh What I what this is what I used to go through on a daily basis. Like this is what used to happen every single day. Uh even in dating apps were working for me back then. So this would be when I would meet a chick on the street and I'm like, hey, uh, you know, let's meet later. Okay, you free? I'm free too. Yeah, let's meet later. And then minutes or an hour or shit probably even fucking seconds before the date this this shit would happen yeah no we don't leave the house without that even before i was an influencer i wouldn't leave the house without it She said, you can't blame women for not wanting to hook up. That's fine. I mean, they don't, here's my thing. They don't have to hook up. It's just, because like I said, the chick could have met with me just now and we could have done nothing. We could have just laughed, talked, kissed, went home. But when you put it in my mind, when you start doubt, when you start making me create doubt about even going out, then it's like all together, like, okay, let's cancel this. Yeah, in Texas, you got to keep a gun because everybody else has one. That's like going to a battlefield with no rifle. 
Like you going somewhere where everybody else got some shit. Especially in the United States. Like, this is the country of dudes walking in the grocery store just shooting people for no reason. You want to have a better chance in that situation. See, you got no gun. Your best chance is to run. If you got a gun, at least you can stop the shooter. Now, the fucked up part about the United States is... Let's say there's a mass shooter in the Walmart, right? He could be in there just murdering a bunch of people. But if you shoot him in the back and he doesn't die, he can sue you. He, Even though he was in there murdering people, he can fucking sue you. Because you shot him in the back. By law, you're not supposed to shoot somebody in the back. That's how, now that's why this country is also fucked up. It, and then when you hear shit like that, you wonder to yourself, well, what's the point in having a damn gun? But, hey, fuck that. I gotta go home. We just gonna have to get sued or something else gonna happen. Yeah, we, we just gonna have to face the consequences after, but I ain't... I ain't finna just nah, fuck that law. <laughs> People don't think about the problems they come into. Here, but again, here's my thing. If we're dealing with a crazy mass shooter, I'm not, you're damn right I'm not thinking about, I actually, I ain't thinking about shit right now. I'm trying to go home. I got shit to do tomorrow. Hold on. It can go from self-defense to murder. Yeah, that America is fucked up when it comes to that. Somebody could be committing the most heinous crime, but if you shoot them in the back, you committed a crime. That is fucking crazy. Hold on, let me uh, put on my GPS because I can never remember this. Yeah, it's a very stupid law. Trust me, I'm with you on that. It's a very stupid law. Because it's a law that'll put you in a mindset of, okay, well, what the hell did y'all want me to do? Especially because I remember I was asking somebody, like, we see somebody, basically the same scenario, like, if, uh, being pistol whipped and the person is near death. Well, you're not going to run up and try to fight somebody or separate the, the, the fight when this dude already got a pistol in his hand and you shoot him. If it's not a family member or somebody you really know, you can be taken to jail and you were saving somebody else's life. So you'd be like, okay, so got it. I'm supposed to watch somebody die when I have the power to stop it. That's another that that's another reason for you to leave this country. I don't know what Brazil's laws are like, but it, you can have a gun in Brazil. It's just extremely difficult to get one. But I'm pretty sure they ain't got no dumb shit like that. Literally, the the when you read the laws, from what it sounds like. 
somebody has to have a gun pointed at you already for you to draw your weapon. Good fucking luck. Good fucking luck. He would have to be somebody that's not even trying to shoot you in the first place for you to pull that off. Because I know if I'm trying to... Uh, if I'm trying to harm somebody with a pistol and I have it pointed at them. If this motherfucker make one false move, I'm going to pull the trigger. So being on the other side of that trigger, like how much time do you really have to protect yourself? rule number one nobody should know you got a gun number two don't pull it out unless you use it that is that's very true my dad taught me that don't ever pull your gun out unless you know for a fact you're about to shoot it uh i guess that could be situational like i guess if somebody's running at you very very fast you pull it out to deter them from doing whatever they're about to do But even that's a $20,000 fine. So when you start breaking down the logistics, if you're going to shoot somebody with a pistol, you got to be willing to do prison time. It sounds like he's going to die and you're going to do some jail time. Either way it go. So honestly... Your best bet is to probably wear the wear the pistol on the outside of your body so people are less likely to fuck with you anyway. Because they can see it. But then there's another problem with that. If you're not paying attention, somebody can snatch it off of you. You, you just never know. Uh, so, that's some fucked up laws, man. I remember when I was in criminal justice in high, high school and they was teaching us those laws and i was like why do, why would you even buy a pistol after these specifications the laws are pretty much 100 percent in your favor if somebody breaks into your house but if you have an issue on the street at the park like goddamn like the specifications are so specific It's like, come on, like, can I actually use this or not? Somebody asked, do I feel safer in America or um, in another country? Honestly, I feel safer in other countries, right? Especially if we're talking about Texas, because... In these other countries, people don't have guns unless they're criminals. And usually where, where you will be at, there won't be any criminals. Like if you're living in, uh, let's say, uh, no, I'm not even going to use that one. Let's say you're living in Nairobi, right? You don't have to worry about people robbing you unless they come up to you with a knife and even carrying a knife uh can get you like two decades in prison in kenya so that's a huge deterrent already but whenever i'm in chile the only concern i have is somebody might snatch the phone out of my hand or somebody might run up on me with a knife and tell me to give him my shit and it's that's fine you know i give you my shit i get to go home whatever i can get a new phone i have two phones anyway but here i mean damn like
Marvel just got robbed in Kenya. He said, "Well, do as you please. I'm gonna stand on business." No, I'm, I'm with you. I'm, I'm keeping my. God damn. This dude out here with a soup. Now she not fat though. Super, super thick. And she's not black. No, she is black. Well, no, she's not black. It's funny because when I drove by, they both looked at me and I was looking at them. They was hugged up and kissing. Man, she had a African ass on her with a, with a she probably was a Latina because they, they be the only ones that be built like that with African bodies and white faces. So what we'll do is we'll probably try like one or two more uh, black sisters. And then we're gonna switch to Latina's own Bumble on Hinge. And then we'll try, um, we'll try, um, white girls and then last case scenario we'll go for asians and if that shit don't work it's that bad A uh, calmer night in here tonight. The damn cigar, the, the cigar place is closed, man. Shit. Oh, no, they're, they're closed. Fuck. Came up here and this shit closed. Could have stayed at the crib and smoked another cigar, but this is what it looks like right now. So, what y'all think we ought to do? Just go back to the crib. It's 70% dudes in here. Really 90% dudes. Uh, which, it's a cigar lounge, so it's expected, right? But, fuck. Call next time. Well, the thing is, they close in an hour, so... Most cigar lounges, they sell cigars up until the last minute. But I guess I had to ask, when do they close the humidor? Find another location. Go to the bar. Do I feel like having a drink? Isn't this the same spot? This is the what well, the reason I keep coming here is because this is the best cigar lounge. Like it's a actual lounge. Like it's a bar. I think the only thing they don't have here is food. So If I would have knew that they would have been like this, I would have brought one of my cigars to the crib. It's no Big Shirley's in here right now. It's actually some bad, two or three bad chicks, but they're all with a dude. Bartenders ain't nothing to look at. I'm telling you, the chicks that's something to look at are with somebody. I don't know where else we can go. No, we didn't come up here looking for women. We just came up here to kick it. Yeah. 
Latin clubs. We're Latin clubs. Austin likes cigars more than American women. Yeah. You know why? I mean, the cigar bar flaked on me tonight. But if I want a cigar, I can go get it. I got a wide selection. I know how much it costs. I know exactly how it's going to make me feel. I know how to handle it. Cigars don't flake. So if you want to talk about American women versus cigars, cigars. Go to a hookah lounge. That wouldn't be a bad idea. Smoking hookah in the United States is expensive, though. I remember when I would go places here in D Dallas, I paid $50 for a fucking... My cigars are at the crib. Open. Would you go out to places to campaign by yourself? Yeah, when I lived in the United States, I would always go out by myself. Because... Nobody was ever available to hang out, so I always go places by myself. We damn sure know the women wasn't available because they was too busy flaking. Like this, the, the, what happened today is what has been happening for years. So I would always go out by myself. Uh, my homeboys would always be busy. Patrick Brown is in the chat. Him and I went out one time. Yeah, I usually never leave home without my cigars. I usually keep one with me, but I was thinking that they had them. Why would they? They fucking up their money, man. They should have had them cigars available until. Who disappeared or got put in YouTube jail? Paradise Hookah Lounge. I usually smoke Nicaraguans. Damn, man, I really wanted a cigar. Maybe I should have got here at like 10.30 I would have been here at 10.30 but you know how that went I've been jumping out solo for years yeah it's it's not easy man it gets old like, even when I'm outside the country, I don't like going places by myself. I go to cigar lounge by myself, but going to clubs and bars alone, that shit is dead. Because especially if it's a spot that's not popping, you'll get, uh, you'll just start to feel awkward. Like, okay, it's time to leave. cigar lounge no the, the the humidor is behind me and they, they got the lock on the door and the lights are off mm. 
no black spots on a Tuesday night. Well, the thing is, I really don't know where to go in Dallas. Like, I've been almost everywhere in DFW, well, in Dallas, in Plano, in Frisco. But it's hard to find a spot. Like, okay, on Tuesday nights, I know I can go here. On Friday nights, I know I can go here. It's hard to find that because nothing is ever popping on a consistent basis. Like, you might go to, like, this cigar lounge might be empty today. You come back next Tuesday, you can't even get in. You come back Tuesday after that, you can't get in. The Tuesday after that, it's three people in here. Like, that's how Dallas is. Like, nothing is consistent. So you never really know where to go. Like, you would have to know somebody uh, that knows everything, basically. That's another reason why I don't... At one point, I just stopped going out because it was like, it's too, it's too hit or miss. But I'll tell you one thing, if you go to Kenya, I put my Kenya travel guide, Mondays go here, Tuesdays go here, Wednesdays go, I mean, if you follow that travel guide, I guarantee you, it's hitting on point every time. Y'all don't, don't have any more cigars at all? Yeah. Oh, you do? Thank God. <laughs> oh, they got a, another humidor over here. Huh? You said buy one for me, you want any of these, and this, that in here. You said buy one for you? Or from you? From you. Oh. Uh, this is the only one we got. Oh, I don't know. Well, I've never, I just smoked this one. How much is this one? Look. My phone won't flip around for some reason. He said Austin don't laugh in America, it drain all his libido. Right about that. Tuesday is slow in most cities. 16, that's fine. Mm -hmm. uh, hmm? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Can I have your card? Mm -hmm. Why, can I pay with tap? Nope. No way. You can only tap over there. We don't only have inside there? Inside We're about oh. To only inside the other one. Okay. Yeah, I don't, I don't have the physical card with me. The number, yes. Like the number, like mm -hmm. to your card? Okay. Okay. Right. Number. Okay. Just, who's able to enter in the card information? Thank you. Yeah, y'all know I don't carry my car with me, so I never, uh, let me get my bottle of water out the car real quick. Now, Roby Street Kitchen is the main spot y'all got to go to. He said you inhale a uh, cigar, you shit clouds the next day. Or DG's, hell no. So this is the one we ended up getting.
Uh, yeah, well, the thing is, if you inhale it, it's not good for your, uh, it's not good for your lungs. Because it's too powerful for your lungs. It's not like a cigarette. So let me get this bottle of water real quick. Yeah, you would think in the United States everywhere took tap pay. In Africa, they did. I gotta get the insoles on these shoes replaced. My walk is weird right now. This nigga said Buffalo Trace. I do not fuck with Buffalo Trace. I remember the first time I tried Buffalo Trace, the guy was like, yeah, you gotta buy a bottle right now. It sells out. I get calls about it every day. And I tried this shit. I took two shots. I woke up the next morning and I was like, I said out loud, wait, where am I at? Like, what am I doing? Where am I at? Like, I was having, I forgot what they called it. But I was like, where am I at? He got the Marika walk now. See, I have way more fun with you guys. Walking around on live with you guys. Showing you guys everywhere I go. As opposed to be, because if I was out here by myself and I didn't have y'all, I would be kind of, uh, yeah, these shoes fucking up my walk. Alright you guys, so immediately that one has a uh, it has that woody taste to it. I seen that shark place on Fridays I go on IG. That's funny. Y'all really be sitting here with me for eight hours straight. Like some of y'all been in this chat since this live started, bro. This live been going damn near 10. What is it? 670 minutes. That's a uh, shit. That's seven, uh, 11 hours, right? Yeah, I appreciate y'all being loyal like that. Y'all get to see what Dallas really looked like from the Holloman perspective. Uh, it's a nice cigar lounge, man. It's a really nice cigar lounge. Very nice cigar lounge. It's funny because old girl was watching that live when I was talking about her. She texted me saying, by, your, by the way, I do have a car. I'm like, yeah, she had to have been listening to the live stream. There's no way in hell she just came out of nowhere saying that.
He said, which means you're more virtually involved than uh, physical. Would you want me to be in here talking to all these dudes in here? I mean, that's there's nothing wrong talking to the dudes. There's nothing wrong with networking. But, I mean, shit. I got a network. I got a YouTube channel. If I wanted to, if I need a network, I can find that. Yeah, that, that's right. If she has a car, if she has a car and she wasn't trying to do nothing and she had to work the next morning, so it doesn't sound like she's about to get drunk or nothing, why not just drive? She said why in the text, I just forgot why. Well, it really don't matter if I'm involved virtually or physically. You got to remember, Dallas is not... I've lived here before. This is the city that made me get my passport. It really ain't shit else I need to do physically here. I done already lived here. And people was like, oh, it's because you're young. It's because you're young. That's why you have problems. Okay, now I'm older. Now I'm older. I'm not 10 years older, but I'm older than I was before. Got a beard, grew my hair out, I'm cultured, I've been all around the world, I done fucked a bunch of bad bitches now. Still got the same problem. Here. He said, you still young. Apparently that shit didn't matter in all those other places, so it ain't got nothing to do with my age. Pays for Ubers to go to go pool, but don't, to, don't make sense, yeah. Cause Uber is not cheap in the United States. Like, this was a 10 minute drive from where I'm staying at. If I would have Ubered here, I would have paid more than $10. Or I probably would have paid about $10. Or I could drive my own car and burn two, three dollars. Shit, I'd probably burn three dollars worth of gas going here and back. So yeah, it doesn't make sense. I remember when I was in, uh, when I spent the night at my homeboy house, I got too drunk, so I stayed at his crib. Well, he tried to take me home, but I was too drunk to realize where I was at, basically. And when I got, when I was going back home, I paid $40 for a 20-minute Uber ride. So if this was 10, 10 minutes, she probably would have paid $40, yeah, going both ways, there and back, probably would have been $40. True Kitchen and Cocktails, I already been there. We can go just for the vlog, but I already been there. That was the restaurant, I've been there before, but that was the restaurant I ate at two days before I left the United States. When I was living in the United States, I've only rode in a Lyft or an Uber three or four times because it's that expensive. When I got to Brazil and Kenya and dudes, it's like, oh, I got a car. I used to be like, nigga, for what? You paying a dollar to go somewhere that's five minutes away. Why the hell you got a car? Because, yeah, maybe over time it might add up. But when you think about buying the car. And then you think about the taxes it takes to actually ship that car to Kenya. Then when you talk about oil changes, new tie, it, it's cheaper to just not have a car in these other countries. I 
I spent seventy dollars at Uber today just getting my hair cut in corn road. Yeah. I don't see how dudes uh like I knew a guy I used to cut his hair and I think he was making like three hundred thousand dollars. He was like a software engineer, he was making big money. And uh he used to Uber everywhere. He was coming from Knox Henderson to North Dallas where I was at. And he's like, the Uber was thirty dollars to get there. I'm like, bro, you paid thirty dollars to get here and you gotta pay thirty dollars, bro, that's sixty dollars. And I'm charging you at the time I was charging sixty and I'm charging you, so you paying a hundred and twenty dollars to get a haircut. When your haircut is really only sixty dollars. Somebody said, I love not having a car. I do too. Like when I was in Paraguay, and I, oh yeah, I'm, a, yeah I'm, I'm about to call an Uber and meet you. That shit was convenient. I don't have to look for parking. I don't have to get oil changes. I don't have to worry about a note. I don't have to worry about buying that motherfucker. I don't have to worry about insurance. I don't have to worry about tires. I don't have to worry about washing it. I don't have to worry about nobody wrecking it. I don't have to worry about nobody stealing it. It's so many benefits to not having a car. Three hundred k ain't nothing for a thirty dollar Uber. Yeah, I mean, yeah. If you it, like, if you got the money to blow, cause you blowing your money. If you got the money to blow, blow it. Actually, I would never advise you to blow money. But if you got the money and it don't hurt you and you don't care, do it. Certain places are so spaced out, you need one. Yeah, like where I'm at here in Dallas, y'all seen all that driving I did today? The majority of that first eight hours seemed like it was spent in the car. Like we were in the car, we the first, no, let's say the first six hours of the stream, I wasn't at home. Probably four hours of that or more. When you think about it, I was only in Capital One for 10 minutes in total. I was in Walmart for probably 15 minutes in total. I was in the offices for, in the post office for maybe 30 minutes in total. So the, the rest of that time, I was in the car. Yeah, I'm in a bar right now. It's a cigar lounge, but. sleep after this shit. Driving everywhere does get exhausting. Do you have a uh, another Astrid. yes, yes. Absolutely. Thank you. Oh she's so sweet. Thank you. Well, remember I said I thought that there was a bunch of bad bitches in here? I changed my mind. I get tired of being on live this long. Well, let me ask you this. If I'm not on live, what am I going to be doing? Just got flaked on for a date. So that we ain't going to be fucking with no women. <laughs> Can't do that. 
Now, when I was in Paraguay, I wasn't doing no 12 hours. I mean, I did some lives that were long a handful of times. I used to go live for a long time in Lima, too, but some days I didn't even go live. Because I was actually getting dates there. Same with Bolivia. Was getting, whenever, whenever I'm getting dates, my live's probably three hours long max. I'm not ready to give up U.S. citizenship. Only when I get rich will I give up U.S. citizenship. They charge me a cutting fee? People were telling me I need to do a 24 hour live. So if y'all think this one is long, there's more to come. One day, one day this week, we might do a 24 hour live. Like y'all just gonna have, six hours of the live is gonna be me sleeping. I might pull an all-nighter. Oh, yeah, it'll be... Now, that one will be streamed on Twitch, YouTube, Twitter, and uh, Kick. It'll be on all platforms. Felons can get a passport, it's just more of a process. What is it like being in Dallas when being abroad? I'm just present. I'm just present. That's the best way I could describe it. I got my first tattoo done in Brazil when I was 22.
Just present, yeah, I'm just present. All this driving I'm doing, I'm putting, I'm, I'm having to refill the car up with gas probably every, not every day, but every other day. So I'm probably burning three quarters of a tank of gas a day. Now, if I just went to Uptown and then came back, no. But today I was handling business, that's why I burned so much gas. The rest of 2024 we're gonna do we pretty much done all of south america except for the three countries in the top right in the northeast maybe we'll do those so when i travel with my cigar stuff i empty out my lighter and i put it in my check bag when I'm in the United States. I recommend you empty your lighter and put it in a check bag. Uh, in the United States, they don't allow you to travel with the gas tank, but outside the United States, everybody let me travel with the gas tank. The stream is approaching 12 hours right now. 720 minutes is 12 hours, we're at 690. Vietnam, I honestly wouldn't mind going back to Vietnam. I love Vietnam. I need to redo Cambodia now that I got access to the dating apps, but do I really need to redo it because there was no chicks really walking around Cambodia like that. Like they're there, but they weren't outside like they are in South America. In the Philippines, they were outside, but not really. And I was in, Ma I was in Manila for like two weeks and I didn't see a lot of chicks just walking around. See, in Peru, there wasn't a lot of bad chicks walking around, but once I started getting around, I noticed that there were a good amount of bad chicks. You just had to, you just had to be there for a couple days and you start going here, going there, and now you're really seeing it. I need to go back to Vietnam and do Da Nang. Da Nang, Da Nang. Da Nang, that's what it is, Da Nang. It's not that, well, I'm attracted to Filipinas, but the ones that I found attractive, you weren't seeing them that, it, that often. Like when you see dudes with a really bad Filipina, I'm telling you from being in Cebu, Manila, and that little province we went to, that shit was just not walking around. Like the bad ones that you see dudes with that make you be like, ooh, I wanna go, I wanna go. Like that was like, 
every maybe once a day. Versus Peru. Peru didn't even have a lot of bad chicks, but I probably was seeing three, four, maybe five beautiful chicks a day. Yeah, like the ones that David Bond has and all that, like that shit's not walking around like that. They just said they about to close the cigar bar in three minutes. So you might have to drive and smoke this shit. Yeah, next time I come up here, I can't come up. I need to be up here no later than nine o'clock. Damn, that 30 minutes went by fast. His girl's a village girl. Yeah, maybe there. When we went to that old Zomi's, uh, we went to old Zomi's, the little uh, province. We did see. We, we saw some chicks, but like, not really. Yeah. White guys get the down. That's very true. He said, I know this nigga cool because I'm not going to smoke, watch this nigga from morning to night. I watched a video with the chef. What happened to her? You talking about in Colombia? You know what's funny about Americans? It's been seven people that have walked out, maybe 10 people that have walked past me leaving the cigar bar and they avoid making eye contact with me. Now, if I was anywhere else in the world, they'd be, all right, all right, bye, all right, bye, all right, bye. We're a very closed society. Like, we are very closed off. Very closed off. Like, I would have to go out of my way to get one of these. And usually in a cigar bar, the dudes come to network. So, like, people speak. Because, you know, you might start up a conversation with somebody that's, you know, valuable. You know, of uh, uh, meeting. So... Venus. I forgot what happened to Floyd. Floyd was with her recently, though. I go to Guam, absolutely. Yeah, they are about to kick me out. People in Dallas don't are not very friendly. They're not. That's why when people were saying, when I was telling y'all earlier, they were like, oh, I moved from Chicago and the people down here are so friendly. I'm like, they must have been rude in Chicago. Cause the amount of people, you, you can walk down the street and not meet anybody. Like, you can walk through downtown for an hour in that entire hour people will avoid eye contact men and women walk through uruguay argentina chile peru people are gonna speak No, I haven't got any box yet.
This man is truly entertaining. I could be watching TV, but fuck it. Fuck that I'm watching Western Trickery. Well, thank you. Face oily than a motherfucker. No one speaks. Because I'm the type of... I've been so many places now where people speak. I purposely look them in the eyes just so I could be like, I don't want to talk to them. Just, hey, how you doing? I don't, they don't even got to... They could just say, hey, babe, they, I don't give a fuck about how they doing. America is the only place I've been to where people drive that damn fast down the street. We're the only country where I've seen people speed in parking lots. Like you might see it other places, but we're the place that's pretty much just, like I got hit by a car when I was a kid because of that. It blew right back in the car. Don't hear that music, that's Velvet Taco. Would you ask me, Coach Lamont? Got a question, send a super chat. Yeah, God forbid, but you have the best chance of dying in a car wreck. Like, this is the only country I've seen where DWIs are just killing people like that that I've been to. Man, that thing that was in my beard, it's a scab now. Probably in two or three days it'll fall off. Thank God. That shit was bad, boy. My face was swollen. We were sitting still with our flashes on, got smashed into. Yeah, bro, it's it's really dangerous out here. America is really dangerous to drive. People drive fast. They drive distracted. They drive drunk. They drive high. I mean, it's because too many people have cars. All these motherfuckers don't need a car. Polynesia. Polynesians are fat. You know the most obese people in the world are in that part of the world, in the Pacific. That it's an island that's so isolated, 
is very limited on what they could. I guess we could just sit right here and smoke. But it's an island. That, let me put my pistol in my lap. It's an island that's so isolated that I think they limit. That there's a limit to uh, what they can get imported. And that being said, like they getting imported a bunch of bullshit and they're eating a lot of fried food. Like I think they said a batch of onions was like, not a batch, but it was like a like a kilo a kilo of onions was like sixteen dollars or some shit, something crazy that nobody can afford. Like I can't even afford that. Fuck cooking. $16 for onions? You want to know the best place to do these 24-hour live streams? Uruguay, Kenya, Tanzania, Rwanda, hell, even Bolivia. Those places are going to, I mean, Bolivia is not safe. But those places are so safe, you don't have to worry about somebody, or even Zambia, number five, Zambia. You don't have to worry about somebody doing anything. Thank you, Morris Rocker Jr. That Paraguay, uh, Ur uh, that Uruguay Patreon story got me ready to book flights. Yeah. Man, I'm telling you guys, when I was in Uruguay, we went into a club. Me and my other homeboy, we were the only black dudes in there. Everywhere we went, we were the only black dudes. Except for one other place. There was two other black guys there. All eyes were on us. We went to the first club we went to. We walked in and I had to look like that. I said, damn, everybody looking at us. I mean, and they weren't just like looking. The chicks were looking. You see them? You see them? I'm like, whoa. Patreon's $4 a month. Uh... Patreon.com slash Austin Holloman. It's in my bio too on my um, like my there's a link tree in my bio on my Instagram and my uh, YouTube bio. You should watch you should join the Patreon. I uploaded a story yesterday about the Colombian chick. If you guys are on a that, that's it right there. If you guys are on the uh, Patreon, I think we got like 300, 300 something. I don't know how many people on Patreon, but if you got, but not all of them are paid members because I have a free membership, which is a sales funnel, right? I, I give some good information for the people to watch for free that kind of influences some good information and some good, a couple dating stories that will kind of uh, funnel them into, okay, well, I want to hear more. Let me sign up. But, um, so if there's 300 people, it's not actually 
300 people that are paying. Like, some of those people are just on the fence still. But, or they just haven't signed up. But, uh, I did a story about the, uh, the Colombian chick. And if you guys watch the Patreon story, you know why we fell out. I still haven't heard from her. Now, we still both follow each other. I think she still follows me. I don't know. I need to download that app. But I haven't heard from her. I'll know if she still follows me if I go look at who's watching my stories. That's always the best way to know if a chick is still following you. Fuck. Nah, I'm not gonna tell you. I'm just saying that we still haven't talked. The Colombian from Peru, yeah. Thing is, man, I got a Brazilian... Man, it, I've met some Brazilian cougars outside of Brazil so many times. There was this one grandma I had saw. She was a grandma. She was every bit of 50, 55. And she came up to me, and she had her big plastic titties. I love women that get plastic surgery in their titties. That shit is so sexy, because it, it's a, it's a, it's a biological uh, attraction. Like, that's natural for us to like that, because... It's fertility. So naturally you're gonna wanna lick it and squeeze it and but she walked up on me. I was with Jason and I was telling Jason like like what do you think? Cause all the other chicks weren't really going, but this grand she was in the gym. You know them Brazilians, like they might look old in the face, but they bodies be fucking banging because they never stop going to the gym. So I'm looking at her body and I'm like, man, she could really get it. Man, them South American chicks, you'll be in a room and it might be all chicks in their 40s and 50s and you still looking like, man, somebody about to get fucked. You know, because they be, they be in their 50s competing with them the only thing that those 20 year old Brazilians got over them is youth. Cause they, they not as old looking, but those grandmas still be finding a motherfucker. Thank you for signing up for the Patreon. I just seen it, but she came up on me and she was asking me all about me, grabbing up on me and shit. And I was lit. So that's why I asked Jason. He's like, nah, don't do it. Don't do it. But Jason doesn't like the older chicks like that. Now, if I was by myself, I would have said, nah, fuck it. She grabbed on me too many times. It was a... Uh, fuck. Fuck. Shit almost went in my eye. It was a South American chick in Tanzania. It was a South American chick in Tanzania. She was oh, probably 50. But still in the streets. When she came to the crib and she had, I was like, yo, bruh. She had them plastic surgery. 